Go up. This is a dead maze godhead. Since being penetrated into the head by Fat C, he's hanging in midair, trapped in a stationary state. Gao Peng and others don't know what happened either, but soon. The monster's status bar suddenly suffered moderate damage, becoming severely damaged. This also proves that Pang Da Hai has succeeded. At this moment, the sound of Pang Da Hai's blood came from Gao Peng. You guys can procrastinate a little longer. I can take care of him right away. So, so, Gao Peng immediately ordered A Dai to continue using Black Flame. Attack the fatty demon lord. By time for Pang Da Hai, after hearing the command, A Dai once again ignites a blazing black flame, burning around this plump head. But strangely enough, maze artifacts without the command of their owner, surprisingly blocking the front of the head for defense, in the blink of an eye, two streams of energy exploded after colliding. It's just that Adai's level is too different. I was directly shaken and flew out. But that maze artifact is still full of energy. I saw him floating in the air. A buzzing sound seems to be provoking a lightly injured idiot. Gao Peng asks about the situation of Adai. Adai said he can still continue fighting. When I was about to stand up, but in an instant he fell to the ground. It seems like my body has been hollowed out. Everything has been resolved by Gao Peng. He told Adai not to show off his strength, just now blocked the collision of the fat demon lord. A large amount of soul has been consumed. We should take a break now. After speaking, he waved his hand casually, summoning Achun, this salted fish. Let him demonstrate the power of space riots. Just delay the time, that's all. Soon the space ahead began to riot. Void oscillation. Distortion occurs in the overlapping space. Finally, it gradually blurs out, disappearing in the air, on this side of the fat sea, he leaped forward with a single leap. Jump out of the gap in your head. And the head of the fat demon lord has been lost. Improved mobility. Then Pang Da Hai opened his huge mouth. The sorcerer's devouring teeth burst out from his mouth. Just bite the maze artifact tightly. At this point, the appearance of the artifact changes. Turns out his energy has been depleted. This is what he was originally like. Losing the support of maze artifacts. The main head of the plump demon statue hanging in midair and finally lost its breath. With a splash, falling directly face down onto the ground. This battle has finally come to an end. At this moment, Gao Peng grabbed Ah Chun's leg, barely floating in midair. However, beneath my feet, it is a ruins that has turned into ruins and broken walls. Unexpectedly, Pang Da Hai and abraces, plus idiot. Surprisingly, he just managed to get rid of a god like this. But Pang Da Hai doesn't think so. He doesn't have a divine soul. Incomplete body. And the damage is severe. Without any divine qualities. At best, it is a divine creature. Still thinking about slaughtering the gods. Gao Peng, are you really overthinking it? Gao Peng suddenly became speechless. To ignore his words. Afterwards, Pang Da even leaned towards Adai's shoulder. Be generous and say that it's time to share the spoils now. Stupid, I'll let you choose first. Defeated the head of the fat demon lord. After the maze artifact, finally it's time to divide the spoils. Ah Dai looking left and right. For him, the attraction of artifacts is not significant. After hesitating for a moment, selected the remains of the fat demon lord. This made the chubby sea beside him ecstatic. He just knows that Dumb doesn't like this kind of artifact. So he let out a hypocritical sigh. You really have a good eye. Picked out the most valuable treasure here. But just as he was about to pick up the artifact, Gao Peng suddenly grabbed the fins of Pang Da Hai's fish. Ah, Dai, it's over. It's also my turn to choose. Although I did not directly participate, but I got along with a day. So this battle, I have also contributed a very important force. Fat C speechless to the extreme. This shameless action. It can shake him for two and a half years. Moment, Gao Peng comforted him for a moment. What are you afraid of? I won't snatch what belongs to you. Pang Da Hai Don was stunned at the moment. What belongs to me? Gao Peng gave a slight smile. Of course, it will bring great revenge, satisfaction, and happiness. Otherwise, what do you think it is? Fat C instantly petrified. Obviously, it has once again refreshed his cognition and lower limits. Seeing Gao Peng Li naturally take away the artifact. At this moment, Pang Da Hai's heart. It seems like one zero 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 grass mud horses are galloping around. Fat Lord, I just want to take a bite now. Seeing Gao Peng turn around. Pang Da Hai's face changed in another second, switched to a pitiful appearance. Gao Peng asked about the sea. How can I identify this artifact accurately? Pang Da Hai stared at him foolishly. Not a monster. There is no elemental power either. There is no way to have rules. How could it be possible for the artifact to recognize its owner? 
Gao Peng was stunned on the spot upon hearing this. Thing doesn't have much substance. It's probably just like a Rubik's Cube. How exactly can I use it? Quickly, the attribute box popped up. Item name, Endless Reincarnation Maze. The Law of Divine Artifacts. Maze Rule 7%. I thought about it for a moment. Gao Peng ultimately threw the artifact back to Pang Da Hai. I took it and it was of no use to me. This time it's cheaper for you. Pang Da Hai represents, if you really want to experience that feeling, no big deal, next time we get together, just let you manipulate it. The greatest function of this thing is to cultivate monsters. That guy used it back then to cultivate his subordinates. Gao Peng had a bewildered expression on his face. If we can really cultivate monsters, in theory, it can also be cultivated. Pre-sale is the only option. Pang Da Hai explained, yes, after the endless cycle of maze liberation. It will transform into a super huge maze, then absorb various elements from the air, forming various environments and traps within the maze. The owner of the maze control the concentration of various elements inside the maze. The level of depression accelerates the speed of jade beast cultivation or cultivate spirit stones. Gao Peng heard that he could cultivate the jade beast. I want Pang Dahai to show off immediately. Pang Dahai's disdainful words. You look like you've never seen the world before. After speaking, he threw the maze artifact on his hand into the sky. In the blink of an eye, the maze artifacts crumble like building blocks, one by one. Meanwhile, the volume is also gradually skyrocketing, quickly flying out of the soil, space filled with golden lines, standing steadily on the earth. The changes are still ongoing. The fusion of various elements between heaven and earth, and in an instant inhale into the maze, layers of golden walls quickly appeared before Gao Tong's eyes. That's it. A huge, endless cycle maze has formed. Gao Peng curiously probed the wall. I can vaguely feel that the power of the maze is stronger. Peng De Hai represents, previously, it was just an automance of the artifact. Seeing this, Gao Peng showed a long-lost smile. Oh my goodness. Now I finally have a house. This is a dead divine head. It contains extremely valuable materials inside. But for a day, getting him is like getting a divine medicine. And the divine blood on the ground is also an excellent tonic. I saw Adai gently touching the divine blood on the ground with his thigh palm. A restless and violent energy. Instantly injected into Adai's body. That's all the dead energy in the head of the demon lord. That's it. A fleshy head eventually evolved into a huge white bone. Dead breath spreading within the skull cavity. Continuously spreading outward. At this moment, Adai suddenly reminded Pang Da Hai to Remember to protect your master when you're not around. Pang Da Hai hasn't reacted yet. I saw Adai on his arm, entangled around the roots of the oak tree in hell, without saying a word. Just follow the opening on the head of the fat and thin demon lord's head. Jumped in. In the blink of an eye, he lost his. Pang Da Hai suddenly became speechless. Isn't it just about absorbing dead energy and upgrading it? Make it look like an orphan. Scare me a little. Gao Peng just turned around and found that Adai was missing. Pangda still explains. He is absorbing the death upgrade of the Demon Lord. Gao Peng discovered this endless cycle maze. All elements possess. This is a great opportunity for upgrading. Anyway, it will take some more time for Adai to close down. It's better to let everyone absorb some elemental power as well. Thinking of this, he immediately summoned all the lustful beasts out. Search for each of them individually. Suitable area for self-absorption of elements. He said to Pang Da Hai that although the artifact is a good thing, you must have the power of laws to use it. The ability of these two artifacts now. Fear of death is restricted by over 90%. Pang Da Hai explains that our gods actually existed before becoming gods, all using various extraordinary abilities. After becoming a god, it's time to use the rules to fight. Gods, for certain reasons, can only specialize in one rule. Or there may be some shortcomings in the theory. At this point, we need artifacts to make up for it. Back then, I forged the Sea Emperor Devouring Cliff. It's just to understand the law of devouring inside. I worked tirelessly to kill a glutton, melt it with some divine objects. Forge the law of devouring. I didn't expect to have just forged the artifact. Was attacked and killed. It's no wonder Gao Peng secretly thought to himself. The rule contained in the Sea Emperor's Devouring Cliff is only 2%. At this moment, intermittent echoes echoed from afar. Listen to this sound, it's not just coming from one place. Gao Peng quickly asked Da Zi to climb over the wall and check the situation. In three minutes, Da Zi has flown back. Gao Peng, Gao Peng, there are monsters outside. Many, many monsters. Gao Peng is speechless to the extreme. So much how much is that? Subsequently, 
He used his blood gas to transmit a message asking what Cold Frost G. Schur was. This situation requires specific and accurate data, instead of relying on a lot of evidence. At this time, the Frost technician, lying in an area rich in ice elements, gnawing on ice cubes, Gao Peng asked him to go out and investigate the situation. After receiving instructions, Frost technician easily jumps onto the maze wall. It took about a few minutes to reach the outermost point. This ice lion, jumping onto the walls of the endless cycle maze, just to observe the monsters on the periphery. There is a fire-type prefecture-level monster on the east side. There are two prefecture-level frost-hugging bears in the southeast direction. There are a total of 23. Hear the news. Gao Peng turned around and glanced at Da Zi. Fool, take a look at how they report information. Gao Peng probably guessed that it was due to the appearance of the maze. It contains various rich elemental powers inside. That's why it attracted a large number of monsters from the outside world. So he gave instructions to the jade beasts. Require each of them to deal with one or two monsters. Try not to let those monsters affect Adai's promotion. After receiving instructions, all the jade beasts of Gao Peng, including treasure hunting for wealth. The daily task is not to absorb the power of elements. Just go kill the monsters outside the wall. A month passed like this. On this day, Pang Dahai is having a spring dream. Dreamed of my own wife. Spider, my spider. On the other side, the long and silent head of the fat demon lord. Finally, there is movement. Head exposed to air. It has completely become dry and shriveled. Like a corpse. Soon a crisp sound came from within the head. And the skull is also torn apart at this moment. This woke up the chubby sea nearby in an instant. What wall? The cracking of movement and stillness is still ongoing. The skull that has lost its divinity. Completely crushed. That pervasive stillness is also converging to the fullest extent. I saw a pitch black thigh palm extend out. At the next moment, a die helped one side and slowly. The originally dark golden bones. The color has not changed. But the appearance seems to have been coated with a layer. Colorful glass. It looks like, just like a beautiful sculpture full of artistic sense. And on a die's right hand, Entangled by the roots of an old tree, as if an armband tightly wrapped around his right hand. But all of this was also within Gao Peng's expectations. Level jump to level 85. Is it a straight quadruple jump? Not bad, not bad. Harvest is quite abundant. Even a die's hell is like a leaf. Significant improvement has been achieved. There are a total of seven halos. Violent aura. Bloody halo. Aura of fear. Death halo. The aura of evil, despair, and destruction. Pang Dahai sensed something was wrong. Immediately swam up towards Adai. Not right, not right. You have a wonderful aura in your hands, kid. Let me take a look quickly. Adai raises his right hand. The right hand wrapped in a hellless oak wall sleeve. The tree roots on the palm of the hand are sun like a tide. Expose five of them inside. Dark golden bone fingers with transparent glass throughout the body. On five dark golden fingers. Exuding a faint divinity. Suddenly frightened, Pang Dahai was dumbfounded. Lying down, if you're at the holy level, just mythologize your fingers. Gao Peng has already seen it on the system. He said calmly, Not bad, not bad. It's time for us to go home too. In the desolate maze of the black mist world, many human buildings have been built here. And Xu Qing, only arranged by the carrier to this side of the black mist world, serving as the Explorer Union, the overall person in charge of the black mist world zone. He inquired about the development status of the assistance migration site. Assistant said, the flow of people in the gathering places of migration is increasing. Currently, there is no permanent resident population. However, some companies dispatch employees who work for long periods of time. His personal finger instructed the assistant. Our Nantian group is just in a barren maze. Company branch. Besides, no branch has been set up in the gathering place outside. It's because we eat meat. I also need to leave someone a sip of soup to drink. This is Jidong repeatedly. Emphasized concept. We must keep in mind in real time. Is there any other situation? Upon hearing Mr. Shu's question, the assistant suddenly panicked, quickly searching for information on the device. Just a moment, let me take a look. Shu Qing was only lost in thought. That's really fast. Arrived from the eight-year term of mayor of Yuzhou Bay City, and then in the new round of elections, Jidong. Elected with overwhelming votes. Afterwards, I was arranged to go to the side of the Black Mist world responsible for the distribution of the Explorer Guild here. It has been six months so far, and it has been over a year since Gao Xiao left. I don't know what's going on now. At this point, the assistant found the information. Mr. Xu, three days ago, 
Someone saw monsters darting out of the Black Phoenix Mountains. I ran to the migration site. Black Phoenix Mountains. These four words made Shu Qingzhe frown tightly. The area of Haifeng Mountain Range. It's a combination of migration sites and barren plains. Exactly five times. There are quite a few yellow set monsters inside. There are even rumors that there are prefecture level monsters inside. This makes him very uneasy inside. He instructed his assistant to launch more drones. Try to strengthen your vigilance as much as possible. Evening. At the junction of Qianxi Land and the Barren Plain, gathering place, an employee of Nantian Group guarding the periphery, sleeping soundly while snoring. Suddenly, there was a rumbling sound of footsteps ahead. The man immediately woke up with a startle, seeing a monster about 20 meters tall, approaching slowly. Take a closer look. Only then did I see clearly that it was Emperor Zongwen Jingxiong with a yellow head, a tall body. Even in the dark, it is particularly eye-catching and eye-catching. The man was immediately frightened and his legs became weak. It's a yellow set monster. Alarm pull quickly. Alarm, but it's too late. Almost at the same time. Suddenly an alarm sounded in the desolate maze. Alert seven stars. Alert Huang Ji monster. A man thinks it's strange. What's going on? Why did the gathering place ahead not issue an alarm? These people learned that it was Huang. After collecting monsters, they all lost their battles one after another. The Huang Ji monster is already in front of us. With their strength, they cannot resist it at all. Facing the ground, starting to tremble slightly, the employees standing on the wall were trembling with excitement, watching the massive beast appear on the horizon, quickly directing the pager to prepare for battle. This is a yellow-spined giant beast that is several tens of meters tall, destroying the surrounding slopes, moving towards the gathering place built by humans, only seeing the arms like giant pillars of the sky are inserted into the ground, instantly shatter all the surrounding rocks, then lift a large piece of rock high up again. This rock has a diameter of approximately seven or eight meters wide. At this moment, the giant beast is like a heavy catapult. In the next moment, a scream could be heard in the sky. This brown-patterned mirror bear, unexpectedly throwing huge rocks towards the distant city wall. Meanwhile, the commander also issued activation instructions. All the giant beasts under my feet, also launching the strongest skill attack at this moment, instantly shattered the huge rock that was hit head-on. The commander continues to order the prevention of gravel. Cannot let a broken stone fall into the base. The brown mirror bear in the distance seems even more angry, continuously roaring towards the sky. The commander continues to order. The target has been provoked. Everyone organize the defense as soon as possible. But at this moment, a mysterious man walked out. You guys did a good job. Open the door for me. Just leave it to me when you come down. Soon the gate of the desolate maze slowly opened, accompanied by the thick smoke dissipating. Two familiars riding horses slowly walked out of the gate. The golden and bronze body emits a charming luster. So... It was Guan Gong and Qin Chong who once guarded the school gate. At this moment, the bronze statue of Guan Gong suddenly opened its eyes. Monster features are also activated at this moment. Guan Gong doesn't open his eyes. If you open your eyes, you will surely kill someone. Sitting down, the red hair horse leaps forward. In the hand of the green dragon Yan Yue, the knife turned into a golden phantom, like a land dragon hiding a sea sword. Liu Hong's extremely domineering sword fell from the sky as if the green dragon was diving down from above the nine heavens. When he opens his eyes, can be achieved in a very short period of time. Explodes five times the explosive power of all-round physical fitness. The knife light aimed at the neck of Emperor Zongwen's mirror bear. But in the moment of danger approaching, I saw his neck shrink. Coincidentally hit the nose with this knife. Before Zongwen's mirror bear can recover, the bronze statue of Qin Chong behind him immediately activated the monster characteristic killer mace. I saw him throwing the weapon in his hand. Power surged in an instant. Weapons thrown simultaneously. Can more easily hit the enemy's weaknesses. After the repeated torment of Guan Gong and Qin Chong, this yellow-spined giant beast has no ability to fight back, falling directly into a pool of blood. This scene scared the people on the city wall even more. In their eyes, the yellow monster. It's a divine existence, almost invincible. Now it's actually being united by two jade beasts. One person, one move, instantly killed. At this point, that mysterious man slowly walked over, arrived beside his two jade beasts. Thank you two teachers for your help this time. Let's go back. Someone on the city wall also recognized it. Turns out he took action. No wonder this is the result. 
The other one asked who this person was. He is. It is said that he is the proud disciple of the mysterious young master in Nantian. It is also the star of tomorrow that the group is currently focusing on cultivating. Li Junzong, commander of the 2nd Imperial Sensor Brigade of Nantian Group. A white four-winged hummingbird, sweeping over the Black Phoenix Mountains, finally landing in an extinct volcano. He knelt on a completely feathered pitch-black body. In front of the bulky giant bird, report to His Highness Zhu Yu. The task has failed. Zhou Yu Ming opened his eyes. Calm voice. Obviously, it was anticipated earlier. So please take a clear look at those people. Have you finished playing cards for the class? The hummingbird chattered away. The mirror bear of Zongwen, instantly killed by two royal beasts. Zhu Yu Ming said calmly. I see. It seems that there must be at least two Wang Ji Yu who cooperate well with each other, right? He seems to be lost in thought. A faint smile appeared on his face. So even if you have a trump card, at most, it's just imperial status. Two years ago, when humans first appeared in the Black Phoenix Mountains, Zhu Yu clearly didn't care about these things in his eyes. A creature like ants. Because Zhu Yu clearly feels that he is the king of the Black Phoenix Mountains. He is the undisputed hegemon here. Born with a strong possessiveness. Make him unable to tolerate it. There are other monsters coveting his territory. So, any new prefecture-level monster within the Black Phoenix Mountains... He will kill everyone. For many years, countless monsters want to compete for his position. But the final result is, they have all become Zhao Hai, the bottom of the volcano burned into black ash. But the growth rate of human jade, even faster than he imagined. They will use various traps. I also understand division of labor and cooperation. The monsters on the edge of the Black Phoenix Mountains are constantly being hunted and killed. Thinking of this, nine clear and definite wings, a gust of strong wind swept back and forth in the dead volcano. Back then, these annoying humans have been driven out of the world of black mist. Now it's back again. I'll fly it myself. Who made these humans stretch too long? Then it shone like a stream of light towards the sky. Leave instructions for these little brats. I'll go out for a trip. You stay in the nest. Remember not to run around recklessly. Three little nine Yuming sparrows answered in unison. Got it, got it. Quickly, time has arrived at night. The speed of the Nine Shadow Sparrow is incredibly fast. A human gathering place hundreds of kilometers away, almost about to arrive. Meanwhile, in the desolate maze, inside the Grand Hotel built by Blue Sky Group, Chu Qingji is respectfully facing. The person at the table said, these are all the top-notch ingredients in the hotel. Does it still suit your taste? Gao Peng, who was cooking, replied that it was pretty good, wasn't it? What about the ingredients I brought with me? Why is it up so slow? Xiao Shu, go help me urge you. Li Junzong on the side addressed Teacher Dao. This prefecture-level monster is too difficult to deal with. Can only be cooked with Wang Jiushou's fire. Braid heat. Although it can be cooked well, but the taste is not satisfactory. Gao Peng shook his head and didn't need to worry. This is just a small matter. Li Junzong, you are making rapid progress. Undoubtedly the youngest captain of Nantian Group. Ji Yu Envoy is not bad, not bad. Continue to work hard. Li Junzong smiled and said, Teacher, you taught me well. Although last time you went back to Nantian, I happened to be on a mission. I can't come to see you in person. But the training method you left me, I am practicing all the time. I also lived up to the teacher's expectations of me. Li Junzong finally met his mentor whom he had not seen for many years. Inquire with the teacher. You came specifically to the desolate maze this time. Is there anything important? Gao Peng smiled and only stayed outside for a long time this time. Come back and take a look. By the way, let's take a look at the development of the barren maze. But his trip has another purpose. If possible, he wants Pang Da Hai to place a divine brick here. Turn this place into a worry-free base. Only the rest assured. Just after placing the divine bricks, we can only use the endless cycle maze. Transforming the environment and terrain. It's still a bit troublesome. Just as he was pondering, Xu Ching Jiri interrupted him. His expression is very serious, Xiao Dong. I was about to report something to you. This maze, it used to seem like it was being exploited by a mysterious force. Just these six months ago, I don't know why, the power of protection suddenly disappeared. Gao Peng's answer is very official and I know it now. Let me follow up on this matter. Actually, the maze lost its power to protect it. The reason is that Pang Da Hai took away the divine brick. This maze is the only thing that counts. Why don't you let him know? At this moment, suddenly an alarm sounded outside. The piercing sound echoed above the maze. Just now, someone who said they were laughing suddenly quieted down. Then someone made a joke. It's okay. 
Isn't that monster also killed yesterday? Let's go take a look at the city wall together. I didn't see it clearly yesterday, but the alarm didn't mean up. Someone can't hold back anymore. Wait a minute. Did you hear how many times this alarm went off? Just now, I mentioned going up to the city wall. The onlookers were suddenly startled. The surrounding air also became quiet in an instant. One of them mentioned eight level eight alarms. The highest level monster with a prefecture level is about to attack. After speaking, he silently walked towards the direction of the spatial crack. The faster you walk, the faster you go. Why don't we just start running behind? Soon, there is a phenomenon of overcrowding on the entire street. In the hotel, Li Junzong is checking the alert message. What is a ground-level monster of birds? Flying from the direction of the Black Phoenix Mountains. Here the prefecture-level monster. Gao Peng should still eat, drink, and drink. There is no change in the expression. But Xu Qingji on the side is different from Xiao Dong. How about we defeat the prefecture-level monsters before eating? Gao Peng is a bit unhappy. Put the fork down and it's just a prefecture-level monster. What's wrong with you all? I had no choice but to wipe it clean. Xiao Xia, ah, it's easy to say that you are also the leader of one side of the base now. Don't always be restless and restless. After speaking, he snapped his finger, summoned up the frost agent master. As soon as the frost agent appears, it caused a sharp drop in temperature in the air. He elegantly asked Gao Peng what he could do for him. Gao Peng smiled and said, the prefecture level monsters near here are, it's the little sparrow from the Black Phoenix Mountains, right? I remember your relationship doesn't seem to be good. Great. The frost agent squinted his eyes. It's not very good, but I can still be considered an old neighbor. We still need to give it a good treat. This nine you chubby sparrow, speaking ill of the maze owner. I remember this is the territory of frost agent master. Now it has become a gathering place for humans. And I haven't seen that little kitten for a while now. Maybe now it has become a meal on human plates. However, all of this happened to pass into the ears of the frost agent master, a chubby little bird. How dare you speak ill in my back? Next moment, the frost agent transformed into an icy blue light, rising rapidly from above the maze, and then hang in midair. Talk to this chubby little bird. Hello, long time no see. Ju Yu clearly froze immediately. He witnessed this white lion with his own eyes. Get out of the human gathering place. A hint of anger flowed from the bottom of my eyes. You have actually become a running dog of humans. It's really embarrassing for us monsters. Upon hearing this, the frost technician felt even more inexplicable. I become someone else's beast of defense. It's none of your business. Not waiting for him to react yet. Mobile game clearly expands its wings immediately. From the gaps in the wings, flames engulfed the sky and earth. That flame turned into a meteor shower in an instant. Smash at frost technician and the desolate maze behind him. I saw the cold frost technician snort coldly. Do you think I'm still that yellow monster from back then? The voice fell. A massive force of ice elements around him. The blue eyes sparkled with a hint of coldness, quickly centered around the relief of the cold frost. Spread out a layer of super ice wall. The falling sea of fire is also resisted by this cold, sacrificial realm. The flames are getting weaker and weaker, finally completely extinguished. At this moment, Zhu Yuming's eyes showed a hint of surprise. Surprisingly, he prevented this guy. When did it break through into the Earth's poles again? But coincidentally, I haven't eaten it in five years. Brain flower of prefecture-level monsters. Thinking of this, he seems even more excited. Moment. Cover the wings with a thin layer of blue flames, and then it's like a flame-bending knife. Spread from top to bottom and move forward. The ice wall that instantly soaked the frost. Split in half, but after he cleared the obstacles. But I found that the white lion had already disappeared before my eyes, just as he was pondering. A white light took advantage of its unpreparedness, falling rapidly from above his head. 100 meter distance. Arrived in an instant. The thick and sturdy forelimbs of the frost technician. I have already firmly stepped on Ju Yu's clear face, and it fell to the ground with a thunderous force. That mysterious ice left a long mark in the void, like a hailstone falling from above the nine heavens. At this moment, Ju Yu's clear left eye had been stepped on and exploded on the spot. He collapsed on the ground, barely breathing. Open your mouth and want to say something. But he hesitated to speak. And Frost Ji Shur stood on that ice cliff, looking down coldly at the nine yous on the ground with clarity. Eyes full of disdain. I saw him slip casually. A cold light is released along with it. Those mysterious ice can vary in size, falling straight on the ground and exploding, like a blooming ice flower. On the plain, fully affected an area of one square kilometer. 
Soon, Zhu Yu became clear that it had been completely frozen. Among these ice flowers, he was originally the strongest hegemon in the Black Phoenixons. Wherever they go, they all turn into ashes. But now he has been stomped on by an ice lion and his left eye has exploded. Finally, he was frozen in front of the desolate maze door. Just as everyone thinks, when he was completely frozen, suddenly the ice flow made a strange noise. Originally, this layer of ice flowers, not enough to completely freeze the nine nether whispering sparrow. Soon, the ice flowers gradually cracked open. Cracks appeared on top. The frozen nine netherworld. But like an explosive barrel about to explode, the frost technician also showed no mercy. Seeing him slap his paw on the ice flower, use all the power of frost, completely suppress the nine underworld. At this moment, Gao Peng walked out with many high-level executives. He casually said that I had already said it. Eat your fill before coming out. You just don't believe it. Soon, rows of attributes appeared before Gao Peng's eyes. Ju Yu Mingke, 77 level prefecture level epic quality. The Yu Ming Kuei that exists in hell, sucked into the world of black mist by spatial cracks. Likes to eat the brains of monsters. I also like to take a bath in magma, comparatively protective of food. At this moment, Xu Qing Zhu was somewhat surprised. The overlord of the Black Phoenix Mountains. Dense monsters can be unilaterally suppressed. At this moment, the image of Gao Peng in their minds is extremely elevated, almost evolving to save the great demon king. At this moment, Frost G turned back into Little Celery. Why does this feel so strange? He observed carefully. This ice flow seems to be emitting a slight tremble. There's something wrong with this movement. I haven't waited for the Frost Technician to react yet. That huge ice flow can no longer hold up. Countless cracks appeared. At the next moment, Ju Yu clearly exhausted all his abilities, breaking free from the ice flower's seal on him. The Frost Technician was also stunned. I didn't expect so many years to pass. He has also become stronger. Zong and Xu Qingzhi on the side watched anxiously. I understand a little, but Zhu Yuming did run out. Let's go back quickly. But Gao Peng's face remained unchanged. Don't panic in case of any trouble. After speaking, he snapped his finger. Command Adai and Xiao Huang to act secretly. Soon, a pitch black bone claw suddenly extended from somewhere. And that nine ghost seems to have been possessed by evil spirits. Suddenly dizzy and dizzy. Trapped in endless fantasies. He saw monsters with pitch black heads all over their bodies, coming from afar. After seeing the appearance of the monster clearly, it makes his hair stand on end. It was like going crazy right away, attacking recklessly. These actions are very ridiculous in Gao Peng's eyes. It seems that Xiao Wang doesn't need to take action anymore. Just this trick from the idiot can make him half dead. Not long ago, the nine Yuming Sparrow struggling desperately against illusion. I am already exhausted. Empty eyes. With a final splash falling weakly to the ground. At this Mao Peng walked up to Zhou Yu Mingke, proudly speaking of the little sparrow. Do you recognize the situation now? He was originally the strongest hegemon in the Black Phoenix Mountains. Wherever you go, everything turns into ashes. But now, but he was subdued and obedient by Gao Peng's beasts. Even Xu Qingji and Li Junzong were startled. Now the strength of the experts is already unfathomable, but the underworld is still full of pride and energy. He turned his head disdainfully. You want me to submit to you, humans? I can't imagine that Gao Peng has already seen nothing strange. Directly instruct Adai to continue using the dead soul realm. I saw a raging white flame burning on Adai's thigh palm. Soon, I and the underworld once again sees those countless dead souls. In the end, I had to bow my head in humiliation. I got it. I got it. I gave up and the sturdy little yellow kicked me directly over. This little sparrow is really useless. I thought I could hold on a little longer. Brother hasn't even made a move yet. Frost inherits the world, Dan Dan said. Too weak. You haven't made much progress in all these years. I'm already at level 78. You're actually only at level 77. The nine netherworld sparrow feels insulted. Speak loudly. If you want to kill or cut, come straight ahead. What kind of hero is this insult to me? Upon hearing this, the frost technician waved his small hand directly. Quickly, a sharp ice spike suspended in the air. Then I'll make things easier for you. At this moment, the nine netherworld sparrow suddenly remembered. There are three little nine netherworld sparrows in the volcano. If I just die like this, then they will never be able to survive in the cruel black wind mountains. Live on and think of this place. Ju Yu clearly repents immediately. Wait, I am the king of the black wind mountains. I speak in the Haifeng Mountains, but it's a bit of a concern. 
Then he turned his head and said to Gao Ping, I can help you control the Black Phoenix Mountains. You cultivate a monster again. When the king of the Black Phoenix Mountains, tired are definitely not as good as having a ready-made relaxation. Don't all of you humans prioritize interests? Gao Peng couldn't help but admire in his heart. This Ju Yu is quite intelligent and clear. Then he stopped the frost technician. Just say it's okay. There's still one fire left in the restaurant I run at home. You go set fire to it. Upon hearing this, Ju Yu Minke was momentarily stunned. What, the overlord of the Black Phoenix mountain range at the prefecture level? You asked me to go make a fire. Gao Peng thought he didn't want to. Do you want to go back on your word? Adai felt the terrifying aura on Adai's body. Ju Yu Minke is also completely desperate. This guy is a saint level. I can't beat him at all. What should the children do? Not yet waiting for him to speak. Adai beat Ju Yu up again and gave him a clear beating. Then grab his tail and drag him along. Ju Yu said clearly and anxiously, wait a moment. I still have three descendants. At the crater of the Black Phoenix Mountains, Gao Peng turned around and glanced at him. I used to be a single mother. It seems that we have found the reason for our fear of death. But even if there are cubs, I can still cultivate them. Then he said to Adai, okay. Adai, please accompany him on a trip. Remember tonight, the hotel still needs one hot pot. Just finished speaking. Adai is like catching a chick. Grasp Ju Yu's clear foot with one hand. Direct takeoff. Ju Yu clearly feels embarrassed. Hey, hello. I am the hegemon of the Black Phoenix Mountains. At least give me some face, okay? He was originally the strongest hegemon in the Black Phoenix Mountains, level up to prefecture level, even more contemptuous of sentient beings. But now he is subservient to a young man in his 20s, serve as the cook behind his restaurant. Adai grabs Ju Yu's clear leg, direct takeoff. Go to the entrance of the volcano. Bring his three cubs back to the gathering place. Xu Qing just doesn't quite understand. Ju Yu is clear because there are still three cubs left. Just surrendered. Since we have his handle, why not directly? Gao Peng rep no need. That's because BB set is good for low-level monsters, but for high-level monsters that have already developed consciousness. Treating the other person as a person, still capable and proud, that kind of person first sharpens his pride. And it's not too late to use it again. Xu Qingzhu's face was full of admiration. As expected, he is still a young director. Although I didn't quite understand, but it must be a clever move. After a long time, the three clear and mysterious cubs were brought back. They looked at the man in glasses in front of them. I can't help but shiver and shiver. Gao Peng picked up a cub casually. Say, oh, does the little baby look black and chubby? Seeing the cub in Gao Peng's hands, the nine hidden sparrows on the side were helpless and helpless. No matter what he does, struggling, unable to break free from the shackles of fools. Gao Peng said to the crowd, this is the fattest little sparrow. Do any of you have what you want? See if anyone makes a sound. Xu Qingzhu took the initiative to walk over. Kui King, are you willing to come with me? The little sparrow is naturally unwilling, but I received a warning from my mother's gaze. I can only nod reluctantly and reluctantly. Tears streaming down the corners of my eyes. Gao Peng suddenly felt like a big villain, thinking to myself, these little guys are following us. Does it sound unpleasant and not at all suffer any losses, okay? Isn't it just working part-time? Our treatment is the highest among our peers. Screen rotation. In the corner of the restaurant's kitchen, two chefs are busy preparing a feast for the executives. At this moment, the chef instructed Air Guzi to, you wash the flesh of this blood dragon python clean. We need to wash out all the parasites inside. Depang, have the white hole ostrich birds over there been delayed? By the way, Lao Kai, passage oil first. At this moment, Air Guzi exclaimed in surprise, Turns out it's in the flesh of a blood cage python. Suddenly a line popped out. Snakes and roundworms with the thickness of a thumb. But soon, a little Ming suddenly from somewhere. Accurately picked up the snake and roundworm. Then fly back to the platform built at the top of the kitchen hall. Swallow the snake and roundworm whole again. Jiu Yu clearly saw this scene and felt helpless. The third person signed a blood contract with the chef. In the future, it may be in the kitchen. Helping humans deal with Huang Ji. Various parasites in the meat of prefecture-level monsters. Although it sounds a bit awkward. But at least it's safe and not worried about food and clothing. The second person signed a blood contract with the female subordinate of that human. And it seems that the boss was brought back to his grandfather by that human. Anyway, although I'm still a bit unwilling. But at least it's better than losing one's life. At this moment, Huang Ya arrived at the kitchen. Instruct the Taoist chef master. Mr. Xiao asked me to take Zhu Yu away clearly. The head chef smiled. 
Okay, this little thing. Where should the yellow team personally greet me? Ha <laughs> Ju Yu's clear expression on the side became serious. Is it finally time to execute me? He was originally a hegemon in the Black Phoenix Mountains. Wherever you go, everything turns into ashes. But now? But he was subdued and obedient by Gao Peng's beasts. He looked up and sighed, thinking he was about to be executed. At least my children have found a home. It's a pity that I didn't become that human beast. The thought suddenly flashed through Zhu Yu Mingkui's mind. His tears finally couldn't help but slide down. Huang Ya beside the ground said calmly that you can leave now. Zhu Yu clearly stood still on the spot. A few seconds later, he suddenly roared. Is there anything wrong with what? You actually let me go. Huang Ya replied. Yes, you go back to the volcano first. Later on, someone will come to discuss the content and methods of cooperation with you. Zhu Yu asked clearly. That one. Do the Imperial Censor of the Holy Rank have any other requirements? Huang Ya took out the recording. The audio device said, Some Shaodong. There is one more thing I want to convey to you. It's coming soon. The words recorded by Gao Peng in advance. Go back. Your appetite is so strong. They're almost eating us out of poverty. I can't afford to support you anymore. Zhu Yu Mingke, on the other hand, has a speechless expression on her face. At this moment, Adai spread out his five fingers. The ability has also been activated again. But this time, it is to lift the confinement around the neck of the Nine Ghost Sparrow. Nine. The underworld looked up ahead and looked up. Discovering that holy level skull standing on the city wall, he's not talking nonsense either. Directly rise up into the air, flying towards the Black Phoenix Mountains. When passing by Adai's side, leave a sentence thinking of that human being. Be good to the three of them, although they are a bit clumsy, but it's still very cute. Adai turned around and looked at Ju Yu, make a clear hoarse sound. Don't worry, do you? After everything is over, Gao Peng has connected Huang Ya's communication. Okay, I got it. You've worked hard this time. Old Huang, keep busy with your work. Then he stood up and murmured, Time has also come. It's time to fix the maze for them. Gao Peng walked out of the door. Discovering that Xu Qingzhi has been waiting for a long time. Xiao Dong, everything is ready. Gao Peng looked at the maze with surging heads. A faint blue light emanated from the left hand. I hope it won't scare you guys later, will it? After speaking, he snapped his finger. The surrounding space is also twisting at this moment. Quickly, he summoned a message out of thin air. A fat-headed fish suspended in midair. Xu Qing was stunned on the spot. As for the pre-sale of Wei Shi Star's collection by Xiao Dong, is it? I've never seen it before. Pang De Hai smiled, little sister. Keep an eye on it. After speaking, he spat out a golden Rubik's Cube from his mouth. Just when Xu Qing Jiu was puzzled in her heart, the golden Rubik's Cube floating in front of us begins to disintegrate. Like building blocks breaking apart one by one. Quickly. Another divine brick was shot towards the chubby sea. I saw Pang De Hai chuckling. The divine brick has been formed, and then it smashed towards the ground again. The golden brick bloomed with a golden light, with a whoosh, immersed in the soil beneath my feet. This is an endless cycle that contains divine power. Maze body. Pang De Hai directly comes from that model. Extract one of the divine bricks, and then directly hit the ground of the barren maze. I only saw that golden brick. Immersed in the soil beneath my feet in an instant. The next moment, the entire barren maze is roaring. The earth trembles violently like an earthquake. Scared the vendors and pedestrians on the street into panic. Some people are frozen in place. Some people run into roadside shops for shelter. Even those weak beasts tremble with fear. Emit a terrifying moan, confused and at a loss. The strange movement of the barren maze lasted for ten minutes. Xu Qingzhi just realized that the vibration had decreased. He asked Gao Peng and Xiao Dong, Is that all right? Gao Peng pointed to the nearby wall. Speaking of letting your little sparrow, try attacking the maze wall over there. Under the command of Xu Qingji, the chubby little standing in his hand was trembling its wings, flying towards the wall. I saw the sparrow crash directly into the wall, make a loud noise, like hitting a thick and hard wall. Then he fell heavily to the ground, even fainted on the spot. Xu Qing only held the little sparrow in his arms, Looking at the glowing wall, he said, This kind of light. It seems that the mysterious power of the maze has really returned. Gao Peng snapped his fingers again, summoned the eldest son out. And then he said, Unless attacked at or above the holy level. Otherwise, safety can be basically guaranteed. By the way, my grandfather asked me to go back if he had something to do. I'll leave this to you and the county lord. Xu Qingzhi's heart was quite shaken. Undoubtedly a young director. All of this is unbelievable. Screen rotation. 
Gao Peng rode his eldest son back to the villa community. The level limit of Emperor Star has been opened up to now. Which number? Therefore, most of his pre-sales can also be released from space. He pushed open the villa gate, discovering a group of Ping ancient tribal costumes. Coming and going between the living room and dining room, he could probably guess that his grandfather was hosting a banquet. Gao Peng arrived at the living room without changing his expression. I said hello to my grandfather. I have found several stable purification formulas this time. Just right for the laboratory. Let them operate it. At this point, the silver-haired woman beside looked at Gao Peng. Speaking of which, this is your grandson, right? Gao Peng looked over and discovered that this woman was wearing a white silk robe. Back straight. A decent temperament. Guess she must have been a great beauty when she was young. But the atmosphere is not quite right. The silver-haired woman continued to say to Ji Han Wu, It looks very similar to you. It's also quite similar to him. Ji Han Wu is a bit awkward. Fake cough twice, I said it. I am Ji Han Wu. I'm not him. I just got the inheritance from his ruins. You got the wrong person. Hear the conversation between two people. Gao Peng became even more curious. Grandpa, this is... Han Wu hesitated for a moment. He's a silver-haired woman. I'm sorry to see him. Then he smiled kindly. I come from the White Dragon tribe. This old man was once the strongest imperial censor of Emperor Star. Under his command, he possesses an unparalleled white dragon. Nowadays, one of the elderly members of an ancient clan suddenly came knocking on their door. He also claimed to be a member of the White Dragon tribe. Gao Peng frowned. He remembers this White Dragon tribe. It's one of those three top tribes. This tribe only existed during the great return of the tribe. I've been to Yujo before and reached some relatively equal contracts with Nantian. I heard that people from the White Dragon tribe rarely appear in the outside world. Seems to be interested in competing for territory or something to go to Emperor Star. Not very interested. And the Yuhu tribe's visit did not help either. And there was no falling stone in the well. Why did you suddenly come to Nantian to find your grandfather at this time? Just as he was pondering. Old woman. Suddenly speaking to Jihan Wu, you really look like him. After hearing this, Gao Peng pulled his face into an old age. I'm afraid he might have any public thoughts. At this moment, Ji Han Wu replied that it was not something to be proud of. I am me. I am not anyone. I am Ji Han Wu. This answer makes Gao Peng as his grandson feel very at ease. The old lady laughed heartily. Okay, you are Ji Han Wu. I believe you. What else does he want to say? But unfortunately, Gao Peng is no longer too embarrassed. Gao Peng secretly believed that people from ancient tribes. Is it so low to even start a conversation? The old woman then talked about the main matter. Actually, we are here for a serious purpose. In six days, there will be a meeting held in Fanghua World. All medium-sized and above tribes will participate. This meeting will determine many things, including attitude towards Emperor Star. I believe you also know about the nine days and ten places, right? When the war breaks out, Emperor Star will indeed become a bridgehead. Gao Peng's expression was solemn and dignified. He remembered when he was in the world of black mist. I once heard that the ancient tribes were due to resources, forced to flee to the world of black mist, and this bridgehead. It doesn't sound like a good word. The old woman continued to say, the people of the tribe will not allow war to occur in a localized world. That is now the stronghold of the tribe. So the only way is to make the center of the earth a battlefield. They will launch a counterattack from here when the time comes. Kill into the nine heavens and ten earths. Gao Peng interrupted his words. Not that great. Are all nine days and ten places our enemies? What exactly happened back then? The old woman explained that it wasn't really that exaggerated. Just now, the masters of the nine heavens and ten earths don't want us to go back. They talked a lot about it that night. Gao Peng was even more unhappy after dinner. Alone by the lake, blowing the cold wind. Between his thoughts, Ji Han Wu unconsciously walked behind him. Fire what's wrong? Can't you sleep? Gao Peng turned around and said hello. He has been thinking about the war that the White Dragon tribe is talking about. Thinking about how Emperor Star will become a battlefield in the future. To be honest, this news is really exciting. One is the so-called ancient tribe. One is something I haven't even heard of before. The indigenous peoples of nine heavens and ten earths. Someone broke into our house to treat this place as a battlefield. But we cannot refuse. I have only one person fighting head on. Either side can exhaust me to death. Of course, I can also take advantage of both sides to go to war. No time for him to worry. Relying on Adai and his team to defend Yujo. But what should Chang'an District do? What to do in other places? As an elder of the ancient clan White Dragon Tribe, 
tell the secret that Emperor Star is about to become a battlefield. This made Gao Peng as the strongest imperial censor of Emperor Star. Also worried. I only have one person myself. I can't stop the enemy's army and horses at all. But my grandfather was surprised, since the position cannot be held. Then let's move out. Gao Peng was immediately taken aback. My grandfather explained that you can think from a global perspective. It seems that the experiences of the Black Mist world in recent years, it has indeed made you grow a lot. But as a leader, you also need to have the vision to break free from problems. If you can't fight, then hide. For the survival of civilization without shame. Isn't there still a world of Black Mist? The people of these ancient tribes, hiding in the world of the Plain Sea. We can also hide in the Sea of Plains. Gao Peng is still very worried. Wei Mianhai will not mention it for now. It is not a problem for the Black Mist world to accommodate over a billion people. But the migration of over a billion people is not a small matter, relying solely on us. Grandpa interrupted him. Don't always think about one person finishing everything. Go find the coalition government. This is exactly what they should do. Tomorrow I will have you, Uncle Shu, notify the Alliance. Let them make early plans. As for the tribe, you and I will go to the world of Fanghua together. Look at these people from ancient tribes. What exactly is being sold? Official. Gao Peng said that the other side of the world knows nothing. I don't want my grandfather to take this risk. Speaking of grandpa, the situation on the Alliance side is complex. You still need to personally take action. On the side of the Fanghua incident, I can do it alone. Han Wu originally wanted to refuse. Gao Peng suddenly understood his implied meaning again. Then he silently sighed. My grandson has indeed grown up. Go ahead, remember to come back earlier. The next day near the Himalayas, a white giant dragon with various shapes and shapes, flying over the sky. Gao Peng rode the eldest son and followed in the queue. He looked at a girl who was less than 20 years old beside him, lost in contemplation. Young in age, I have a 69 level head, a pure blood white dragon of legendary quality. The jade beast at the peak of the emperor. I guess there's in behind it. I flew for about an hour. Everyone then saw a spatial crack. After passing through, it will be the outer dragon islands. Soon, Duopeng followed the people of the white dragon tribe. Passing through spatial cracks, the other world is actually a blue sea and sky. Underneath my feet is a calm blue ocean. One head, one dragon, circling in the trenches between islands in the sky. Occasionally, Yalong rolls around. There are a large number of dragon monsters here. It's a bit like the Valley of Dragon Meteorites. But there are a variety of monsters here. The level range is also larger. After landing, the young man on the dragon's back said to the old woman, The high priest, I'll leave first. The old woman nodded and went back to train well. Act well during the stop meeting. Don't lose face with your brother. At this moment, Gao Peng asked the old woman and grandmother, May I ask if this is... The old woman replied, This is an island inhabited by priests throughout history. I'm the contemporary high priest of the tribe. You're before the meeting. I don't have any special rules here. But it's best not to run around recklessly. Gao Peng's face was full of helplessness, thinking to oneself. Actually, I already saw that your identity is extraordinary. Okay, the old woman didn't continue speaking, just staring at Gao Peng all the time, always wearing a kind smile on his face. Then he waved to the sky. The pterosaur hovering overhead immediately fell from the sky. That is a dark gray skin color. Flat and elongated head. Two wings are like crouching wings, a pterosaur with a tail as long as a mouse's tail. The old lady caressed his head. Introduce that this is a monster tamed by the tribe. They can basically serve as the royal beasts of the tribe. They have been domesticated in the outer dragon islands since childhood. If needed, these monsters can all be quickly thrown into the battlefield. When saying this, the old woman intentionally glared at Gao Peng. Seems to be warning something. Tell him not to act recklessly. After all, Gao Peng is a man with a criminal record. The, the Zhou Tiger tribe is still bloody ahead. This is a person who likes to lift the table at a word of disagreement. Gao Peng couldn't help but twitch at the corner of his mouth. Unfair, high priest. I am usually a law-abiding and good citizen. I would never do that. The man just casually exterminated an ancient tribe. It drew a warning from the high priest of the White Dragon tribe. You should also know that there are many people here. There is great hostility towards people in the center of the earth, the silver-haired old man said with a kind expression on his face. Do you know why this is Gao Peng Dun? After a moment, he said, I probably guessed. Perhaps it's because it's a communion. The silver-haired old man smiled contentedly, thinking of this. You're not as kind as you seem to be. 
On the one hand, because the Holy Communion is extremely rare. But another reason may not be clear to you yet. After speaking, lift your hand up. The surrounding cyclones are also buzzing at this moment. Next moment, a white dragon suddenly poked its head out of the sea. Monster name Nihai King. Reef or level 86, holy level. Gao Peng's gaze is focused on Ni, on the body of Hai King Reef. This is an epic quality holy level monster. The words just fell behind me. Suddenly, waves of animal roar came from the jungle. Gao Peng quickly turned around and looked around. A figure with extremely fast speed. Jumping from various tree crowns. Just a few ups and downs. I've already jumped over from a hundred meters away. And then landed safely behind the silver-haired old man. Monster name, moving mountain dragon garden, monster level 89, holy level. Gao Peng was also taken aback at the sight. This is a legendary quality moving dragon garden. And it's as high as level 89. Thinking of this, Gao Peng suddenly straightened up. Wait a moment, these two holy level monsters. Is it difficult or not? We don't wait for Gao Peng to speak up. The silver-haired old man touched the mountain-moving dragon ape and said yes. These two are both my royal beasts. I am also a holy communion. As soon as this sentence is spoken, Gao immediately became excited. How could you be a holy communion? Is it difficult to say that all high priests are holy bodies? The silver-haired old man glanced over. He's really very intelligent. Surprisingly, you guessed it all at once again. In fact, every generation of high priests is a sacrament. Only the holy communion. To qualify for the White Dragon Tribe High Priest election, Gao Peng interrupted him. Or rather, as long as it is a communion, it is eligible to run for high priest. Right, that surprised the silver-haired old man. I didn't expect you to have such a mind at your age. The old man looked into the distance, sighed. Perhaps the current decline of the tribe. It's not because there are too few holy bodies, but we have been stuck in our own way for too long. Everyone on earth is a holy communion. But there are not many strong men that the tribe can fear, like the Yuhu tribe. Of course, there are very few tribes that have angered both humans and gods. But other tribes, essentially the same attempt is made towards all earthlings. It's like a child holding gold, walking alone on the night road, like being coveted by the gaze hidden in the dark. Gao Peng has some doubts. The other party owns something precious to me. The difference in strength is significant. Why don't I take action? This is no longer a matter of morality. The old man with flat hair continued to say, You don't need to think too much. They are not deliberately targeting Emperor Star yet. The focus of this meeting. We also need to discuss how to deal with the group of people behind the Nine Heavens field. According to calculations, the barrier of BU Emperor Star won't be able to block it for long. At that time, Emperor Star will completely merge with Nine Heavens. A high priest from the White Dragon tribe gave a prophecy. This world will soon merge with the nine heavens and ten earths. Scared, Gao Peng was dumbfounded. He simply thought that. It's just that the people of the ancient clan are going to war with the nine heavens and ten earth. The silver-haired old man waved his hand. When it comes to the world of localization, you can also see various tribes. The pride of the younger generation. It would be great if you could make more peers then. Maybe we can make a few more friends. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng suddenly showed a sinister smile. Make friends. I really enjoy making friends. The screen switches to the sea surface. A group of young people riding jade beasts racing on the sea surface. Make a cheering shout. The naked man sighed and lost again and again. Damn it. I can't beat Doug in every sea racing competition. Another person smiled and said to do jade. At the gathering of various ethnic groups in five days, you can definitely show off your divine power. Give those small tribes a good demonstration. The majesty of our white dragon tribe. The person next to me also complimented me. Dujay's pre-sale has already surpassed the prefecture level. A 26-year-old prefecture level censor. In those small tribes, who can be Dujay's opponent? Is it okay for Baidu to show a bit of reserve? In fact, there is a natural talent in the world, and this talent is not a big deal. There are too many powerful people left. At this point, suddenly an honest person spoke up and said that Dujay was right. There is a heaven beyond heaven. This time, we are going to resist with the high priest. Just saw a person named Gao. Peng's people are also prefecture-level imperial censors. The people around me in my 20s suddenly became surprised as well. The atmosphere that was still hot just now was instantly awkward. The calmness on Baidu's face was a bit overwhelming. At this moment, a person next to him suddenly said, Isn't it the high priest's island ahead? Is that person on the shore? And on this side of the island... Gao Peng also heard the sound of speaking on the sea surface. 
It seems that someone is discussing themselves. He looked towards the center of the sea, discovered a group of teenagers riding on sharks, discussing, I always feel like those people across from me. It seems that I'm not very welcomed anymore. At this moment, a man from the tribe said, such a young prefecture-level censor, or the Holy Communion, means he has a high probability of having other imperial beasts, and the strength will not be low. Bai J, the younger brother of a narrator, is very unhappy. Who knows if he's really a prefecture-level censor? Maybe the high priest is confused. Did you deceive him? As soon as this sentence is spoken, the man in the tribe was stunned on the spot. Bai J directly drove the shark towards the direction of the island. Brother, I'll go try his weight. Isn't he just a prefecture-level censor? We also have prefecture-level ones. Bai Du quickly blocked it. Don't act recklessly. Bai J, but Bai J has a bad smile on his face. Don't worry, brother. I won't be foolish enough to do things by myself. After speaking, he reached into the seawater with his hand. Soon, circles of energy like sound waves are transmitted to the seabed. And at this moment, at the bottom of the sea, a slender neck stem, the fish-necked dragon with landling power claw. I heard the rhythmic sound waves, as if hearing instructions. Turn your head directly. Rush towards the island where Guy is located. A huge fishneck dragon head broke out from the sea surface. Fine blue broken scales. Under the light of seawater and the sun in the sky, sparkling and shining. Men are the strongest imperial sensors in the center of the earth. The seabone tyrant under his command has even surpassed the holy level. Now arriving at the territory of ancient clans, but being ignorant here. I mistook the younger generation for a prefecture-level sensor. I saw a white dove reaching its hand into the seawater. Circles of energy, like sound waves, are transmitted to the seabed. Soon, a huge fish-necked dragon leaned towards him. This fish-necked dragon group. It's the responsibility of their family to raise them. Brother Bai Du originally wanted to reprimand him. Can you see this fish-necked dragon named Aeotian? Lost in contemplation. As the king of the fish-necked dragon tribe. He has indeed reached the level of Emperor's strength. Forget it. Let Autian give it a try. If anything happens, Ba, all of them are Imperial level. Am I still afraid of him? Under the command of Brother Bai, Imperial level presail, Aeotian quietly sneaked into the depths of the sea. The blue scales on the surface of the body shimmer with a faint light, and then merge with seawater. In the next moment, it will completely disappear into the seawater. Only the surging undercurrent of seawater is left rolling. But Gao Peng can see it clearly. Roast secretly in the heart. Shouldn't it be the same probing routine again? It's really boring. Don't care about them anymore. After speaking, Gao Peng casually snapped his fingers, summoning Xiao Huang out of space. Xiao Huang went to catch two fish and came back for dinner. If it tastes good, I'll give you a bonus. Xiao Huang broke his hand joint. With a grin on his face, he said, What, do you want to eat fish tonight? Wrap it around me. I will definitely catch a big one for you. He plunged half of his body into the seawater keenly scanning the sea level. Wait, let me see where the big fish is. Suddenly, Xiao Huang's eyes froze, looking somewhere. I found you now. It's time, in the center of the seawater, a giant fish-necked dragon over 10 meters long, rushing over at full speed. Xiao Huang let out a loud roar. Just jump into the sea, swim straight towards that massive body. However, this fish-necked dragon was the first to launch an attack. In the center of the sea, whirlpools instantly turn up. But Xiao Huang is not afraid at all. You immediately activated the skill-forbidden demon realm. Do you still want to use magic to attack me? The next moment, the seawater will roll. The roaring sea waves. The islands under my feet are trembling slightly. After a moment, a water column several tens of meters high exploded again. An innocent little fish was blown ashore. Gao Peng is crazy in his heart. He just complains about catching a fish. Is this noise too loud? Those who didn't know thought I was demolishing the house. At this moment, the huge waves on the sea surface. It seems that there are several different directions rolling at the same time. There is even a trend of rising against the current. Bai Du, who was watching the battle from a distance, began to panic. This situation doesn't seem to be right. Immediately ask your younger brother, little brother, what exactly is going on? Aeotian's situation is not good. At this moment, Bai Jie is also sweating profusely. I don't know either. I didn't let Aeotian make such a big noise. No, I need to go over and take a look. Bai J is about to go over and treat it, but I was stopped by Bai Du. Please give me some peace of mind. If anything happens, I will definitely be beaten to death by my dad when I go back. Bai J was stunned, but he was stunned. Ochen Tuo Bai Bai Du glanced at Gao Peng in the distance. Speak lightly and let your beast roar. Tell Aeotian to go back. 
Men summon their strongest beast to resist, just to test the opponent's strength. Unexpectedly, it has been playing underwater for a long time. I haven't seen the fish-necked Dragon King return either. Under helplessness, he had to let the other fish-necked dragons roar. Let the fighting fish-necked Dragon King retreat. Baidu grabbed his younger brother and said, What are you still staring at? Baijie is filled with remorse. Tears slid down my face. But Gay Ocean collapsed. Why hasn't he responded at all? Baidu sighed, so don't worry about it. A prefecture-level presale in their 20s doesn't represent much. Just at the prefecture level. The road ahead is still quite long. I want to see who can enter holy level first with his presale and me. At this moment on the beach, Gao Peng looked towards the other side of the sea with confusion. Discovered that the group of young people riding jade beasts had already left. Why did everyone leave? At this moment, from the side came the voice of Xiao Huang Gao Peng. Gao Peng is such a big fish. I caught it. What a big fish. Gao Peng turned around. Just see. Xiao Huang is carrying a fish-necked dragon that is ten meters long. The corpse walked heavily step by step onto the shore. Gao Peng's gaze focused on the corpse. Monster name fish-necked dragon king monster state death. At this moment, Xiao Huang explained to Gao Peng. Listen to me. Saw this guy sneaking around underwater. And as soon as I got off, he attacked me. Unfortunately, he is not my opponent, Grandpa. Make an idea quickly. Do we have barbecue or steamed? Gao Peng pushed his glasses. Speaking seriously, Xiao Huang, do you know you made a big mistake? Xiao Huang scratched the only remaining hair. With a bewildered expression, I let out a creak. What mistake did I make? At this moment, Gao Peng suddenly punched the fool and came over. How can you eat fish without drinking fish soup? Hurry up and go to the fireframe country. Upon hearing this, Xiao Huang immediately picked up the body of the fish-necked dragon king. Run to the fireframe country. Leave Gao Peng thinking in place. Did you just become a young man from the White Dragon tribe? This is really interesting now. Two hours have passed quickly. Little yellow light is removing fish scales. It took half a day to clear the internal organs. By the time he started the fire and set the pot, it was already evening. However, Gao Peng sat on the sun chair, enjoying the sunshine bath to the fullest. He casually urged Xiao Huang. Why isn't it okay yet? Xiao Huang is working hard to control the heat. Impatiently replied, look. How big is this piece of meat? If you're in a hurry, you can have some soup first. Gao Peng got up and stretched. Got it. Let me take a look myself. Seeing that the size of the fish meat being cut is just right. Gao Peng sighed for a moment. It's really good. The taste of fish soup is really fragrant. Ah Chun, please give me some scallions. After speaking, take Ah Chun out of space. Only see a purely lifting a box of pre-cut scallions. Then use that orchid finger to pick up the scallions. Just sprinkle it into the fish soup. Seems like we're dealing with it. A dish with extremely high artistic content. After finishing all of this, one person, one jellyfish. Together, vigorously absorbing the fragrance of the fish soup. Undoubtedly, it is a superior ingredient. At this moment, suddenly, a familiar voice came from behind. Are you a master? Anrin was originally the strongest imperial censor in the center of the... Th the skeletal tyrant under his command has even surpassed the holy level. But now it has become a gourmet with extremely high artistic content. A prefecture-level fish-necked dragon king. And it became his plate of food, just as he wanted to eat a large piece of meat. But the familiar voice shouted out. Gao Peng recognized the name in front of him as different from a few years ago. A young person whose appearance has not changed much. Time seems to have left no trace on him. Silver's words were somewhat apologetic. I heard yesterday that a distinguished guest came from Yuzhou in the heart of the earth. I guess it's you. Just thinking about yesterday when you had a tiring commute. I didn't come over immediately to disturb you. Gao Peng is also quite enthusiastic. Grasp the other person's hand and vigorously shake it. You're too polite. You're too polite. We are good friends. Welcome whenever you come. Bai Yin smirked bitterly. That's right, that's right. We are good friends. My good friend at this moment, Gao Peng suddenly stuffed the bowl over. You came just in time. I need ale. I caught a seafood today. This just started cooking. You're here. Take a few sips, please. I haven't had this yet. Look, look, look. This heat is just right. Seeing Gao Peng so enthusiastic, Silver is really a bit flattered. It seems that our relationship hasn't improved to this extent yet. He looked carefully at the ingredients in the pot and was also stunned. I'm afraid the level of this fish meat is not low. At least it's above gold. Where did Gao Peng get this? Gao Peng quickly added a bowl of silver. Come on, come on. This bowl is just left. It's still hot. Drink this fresh. Bai Yin has a bewildered expression on her face. I think Gao Peng seems a bit abnormal today. 
but he came here with a deep desire in his heart. Therefore, under his wild imagination, I picked up the fish soup and took a sip. Gao Peng's smile is very bright. Is it good to drink? After drinking, Silver was a bit surprised. This taste is very delicious. I haven't heard of Gao Peng even on Emperor Star. His cooking skills are amazing. Seeing him let go of his go Gao Peng filled another bowl. If you think it tastes good, why don't you have another bowl? Some meat, too. Silver was shocked in her heart. Perhaps this fish soup is poisonous. But I already took a small sip just now. It's not a big deal if there's something to do. So he turned his heart upside down. I just suffocated in one gulp. But at this moment, Gao Peng suddenly spoke correctly. Brother Bai Yin, have you heard of Yu Jinglong? Just finished speaking. Silver sprayed the fish soup out of his mouth. Seeing this, Gao Peng wants to help him get some tissues. Oh my, this is such an adult. Why are you so careless? I'll go get you some tissues. Then suddenly he turned his head and put on a sinister expression. By the way, I remember Yu Jinglong wouldn't take the initiative to attack humans. Royal beast, right? Silver suddenly broke out in a cold sweat. A cautious answer. Yes, yes, my heart is full of doubts. What exactly is this Gao Peng selling? Gao Peng insinuated that, I thought I made a mistake. Thinking about how much your tribe has raised, my familiar. Bai Yin explained that although the fish-necked dragon was powerful, but naturally mild in nature, and they have been replaced by our tribe for a long time, very close to humans, never for no reason. That's all for now. Bai Yin lowered her head and froze for a moment, looking at the bowl in the palm of my hand, and the delicious fish and meat in the bowl and so on. Shouldn't this man have been deceived? Drink a bowl of delicious prefecture-level fish soup. I only realized after drinking it, the ingredients are actually the prefecture-level imperial beasts raised by their tribe, Yujing Dragon King. He looked down at the chunks of meat in the big pot, and inside the fragrant white soup surrounded by fish and meat. Heart felt shock. Then he glanced at the little yellow duck next to him. Grilled shark fin. At this moment, the silver has a heart that is dying of longing. He questioned Gao Peng how- Gao Peng immediately interrupted him. At this point, King Jinglong suddenly took the initiative to attack my jade beast. I just asked you because it's strange. Upon hearing this, Silver did not delve into the root cause and continued to investigate. Just took a deep breath. Then take the fish soup and meat that Gao Peng just brought in. I feel suffocated in one gulp. Gao Peng immediately gave a few applause. That's really impressive. Silver pointed fiercely at Gao Peng. You bastard. Did you intentionally drag me into the water? I am also cursing in my heart. As expected, it is as cunning and cunning as rumors. A piece of fish on the ground of Gao Peng. You can't say that. Just say if the taste is good or not. After knowing the truth, silver doesn't fit anymore. Take the fish and meat directly from Gao Peng's hand. Then he stuffed it into his mouth. I completely put down my face and started eating. Your taste is indeed delicious. Quickly, the two of them opened their stomachs and started eating. Who else is competing to eat more? Looking at the little yellow duck next to me, I was envious. Is my craftsmanship so good? These two people seem to have never eaten in their lifetimes. Your appetite is so amazing, isn't it? The two of them ate until 12 p.m. at night. Silver touched her round belly and let out a long sigh. It's really delicious. However, Xiao Huang, who had been tired all day, was so hungry that her stomach was growling. Where did that guy come from? Surprisingly, it is even more edible than a royal beast. At this moment, Bai Yin suddenly asked, I just came to eat. I forgot to ask you and Bai Du what's going on with them. Gao Peng also had a helpless expression on his face. Who knows? I don't even know them, okay? Silver thought for a moment, speaking to Gao Peng. I can probably guess it too. Although that kid from Bai Du is at the prefecture level, but my strength is far inferior to yours. However, his father Bai Ji Wan is one of the tribal hunting captains, can be considered a senior executive, even if your talent is stronger than him. But the present is definitely a tricky existence. I heard that his beast, the water dragon turtle, has already reached the pinnacle of the earth level, can break through the hole at any time, plus some intermarriage families. It's actually a considerable force. Gao Peng remained silent. I naturally wouldn't take those people seriously, but this guy has a naturally familiar appearance. What kind of medicine is actually being sold? Seeing Gao Peng not speaking, Silver said, rest assured, if they trouble you, I'll definitely help you carry it. After all, I also had a portion of this meat. By the way, will you go to tomorrow's tribal trade fair? Attitude towards Silver. Gao Peng did not inquire further. Instead, I asked about the trade fair. Can people from your tribe also go? Silver explained that in fact, this trade fair is held once a month. 
not just our white dragon tribe. Some people from other tribes nearby will come over, so it's not a problem to bring you to participate. After hearing these words, Gao Ping, immediately show a kind smile. Thank you for taking me to broaden my horizons. Seeing this smile, Bai Yin immediately shuddered and said goodbye. Don't show me such a smile. You are such a bad person. And I plan to participate in the trade fair organized by the White Dragon Tribe. Farewell to the High Priest before leaving. So let's go first. The High Priest joked, Go ahead. Xiao Yin, that child has a lot of thoughts. Be careful not to be fooled by him. The silver on the side looked disdainful. I don't know who has a lot of heart, Roast. Just finish speaking. Gao Peng immediately turned his head and put on a sinister smile. Silver will immediately admit it. All right, all right. I said the wrong thing. Let's go once everything is ready. The two of them boarded a winged dragon and flew up to the sky together. Bai Yin introduces the background of the trade fair to Gao Peng. At the beginning of each month in our tribe, it will all be on a small island, holding a trade fair on. Basically, it's for sale. Monster corpses obtained within this month. There are also captured monster cubs and collected materials. If you have something you want to sell, you can also participate. The toughest currency at the trade fair is the monster gold box. Hear this! Gao Peng suddenly remembered the cutting altar. Purchase monster corpses at the trade fair, then decompose and process it before selling it at a high price. Anyway, forget it. It's too conspicuous and can easily attract unnecessary trouble. Besides, the digestion of flesh and blood essence and soul essence, it all takes time. Counting too many, this thing cannot accelerate digestion speed. But most importantly, we are not short of money. Gao Peng chuckled while thinking about it. Scared to the side, Silver was sweating profusely. Is this guy thinking of some strange trick again? He couldn't help but speak up and say, although Gao Peng doesn't know what you're thinking about. But I still want to remind you, this is an area jointly supervised by various tribes. If something goes wrong, it's difficult for our white dragon tribe to explain. You better be honest, okay? Gao Peng's howling came to an abrupt end. Rest assured, I'm a big and good person. My family still has. Where are the three good citizen banners sent to me by Chang'an and Yu Zhou? Before long, the two of them had already arrived at the exchange. Bai Yin spoke up and said, At the bottom, it's the destination. But when Gao Peng just landed, I found that all around me were pterosaurs about to land. A scene full of bustling traffic in my eyes. Get out of Yilong Airport. Gao Peng heard the sound of selling. The feces of the tiger-striped spiral horn whale from the Black Water region. Excellent materials for cultivating aquatic plants. The flower heart of cardamom cloud grass. There is a certain chance of triggering mutation for pre-sale of water systems, especially effective against turtle aquatic jade beasts. Gao Peng scans towards these materials. The cardamom cloud grass flower center is mainly made of the cardamom cloud grass flower center as the main material. Paired with tiger pattern spiral twisted stem feces, golden insect crab eye carving, fresh urine, the internal organs of rotting sea snails can produce mutated drugs. For turtles below the holy level, water monsters and jade beasts have extremely strong mutation effects. It's really interesting for Gao Peng to start gig, the protagonist in the novel, always in magical places like wholesale markets, picking up a treasure. I already have a system. Can't be considered the protagonist can also be a major supporting role. Maybe there could be some adventures, too. I walked for a while. Silver pointed ahead and said that there were ordinary goods outside. Let's go take a look at the store. By the way, do you know the script of our tribe? Do you want me to translate it for you? But Gao Peng refused. Don't worry, okay? I have learned your universal writing in the world of Black Mist. Bai Yin Xiaosheng said in Gao Peng's ear, and most of this is our tribe, or someone with status from another tribe. The price is a bit higher but the quality of things is also relatively good. Gao Peng nodded slightly to learn more about it. This is a snow-white toad all over its body. Dragon blood toad level 26. Leader level, perfect quality. This quality of pre-sale appears in the center of the earth. Probably will be crazily snatched by various forces, but Gao Peng couldn't even get interested. He finally fell on a tombstone-like shape, but it looks very much like a sculpture on a peculiar object. Item name, Diamond Divine Marshall Steely. Item Introduction, Born with the Power of Heaven and Earth's Diamond. Congenital Diamond Divine Marshall Steely, absorb the essence of war and condense it. Invincible. Extremely hard. There are few objects in the world that can destroy it. Strict usage methods. Then he saw the transaction requirements marked below. A gold box for a prefecture-level monster. Or 20 yellow-level monster gold boxes. Gao Peng fell into contemplation. In theory, this price is not low. After all. 
The gold box for prefecture-level monsters cannot be easily taken out. But the shop owner definitely doesn't know the true purpose of this thing. Otherwise, it would never have been sold so cheaply. But with my attire, that clearly comes from the center of the earth. You can easily take out the prefecture-level gold box. It should cause a commotion, right? To ponder for a moment. His gaze fell on the silver beside him. By the way, isn't there a local here? Later, Gao Peng joined forces with Brother Bai Yin. Can you do me a favor? Seeing Gao Peng hunching his shoulders and back, Silver shuddered. What are you doing? Just say something. I saw Gao Peng with a smile all over his face. Continuously stroke the stone tablet with a hand stroke. And the golden grass in hand? Do you understand? Seeing the silver nod slightly. Then Gao Peng immediately hid outside the door and gave a thumbs up. My good friend, I'll be waiting for you outside. At this moment, Bai Yin was stunned in place, although I am not clear about the value of the stone tablet. But he knew that Gao Peng would never do anything foolish. However, Gao Peng was also very excited outside the door. The nine-day and ten-place trade fair is really good. You can still find treasure on Taobao. I waited for about ten minutes. The sound of silver greeting came from outside the side door of the store. Gao Peng has taken care of everything. It's just that this thing is really too heavy. The clerk said he could rent Mount Huangshan cattle to us. Transport to the port. May I ask if you need it? But Gao Peng said calmly, it's okay. After speaking, he snapped his finger, summoning Achun out of space. Next moment. This silver jellyfish opens its cherry mouth. I took a deep breath, instantly put the Vajra cup on the back of Mount Huangshan cattle. Inhalation into space. At this moment, Bai Yin couldn't help but be curious. Inquire with Gao Peng. You can buy this stone tablet back. What are you planning to use it for? But Gao Peng doesn't play cards according to common sense. With a serious expression on his face, he replied, I bought it back for residential use. As soon as this sentence is spoken, the corners of Bai Yin's mouth couldn't help but twitch. Buy a broken stone tablet with a prefecture-level gold box and go back to the townhouse. I believe you have a ghost. A man spends a gold box of a prefecture-level monster. I bought this piece of gold as a divine weapon monument. But when Silver asks him to buy this thing, used for any purpose, Gao Peng, however, stated that he bought it back for the purpose of stabilizing the house. Silver certainly doesn't believe it. Continuously guessing within oneself, he spent a sky-high price to buy such a broken stone. What is it for? But I don't want to ask further questions, afraid of knowing the answer. I can't resist taking action to do someone. However, at this moment, Xiao Huang is lying on the sun chair, basking in the sunshine. Suddenly, Gao Peng's voice came from Xiao Huang. We're back, yo. Xiao Huang immediately stood up and gave a wake-up call. But the scene before me is really disgusting. I saw A Fool constantly facing the ground, vomiting up a large amount of objects. They are all rare materials for promotion. Gao Peng begins to inspect the materials required for promotion. Xiao Huang walked over with a bewildered expression on her face. Are you calling me here to watch the game? Gao Peng found a relatively spacious empty handle. I have already spoken to the high priest before. After all, there may be some movement in this promotion with the protection of the high priest. It can also help us ward off some unnecessary troubles. Then he frowned and winked at Xiao Huang. I've gathered all the materials for your promotion. Are you ready? As soon as Xiao Huang hears about advancing, immediately emit light in both eyes. Sure enough, it doesn't take much effort. Effort pays off. Gao Peng's tone is a bit heavy. The promotion process this time was quite bloody. It's also very painful. So you need to be mentally prepared. Xiao Huang nodded, knowing where to reap without pain. That's it. Gao Peng asked A Chun to take out the workbench, then began a series of complex formulation of drugs. He collected all the necessary materials. After being mixed into juice according to proportion, stir in a container. After stirring evenly, remove the material again. After precise component allocation, prepare a large bottle of medicine. Finally, Gao Peng used a brush. Apply the medication. Apply all evenly to the surface of the Diamond Divine Martial Cup. He also instructed Xiao Huang to be for his daily life. Little Huang didn't either, thinking too much, immediately squatting on the side and constantly stirring up the wind. After everything is ready, Gao Peng instructed Xiao Huang to come over again. Help me put the stone tablet on the campfire pile. After receiving instructions, Xiao Huang lifted the stone tablet with one hand, standing on the campfire. At this point, the stone tablet has been evenly coated with a layer of oil. Little Huang's mind was spinning. Is it difficult for Gao Peng to bake this stone tablet until it's cooked? And then let me eat him, without waiting for his brain to fill the screen. At this point, 
The five cups of King Kong God have already been grilled and given off their fragrance. The little yellow on the side couldn't even resist drooling. It looks very delicious. About ten minutes later, Gao Peng saw that the timing was ripe. I immediately snapped my fingers again, almost. Let's go out and work with the light. After summoning the flowing light, Gao Peng took out another water-based pen from his pocket, weighing a word. Right on Xiao Huang's well-proportioned abdominal muscles. Draw lines. Xiao Huang was stunned on the spot. Strange ya ya. What are you playing with again? This is a very cruel way of evolution. The man drew a vertical line on the belly of the jade beast. Then command the other jade beast to aim at the vertical line. Cut open his stomach. Upon hearing this, Xiao Huang immediately shouted and waited. Can we get an anesthetic first? But before the words fall, the black armored blood blade beast has appeared behind Xiao Huang. A bloody stream of light flashed by in a flash. Upon seeing this, Gao Peng immediately shouted out that he had done well. Liu Guang quickly stuffed the stone tablet into Xiao Huang's stomach. And Ah Chun, you and I will go suture the wound together. Just like this, one person and three beasts were busy working together. However, it is worth mentioning that flowing light triggered Xiao Wang's passive response. Make Chiki's volume grow by a large margin. It will be ten minutes soon. At this point, Xiao had already fallen into a state of stagnation. Feeling my round belly and standing in place, gazing into the distance. Gao Peng seems very satisfied with this. The preparation work for promotion has been completed. There may be a strong reaction later on. Just take a nap to relieve your drowsiness. Just remember not to press on the wound. At this moment, Xiao Huang is lying on the ground on her side. Sighed. Never expected. Am I pregnant with a big stone? If Xiao Yan finds out, my lifelong reputation is ruined. This thing is still in a state of panic. Gao Peng touched Xiao Huang, whose volume had returned to normal. You can rest assured when it comes to speaking. I won't shout out Xiao Yan. Meanwhile, on a mountain peak on the island, the high priest is secretly observing this scene. He can't understand Gao Peng at all. This peculiar taboo method. What do you think about moving mountains? Chen Sheng, the mountain-moving dragon operator standing behind him, said, I didn't understand this kind of operation either. But although that duck's flesh is... But digesting a stone should be no problem. But at this moment, suddenly a roar came from the nearby sea surface. Immediately alarmed the high priest. Originally, Xiao Huang was breaking through the anomaly caused by it. Let him at this moment, becoming a punctuation mark for the entire outer dragon islands. At this point, a slender and huge black shadow slid from the bottom of the sea, and then awkwardly wrapped around the entire mountain peak. The head is carved on the mountaintop, quietly gazing at the high priest. I saw the high priest turn around and walk to the edge of the mountain peak, speak softly to the moving mountain dragon garden. Don't let others disturb him. Moving mountain dragon garden nodded. It's almost midnight. Gao Peng suddenly woke up from bed with a startle. The crisp cry he recognized. It's Xiao Huang's voice. He quickly ran over, discovering Xiao Huang trembling all over. A groaning sound came from the throat. How do you feel, Xiao Huang? At this moment, Xiao Huang remained silent. Monster name error rubbing and evolving. Monster state with weak injuries. Seeing it as a minor injury, Gao Peng also breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, the energy on Xiao Huang's body began to explode. Two golden lights shot straight into the sky from the eyes. He let go of his throat, roaring at your feet to the fullest. The island also shuddered suddenly. The distant Banshan Dragon Park thought the island was going to be trampled over. It seems that it is about to undergo transformation. The current back breakthrough legendary quality. Is there going to be such a big commotion? This little yellow duck has finally advanced again. At this point, it is already floating in midair, about 10 meters above the ground. Layers of runes swirled around the body, constantly spinning, and then buckle inward again. At the moment of contact with little yellow skin, a divine light blooms. The golden sea of clouds on the sky. The Taoist temple is completely submerged in the corpus luteum. At this moment, a black dragon revealed its forest white teeth. Chen Sheng, I thought it was Ban Shan. You broke through the quasi-god. What a commotion. Surprisingly, it's the bald duck below who advanced. The commotion caused. As soon as this sentence is spoken, Ban Shan Long Yuan suddenly shook. He shook his head but I haven't reached my limit yet. Breaking through the quasi-god requires a lot of time. Meanwhile, Xiao Huang's tightly stretched wings burst out from the shell. At this moment, breaking a certain kind of confinement that had just wrapped around me. The Diamond Divine Martial Cup in Xiao Huang's belly, also emitting a brilliant light at this moment. 
My whole body seems to be burning and boiling. Experience. Even Gao Peng, who is used to seeing big scenes, is very nervous. Come on, Xiao Huang. As long as you get through this level, can advance to mythological qualities? At this moment, Ah Chun suddenly wandered over from the side. His face was extremely strange. Gao Peng quickly asked what was wrong. At this moment, above the sky, suddenly a large dragon type monsters gathered. The sound of wings fluttering echoes under the night sky. The originally quiet outer dragon islands boiled instantly. Gao Peng raised his head and looked over. I was also shocked in my heart. It seems that the white dragon tribe tonight is very lively. Now we can't care if we'll expose our cards anymore. Protecting Xiao Wang is the most crucial thing. He absolutely cannot advance or fail. Thinking of this, Gao Peng is trying to elevate the holy level, summoned up by the dumbass. But I heard a dragon roar near the island. Soon, the originally calm sea suddenly rolled over. A giant water column suddenly rises up. Disperse the dragon group. The horizon viewed by Gao Peng guessed that the nearby monsters were suddenly dispersed. Did the high priest take action? At this moment, the high priest caressed the horns of the black dragon. Well done, black dragon grinned. Don't worry, since you said so. Then I won't let those little ones get closer. On the other side, Xiao Huang is still constantly changing. Layers of thick and heavy shells entwined around the body, finally cracking. Not long ago, just saw a prefecture-level Diamond Divine Martial Beast. Steady landing on the ground. The distance from the holy level is only one level away. Monster name, Diamond Divine Martial Beast. Monster level 80, ground level. Monster quality, mythical quality. Gao Peng is ecstatic in his heart. You really didn't get the wrong nickname. Xiao Huang is now a true Iron Head baby. Significantly increased defense. Don't worry anymore. Was instantly killed before stacking buffs. It also increases resistance to temptation control. This wave is not at a disadvantage. Now, just need to stabilize the state inside the body. But it's still a bit regrettable. Just boosting willpower. Instead of increasing soul strength, it would be great if we could also increase the strength of our souls. This little yellow duck has finally completed its advanced stage. He had the ability to eat the fruits he had eaten before. They were also completely excluded. The divine martial body possesses extremely strong repulsive properties. The black dragon, who is secretly observing, said, Is this aura a mythological quality? Very interesting. Moving the mountain, the dragon garden has loosened its muscles and bones. After he breaks through the holy level, I want to have a fight with him. At this moment, the high priest took a deep look. Gao Peng and Xiao Huang on the beach. Then he let out a sigh. From generation to generation, talented individuals emerge. Time does not spare people. Enhance the quality of mythology. It's not just luck, it's that simple. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called creating mythological qualities. Okay, let's all go back. I'm afraid many people won't be able to sleep tonight. After speaking, he walked straight towards his residence. The next day, Xiao Huang has added some furry feathers to her body. He said to Gao Peng, it's silly. I like to use the power of elements to transform a cloak and wear it on my body. I also learned something. How handsome or not, Kei Gao Peng's attention is focused on his head. Why don't you also draw on your head? It's strange to be bald. Xiao Huang sighed helplessly. Do you think I don't want to? My head just doesn't show any signs of hair. Finally, I couldn't help but sob. Gao Peng, why do you think I still don't have hair after evolution? Gao Peng comforted because you are an iron-headed child. It's okay. Go back, I'll have the blue sky send some wigs over. I'll cover it up for you. Xiao Huang Sequelai after hearing this. That's a great idea. Gao Peng continued to say, You will have a truck full of different hairstyles. Xiao Huang seems very excited. Can I customize my hairstyle then? At this moment, the high priest appeared behind him, intentionally coughed twice. After hearing the commotion, Gao Peng turned around immediately, politely nodded. Last night, thank you very much to the grand priest Ning for his help. The high priest smiled slightly, but this was nothing. Not disturbed, just advanced smoothly. Our white dragon tribe is very enthusiastic towards our friends. This is the jade beast from last night, right? Bad. The commotion you made last night was really significant. The clan chiefs were all alarmed. Just now there was a message that I wanted to invite you to meet me. Then he handed over a bronze medal. Lao Yu, in my lifetime, I haven't seen many mythological monsters before. Or the Jade Beast. I'm glad to see one today. This can be considered a congratulatory gift. You politely take the bronze medal with Gao Peng. He can't understand what the pattern on the bronze medal represents. The high priest explained that this bronze medal represents more or less Lao Yu. I have some face and carry him with me. How much can it make people hesitant? 
The wood is beautiful in the forest, and the wind will surely destroy it. You have good talent. I don't want you to die young. After finishing speaking, he flew away. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng was even more stunned in his heart. Unexpectedly, the high priest treated me, an outsider who hasn't seen me many times. Such care. Gao Peng quickly stopped him. Wait, senior, you have taken care of me a lot. I don't know him yet. The high priest leaned slightly sideways. Speak softly. Nameless white teeth. The teeth of the dental character. Gao Peng moment. In Chinese, the tooth character is the second character of the dragon. Strong and resolute personality. Good at courage and fighting. Bloodthirsty is killing. As the saying goes, the virtue of committing a crime must be repaid. The grudges of Chi Chi must be reported. A gentle old man like the high priest. The name is so ferocious. The man just took a little yellow duck. Advanced to mythological qualities, it alarmed the tribal leader of the White Dragon tribe. I was summoned early the next morning. Gao Peng took a pterosaur ride to the tribe chief's accommodation. Along the way, he kept caressing Little Yellow's bald head. Don't you really say that? The feel is quite good. Xiao Huang is very dissatisfied with this. I want hair. Gao Peng immediately drew a big cake. Ten bald heads and nine strong ones. There is also a giant force. That's a symbol of your strength. Just flew for a few minutes like this? They have already arrived. Above the island where the chieftain resides, different from the high priest island. On the chieftain's island, many of them are relatives of the chief of the white dragon tribe. After Gao Peng landed, a man came to welcome him. He is the ninth generation great grandson of the clan chief. Saying hello, are you a master? Please come here. And then as he walked, he said that the clan chief had a bad temper. If he says anything later, just listen. Don't interrupt and wake up immediately. It took about half an hour to walk. The man led Gao Peng to the outside of a certain cave. Leaving on my own, since it has arrived, I'll take one step first. Then Gao Peng walked deep into the cave. You can smell the burning oil bamboo all the way. A musk-like smell permeates the air. And at the end of the cave, sitting there, an elderly person wearing a white robe. The white silk robe was dragged down to the ground. The beard also hangs down to the chest position. At this moment, the clan chief suddened his deep eyes. His face was covered in a serious expression. I can't tell if it's joy or anger. However, Xiao Huang also noticed that the clan leader was watching him. After a while, a doctor and an elderly person who can smell from their nose seems tired. I yawned long in the morning. Then he waved his hand to Gao Peng. Gao Peng had a bewildered expression on his face. Why are you letting me go now? What's the situation with this old man? Gao Peng had no choice but to step out of the cave. I thought to myself that the tribal leader wanted to meet once. It's really nice to meet you once. I haven't even spoken yet. What a strange old man he is. But just when Gao Peng wanted to leave the island, but Bai Yin chased after him. Gao Peng, wait a moment. Then he clenched his fists and said, I haven't had a chance to congratulate you on your pre-sale breakthrough yet. You just saw my dad, right? You're so brave. But my dad didn't feel any pressure when he spoke. My dad has a notorious bad temper. Gao Peng looked at him with a skeptical gaze. He has a bamper. I always feel like you're lying to me. Then he took out the high priest's bronze medal and said, That's right. The high priest gave me this, saying they can pick up something from the warehouse. How to use this? Seeing the bronze medal, Silver immediately exclaimed and shouted in surprise. The high priest actually gave you this. It seems that you are truly appreciated by the high priest. Then Bai Yin took Gao Peng to another island. Explain that this is the identity token of the high priest. It also represents the friendship with our white dragon tribe. What few people can get. Then Silver took him to a valley outside. Then he stopped in his tracks. Right ahead. I can't go in. I can only send you here. There are monitors inside. You can show him the token then. Gao Peng touched the back of his head. What did he say? The supervisor, there is no such thing as that. I can't even see a ghost's shadow. There doesn't seem to be any treasure trove like buildings nearby either. A giant skull suddenly stepped out from under the valley. That's a head, holy level monsters guarding the trove of the white dragon tribe. Five clawed white dragon. Gao Peng stands under the shadow of the five clawed white dragon. I was also scared and dumbfounded. He quickly took out the bronze medal. My body couldn't help but tremble. Legendary quality. This is probably what Silver refers to as a supervisor. We need to quickly show him the brand. I saw this five clawed white dragon staring at its big dragon eye and I observed it for a while. I just turned my head and rushed back to the bottom of the valley. I didn't say a word of hello throughout the journey. Is Gao Peng speechless and leaving now? Subsequently, 
The gate deep in the valley resounded with a loud roar. The stone gate in front of the cave slowly rises automatically. Gao Peng also admired the five-clawed white dragon to some extent. Just stared at me. The treasure trove will automatically open. Intelligence is comparable to modernity. But when he comes closer and takes a look, I just realize that's not the case. In front of me is a stone giant with a body color close to the rock. Raise the stone gate. It turns out to be purely manual. After Gao Peng enters, the stone giant silently lowered the stone gate again. The surrounding environment is also turning black at this moment. But what made Gao Peng feel comical was that a beetle monster lying on the dome above the head. The wings behind spread out. A light blue light emanated from the tail. Gao Peng sighed with a sigh. This should be considered intelligent. Still a treasure trove. The passage inside is not spacious. And those treasures are also fewer than he imagined. But each one is an absolute masterpiece. Gao Peng casually glanced at it. Just saw a real dragon fruit placed in an ice blue box. The preservation is quite complete. This is a type of, can make the bloodline of dragon and mouse monsters, an ultimate holy artifact with increased purity, for dragons and rodents below legendary quality. Everything has an effect, after use, whether it's purifying blood or improving quality. The probability will be significantly higher. Then he glanced at other material a few more times. What is the ultimate water wave dragon eye tower crown sky black dragon horn fragments? Red skylight dragon scale. It truly deserves to be a big tribe. There are really many treasures. Unfortunately, not much has been useful to me. Because Pang Da Hai has only reached the legendary quality to this day. At its peak, it is an eternal quality. And the big character Adai, Xiao Huang, these three have all been elevated to mythological qualities by me. The remaining little Yan Aban. Technician white paper. Ah Chun, these five have also reached the legendary quality. Besides... Lu Guang, Zhao Kai, and Seven Little Fingers are only slightly different. The materials are only enough for them to elevate to epic quality. With this real dragon bone, Grandpa's White Dragon, you can immediately advance to legendary quality. Although one year later, in that adversity, there may also be real dragon bones. But a year is too long. After selecting materials, Gao Peng rested on the island for a few more days. At this moment, Bai Yin suddenly came to his door. Brother Gao. The supplies that your grandfather entrusted someone to deliver from Yuzhou, already in place. In addition, I also wrote a letter to Gao Peng. Hey, hey, a smile is really helpful. I also asked you to deliver the letter specifically, thinking of the real dragon fruit I sent to you. It should have allowed Bai Long to advance smoothly. At this moment, Silver suddenly approached, whispering, actually, I'm not here either. I came here mainly to tell you. The father of those two brothers from Baidu has arrived. I went to see the high priest early in the morning. Gao Peng was stunned, right? I almost can't remember who it was with whom. Then he smiled again and just looked for it. The owner of this island is the high priest, so you don't have to report to me either. But at this moment, a rough voice came from the door. You're right. This is the white dragon tribe. It's not a messy place. At this moment, a middle-aged man is carrying. A few people broke in. The man is just in the white dragon tribe. Adven your royal beast immediately caused dissatisfaction among the clan's forces, even proactively coming to my door. Even Silver has some taboos. Baishi Dad, haha, why are you here? Whiteness speaks first. Let's go find the high priest. But the high priest, this may seem inconvenient. The middle-aged man interrupted him. What's inconvenient? The high priest doesn't want to see us. But it's okay. We can come over by ourselves. I have long heard that a talented young man has arrived in our ancestral land. At a young age, he is an imperial censor. It's really a waste of these two useless items in our family. Let's go down. The old man is getting older. I still can't sit still. I just want to come over and see things. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng can be considered to understand. This old man talks with a gun and a stick in his mouth. The visitor is really not kind. Good people don't come. Silver can also sense the implied meaning. Baishi's father Gao Peng is a guest of the tribe. Not to mention living on the island of the priest now. Bai Shikai doesn't care about so much. Directly call Silver a kid. Your father is the clan leader. You're not. It's not your turn to come out and talk about this today. You don't have to pretend to be a tiger or a fox. When the high priest oppressed me and conquered the world, our group of old bones have sacrificed their lives and forgotten to die. The clan chief is also good. Whether it's the high priest or not, everyone is a brother who can discuss everything easily. This has been a long time. Silver immediately became excited. Father Baishi needs to explain everything in a reasonable way. 
This is the Sacrifice Island. Gao Peng is a guest of the High Priest, our White Dragon tribe. Never did it happen when the owner was not at home. Door-to-door -door troublemaking of customers. You are an elder in the tribe. It's even more important to give our younger generation a look, isn't it? Behind him, Gao Peng is also quite convinced, Bai Yin. This kid's words, soft with hard. This old man always points his face. We can't force it anymore. I didn't see that you have this ability. Even the old man Baishi shaved his eyes. Your older brother knows how to fight and kill in just one day. Your second brother has a bit of a sense of sophistication, but also greedy for perfection. I thought your cunning father had no successors left. I didn't expect to underestimate you before. Then he turned his head and cursed, saying that it was also. We can't let people say that we rely on old age to sell old age. Bullying Xiaobei. Bai Jay. Go ahead and ask our clan leader's good son on behalf of dad. Ask our high priest's guests. How many good materials did this owner smash down? How much effort and emotion have you put into it? A painstakingly nurtured royal beast. The guest casually killed him. What kind of etiquette is it? Upon hearing this, White Gordon was sweating profusely because I was the one who assigned the beast first, attacking the imperial beast of Gao Peng. At this moment, Bai Du suddenly spoke up. Dad, the high priest is not at home regarding this matter. Why don't we go back first? Hear their conversation? Does Gao Peng at the Jade Beast? What the elderly say? Is it a few days ago? Am I the fishwell dragon king in the nearby hunting trail? Seeing Gao Peng analyze the truth, Silver also became nervous. Hurry up and shout to him, wait for Gao Peng. But Gao Peng still smiled and joked, Oh my goodness, the taste is really good. Thank you very much for the hospitality. This statement made Baishi even more intolerable. The extreme of arrogance. I heard before that this young genius, he is the grandson of the high priest's old lover. The old man still treats it as a joke. It seems to be true. Men are the strongest imperial censors in the center of the earth. The skeletal tyrant under his command has even broken through the most sacred realm, but now he's being challenged by an ignorant old man at his doorstep. It is said that the imperial censors of ancestral lands are all holy bodies. This young genius, is it true that they are the heirs favored by the great sacrifice? Bai Yin immediately shouted out to Bai Shur's father. Are you planning to take act territory of the high priest? And the contemplation behind Gao Peng. I didn't expect this old man to be so impulsive at his age. It seems that Bro's internal structure is not an iron block either. Ah, but although this silver is used by each other, but starting from the contradiction, just keep protecting me from behind. You have also passed the level. Bai Yin shouted out. You were also present on the day of Baidu. What exactly is going on? Didn't you explain it clearly to Father Baishi? Baidu didn't answer because of his guilty heart. At this moment, Baishi impatiently interrupted him. The reckless old man is still here. It's not your turn to teach my son a lesson this time. His words fell off. I saw the giant sea turtle behind him looking up and opening its mouth, condensing a rich water element photosphere. But at this moment, a slender giant tail appeared under the sea floor. Immediately frightened, the giant sea turtle trembled with fear. Dare not move. In the next moment, a huge black dragon tail. Stretching out from seawater, sea turtles are also present at this moment. Retract the body into the turtle shell. On the other side, a huge figure suddenly fell from the air, falling on the ground. Make the entire island tremble with it. Wait until the smoke around clears. Baishi and others finally realized that it was a moving mountain dragon garden. At this moment, the high priest is sitting on the shoulder of the moving mountain dragon garden. This made Whitestone, who was just imposing. It's also quite quiet now. At this moment, Gao Peng remained silent, watching the good show. I secretly rejoice in my heart. I knew I didn't need to do anything. The high priest said calmly. I will reject you from the door, Bai Shi. Just to give you a chance to deal with family matters. It's just that you didn't cherish it properly. How obvious is Bai Jie's weakness? But you turn a blind eye. It's all because of your reluctance over the years. Caused by resentment. Then he turned his head and glanced at Bai Du. You have a chance to prevent all of this from happening. But you haven't taken any action yet. You have disappointed much. Bai Du stutters and stutters. Unable to speak for half a day. Then the high priest came to Gao Peng's face. Gao Peng's incident was their fault first. So this can't be blamed on you. But as I mentioned before, the White Dragon tribe is not allowed to be threatened. Gao Peng smiled slightly and said, High priest, please rest assured. I, Gao Peng, am not someone who repays kindness with kindness. Although it is a drop of water's grace, and it must also be reported by the gushing springs. The high priest placed his hand on the silver shoulder. 
I'm pleased to say that you did a great job this time. Let's join forces with your second brother this time. After speaking, he turned around and walked away. Let's all part ways, shall we? Before the end of the Alliance, I don't want to see similar situations happening in the tribe again. Everyone witnessed the situation, and no longer entangled. Got it, the High Priest? After everyone leaves, Gao Peng stood in place and sighed. The Alliance is bound to be another tough battle. Then he returned to his residence, touching the flattened envelope. Roast that he really sent a letter. My grandfather is quite old-fashioned. After opening the envelope, Gao Peng poured out a storage card from inside. He plugged in the tablet. The content inside is really simple and rough. Be concise and concise. White Dragon has advanced to legendary quality. The simultaneous migration operation has been carried out. Cooperation has been reached with the government. The Chinese people are migrating towards a world of black mist. Gao Peng knows that Grandpa is also making progress at the same time. And what I have to do, just to buy them more time. But at this moment, he suddenly saw. The bottom right corner of the file displays 1200 billion yuan. Gao Peng feels a bit strange. Immediately flip to the back few pages to view. Each visible page displays the same sentence. Is it a formatting error? It shouldn't be. How could my grandfather have made such a basic mistake? So he tried the interface. Entered page 12000. Then click on the jump button. When you can see the last, he was lost in thought. It's just a few simple words written on it. Warning and punishment. Gao Peng is quite speechless. Grandpa, is this playing espionage games? How grand were the days of ancient tribal meetings? Various giant dragons, beasts, birds, and monsters fly to the river park to gather. Gao Peng was also fortunate enough to come and see the charm of a large tribe. Silver told him not to grind and chatter. Don't look, keep up with me. At this point, a man from the river blocking clan greeted him. People from the white dragon clan, please come this way. Bai Kun turned around and glanced at his third brother. You guys can move freely. Remember not to cause trouble, that's all. Silver nodded and felt relieved. Second brother, I have a clear idea in my heart. I will definitely not cause trouble. On the side, Gao Peng was also taken aback by what happened. Do we need to act separately? Silver will immediately push Gao Peng away. This kind of conference. It's definitely not something we can talk about in a day or two. They talked about their, let's go explore our- Bai Kun also added that, it's Silver walking in front of me. Introduce the situation of the Bane clan to Gao Peng. They live on the source of the river. The Imperial Beast of the Gen Clan is a prefecture-level peak. Legendary quality 8 armed roaring snow gear. Extremely high quality. Legend has it that the quality is already among the top ranks. Speaking of which, what suddenly came to mind for Bai Yin and Bai Kun? Both of them turned around and glared at each other with high heads. Because a few days ago, he just elevated a jade beast to mythological quality. Gao Peng secretly rejoices. How many times are you hinting at me? I'm not that impulsive person. There is no trust between people. At this point, Bai Yin suddenly spoke up. This time, second brother came to participate in the alliance. It seems that my dad finally has a sense of trust. To be honest, my father as the clan leader has been working for over 700 years. My second brother is also about to make it through. Gao Peng, who was standing beside suddenly lost his voice as the tribal chief for 700 years. I can't believe his father's addiction to officialdom is really strong enough. Then he pondered again. The three top tribes should all have quasi-gods, but just like nuclear weapons. The quasi-god is just a military deterrent, not easily used. So, the highest combat power deployed by the Monty tribe this time. It should be at the holy level. At this moment, Gao Peng remembered his sanctity. Ah, Dai grinned, so theoretically speaking. I have the right to speak. On the same level as the Seven Kings tribe, a sly smile lasts less than a few seconds. He suddenly saw a familiar face ahead. It's Bei King Yan. He seems to be surrounded by several men. Is it entangled? At this moment, Bei Qing Yan also saw Gao Peng. Wave at him immediately. Why is Gao Peng also here? Bai Yin nudged Gao Peng with his elbow. Is this your friend? She looks so beautiful. Gao Peng has a black line on his face. Yes, very beautiful, but secretly roast. I hope you will fight his seniority. Still able to laugh out loud. At this moment, Bei Qing Yan immediately walked up to Gao Peng. You're too brave, right? Who dares to come here? Gao Peng glanced at the several men behind Bei Qing Yan. Embarrassed, he said, your side is in danger, okay? The man standing next to Bei Qing Yan frowned at this moment. Who is Qing Yan? Upon seeing this, Bai Yin whispered in a low voice, What's going on? It seems that this little beauty has encountered something. Isn't there a chance for such a great hero to save the beauty? 
Gao Peng suddenly broke out in a cold sweat. I am not a hero, and they don't need me to save them either. At this moment, the voice of the young people from the north was deep and low. Loud criticism and reckless behavior. Why is it so impolite in front of people from other tribes? Is it possible for your tutor to call the names of elders directly? Call it Leo Zuzong. As soon as this sentence is spoken, several men from North Korean tribes were immediately panicked and panicked. On his face, he had an expression of eating shit. Seeing this beautiful woman with good looks in front of me put on a grandmotherly demeanor. Silver was also surprised. Old ancestors. Then he whispered to Gao Peng what the situation was. This ancestor's mouth is too poisonous, Gao Peng said calmly. Bei King Yan is the person from their tribe who stayed in the center of the earth. Extremely high seniority. At this time, Bei King Yan was still scolding the elders and elders of his tribe for their superiority and inferiority. No matter how your father usually educates you, why don't you want to call? I saw Bei Xiao Yan snort coldly. Then turn around and leave. Brothers, let's go. Bei King Yan waved his hand. They are from the White Dragon tribe. You don't have to worry about me anymore. Let's go accompany my great-grandson first, Bei Xiao Yan replied without looking back. Thank you very much, ancestor. Later, Bei King Yan said to the two of them, Okay, can come to participate in the alliance. You are the young Tian Jiao of this generation of White Dragon tribe. After learning his identity by Yin, I immediately found an excuse. What are you talking about, ancestors? Bai Shi and I went to continue our stroll first. Seeing two people find excuses to leave, the two of them stood still and were momentarily stunned. Gao Peng is the first to break the awkwardness. The pressure you put on them is too great. Bei Qingyan smiled. How could it be possible? I am not an elder of the White Dragon tribe. Then the two of them walked and said, Bei Qingyan asked Gao Peng to be careful. You are a prefecture-level censor, although very strong. But there were many prefecture-level imperial censors in the ancient clans. The Xiuhu tribe is really not a small tribe. Gao Peng responded casually. Don't worry, I have a plan in mind. Bei Qingyan curiously asked Gao Peng about it. What exactly did it come from? Gao Peng answered truthfully that he heard that Emperor Star would become a battlefield. So I came here to find a way. See if you can delay the time for a while. The slender eyelashes of Bei Qingyan blinked. Slight blush appeared on the face. So it's this one. I thought it was because Gao Peng couldn't hear clearly. What were you just saying? Bei King Yan pouted, nothing serious. Then explain it carefully. When will this war actually break out? It doesn't depend on the tribe. But to see when the barrier on Earth will disappear. Barrier disappearance. Even if they don't go to war. Those foreigners won't let them go either. Gao Peng quickly pursued the question. This is not the first time I have heard the word foreign race. What exactly are these alien races? Mo Kei's words have not finished yet. The sky exploded with a loud bang, interrupted his words. A black crack, like lightning piercing through the entire sky. A terrifying and vast power, permeating outward from cracks. Quickly, two slender and pitch black claws overlap on the edge of the crack, continuously tearing apart this spatial crack. At this point, the people of the major tribes below are also very surprised. What situation? I remember the Alliance didn't have this link, right? Next moment. A big black and red sun burns in the sky. The blazing sun burning in the sky. The bamboo sea void is extremely twisted, centered around this ferocious beast. The red field blooms outward, continuously spreading the cracks open. Prevent the healing of cracks. Soon a giant cockroach appeared in front of everyone. Monster name, bloody flying sickle monster, level 96, quasi-god. One of the ancient malevolent stars in the flying sickle. Lord Jikun, resembling cockroaches, born to be ferocious and bloodthirsty. After birth, we'll eat all the brothers and sisters in the same ladder. In the end, there was only one flying sickle left. This is a type of post-birth. We'll eat all the quasi-gods of the same group of brothers and sisters. Monster Phalian. It looks like a cockroach. Congenital hemophilia. Gao Peng looked up at the torn space crack. An incomparable pressure surged in my heart. This posture is not from the right person. Almost simultaneously, three colored streams of light suddenly rose up inside the campsite. Obviously, it is a large tribe. We also dispatched quasi-divine level imperial beasts to fight against them. Gao Peng secretly cursed these top tribes. Isn't it agreed not to send the quasi-divine beast over? As a result, all three families secretly brought Junshen with them. It's all a bunch of shameless eagle pens? This is Bei Qingyan quickly pulling apart Gao Peng. I haven't heard of any of the three major tribes that have quasi-divine flying sickles. 
Run quickly, be careful of being affected. Meanwhile, the number of quasi-divine channels in the sky, speaking to the quasi-gods of the other two tribes, two of you, take advantage of this cockroach monster before it even rushes out of space. Let's take action first. Shake after speaking. The branches and leaves on my body tremble one after another, transformed into a sky full of light and shadow. Leaves are like sharp shadows, cutting on the limbs of the quasi-divine flying sickle. Immediately scraped his body all over bruises and bruises. At this moment, a quasi-divine claw less white dragon roared angrily, taking advantage of the quasi-divine flying sickle being overwhelmed, extending its dragon claws and rushing towards it. I saw the dragon claw accurately grasping the forelimbs of the quasi-god flying sickle, then tear it off on the spot, instantly splashing out a large amount of purple blood. The two broken flying sickles are even more angry. I saw him roar. He was instantly wrapped in a black and red blood rock on his body. One big day, blood rock erupts with endless flames. Within the red field, blooming layers of blood like ripples. At this moment, the five-clawed white dragon also roared with anger. A layer of Lu Wang Yang like blue bloomed inside the body. Marine field? Two fields collide and intersect. Overlapping areas bloom with extremely complex colors. Phalion's eyes flashed with a hint of fear. There are three quasi-gods on the opposite side. If a domain pairs and consume, the ultimate loser is definitely me. So now we must take down one first. Thinking of this, his other forelimb bounced forward. Immediately face the head of the five-clawed white dragon. Emit a black and red lake light. At this point, the five-clawed white dragon is already unable to dodge. But at this moment, a golden and iron-like palm firmly caught it. This black and red lake light. In no time, it turns into pink petals, drifting with the wind. At this moment, what appears in front of us is a faceless Buddha. Smooth curved face. A golden sun shadow blooms behind the head. Phalion was even more surprised when he saw the situation. It's a thousand-handed faceless Buddha. It's not good. Wait for him to react. Your crystal ball. Suspended on the fingers of the thousand-handed faceless Buddha. And then he stretched out countless Buddha hands behind his back. Pinch out each hand individually. Exquisite Buddha seal. Height in kilometers. The thousand-handed faceless Buddha with yellow pupils cannot show joy or anger. But he proved to his actions. Soon the infinite Buddha's seal will appear in the sky, pulling out endless illusions between heaven and earth. The void has been blasted. Make a terrifying vibration and loud noise. At this moment, Phalion instinctively lifted the horizontal blade to resist, but it was suppressed by the Buddha's seal in one round. Delicate cracks instantly appear on the blade arm. After repeatedly shaking for 736 rounds, Phalion's tough shell can no longer hold on. Under hundreds of rounds of flame bombardment, a shocking explosion occurred on the spot. Phillion's head is more fragile than any other part, just instantly bombed into meat sauce. Looking at the headless flying sickle, Gao Peng couldn't help but take a cold breath. This thousand-handed faceless Buddha is too violent. Pure violent aesthetics. Various types of enemies. Regardless of whether one has a body or not, all of them are through killing. Thousand-handed faceless Buddha. Ninety-five level quasi-divine legendary quality. A thousand-handed faceless boot born and raised from birth. Throughput essence of sun and moon. To exist by absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. No need to eat. Indifferent personality. Phalion's head was smashed. Many people in the market breathed a sigh of relief. A cheerful smile appeared on his face. Our quasi-god is too fierce. At this moment, Gao Peng's gaze was focused on the flying sickle. The state of blue in front of him amazed Gao Peng even more. Monster state? Mild injury with headshot. My head was beaten like this. Surprisingly, it was just a mild injury. You really can't beat Xiao Chang to death. At this point, the thousand-handed faceless Buddha said that the vitality of the flying sickle is very strong. This injury will heal soon. Don't give him a chance to heal. The other two quasi-gods replied, I understand. I won't give him a chance. Subsequently, the five-clawed white dragon condenses a strong and extremely strong water element in the mouth. Photosphere. The number of sky groups on one side is almost the same time in front of us. Consolidate the fallen leaves into one. The next moment of the energy ball. The energy sphere of two elements. Simultaneously striking at. On Phelian's body, who is preparing to dig open space cracks. At this moment, the thousand-handed faceless Buddha slowly lifted his hand. Strands of golden light emit infinite suction. Instantly sucked Phelian's body onto his hand. There is a palm-sized gap between its tail. 
The thousand-handed faceless Buddha observed for a moment. Tell the other two quasi-gods that he has escaped, abandoning the vast majority of physical strength. A hundred cannot save one. Can maintain until the early stage of quasi-god. It's very difficult not to drop the holy level. At this moment, the five-clawed white dragon nodded. Being able to defeat one of their generals before the war, that's pretty good too. However, it seems that the Tiank technique is not very satisfactory. Unfortunately, we were unable to kill him in the end. Thousand-handed faceless Buddha with ten hands, speaking lightly of the heavenly sovereign. The boundless flying sickle has a tenacious vitality. It's difficult to kill him. Just finish speaking. This is a middle-aged man, appearing on the face of the thousand-handed faceless Buddha. The flying sickle just now is a quasi-god of a different race. The man fell into the hands of the thousand-handed faceless Buddha. Continuing on, the other race knows that we are holding a meeting. Do you also know the location of our meeting? At this moment, everyone, an old man from the White Dragon tribe, also released from fusion with the five-claw White Dragon, standing steadily on the dragon's claws, a bald old man wearing a green robe on the other side. It also lifted the fusion, standing silently in the palm of the Tiank tree. At this moment, the black-robed man glanced at the two of them, talking lightly about having an insider. Expose the quasi-gods of our three major tribes. Encircle a cockroach monster. Not only did they not kill it, and instead he let it escape. The black-robed man believes that there must be an insider present at the scene. Expose their whereabouts. At this moment, an old man in a green robe said no. They are people from our pro-divine tribe. This time, our pro-divine tribe. Just sent me and my granddaughter over. And the old man in the white robe calmly said to our tribe, All those who come are legitimate lineages. At this moment, the black-robed man turned around and took a look. Speaking lightly, old white dragon. I heard that a geocentric person has arrived in your tribe. I saw the old leader of the white dragon tribe snort coldly. I can guarantee that this person is not an insider, seeing him so confident. The man in the black robe also has no doubts. I believe so they should be from the Seven Kings Department. The old leader of the White Dragon Tribe turned around and left. What's the point of guessing around here? Check if this is something that the mental department is good at. Just let them investigate. The black-robed man also expressed agreement. Indeed, then there will be Elder Lao Ching Shen. Then the man angrily lit his fist. After roaring angrily and finding out, no matter who it is, all will be killed without mercy. It's almost the next day. All tribes are supervising each other. This is Gao Peng from the audience, looking left and right. Oh, most of the people who participated in the alliance have come, right? The silver beside him told him not to look around aimlessly, then pointed ahead and said Gao Peng. Look at him over there. In front of me is a sacred jade beast as large as a cow, similar to a Kalin. The neck and back are covered with dark and dense long hair, bright eyes, first born with a single horned black scale. Ring level 85, holy level legendary quality. After reading the attributes, Gao Peng was also surprised in his heart. D.E.Z., also known as Ren Fei Beast. It is said to be an auspicious beast with discernment between good and evil. So he often appears in the Dharma Hall as well. Places such as the judge's office that represent legal order. However, Z.G.'s fairness and good and evil to it will be influenced by the creatures he has been close to for a long time. As a jade beast that has signed a blood contract with humans. What kind of creatures will affect him? However, the arrival of Black Spirit GG made everyone anxious and anxious. This jade beast is standing among the crowd, eyes filled with disdain. Human beings are still like this. There is a foul odor all over the body. I haven't seen it before. Adults who have no odor at all. At this early morning, tribal tribe, long cough twice, speaking to Black Spirit ZG Dahe, speak less if you have nothing to do. And the black-robed man just gave a faint command. Everyone takes turns coming up here, saying in front of Black Spirit ZG that he is not an insider. I have never done anything to betray the tribe. Speak one by one, walk one by one. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng thought to himself. Surprisingly, no one dared to raise objections. Then he whispered to Bai Yin and asked who that uncle was. Bai Yin replied that he was the last Buddha of the Shuang tribe. He is a quasi-god. That's right, the imperial censor. What about that beautiful ancestor? Gao Peng is not very clear either. Should be with his people, right? This situation is not convenient to stay with us either. At this moment, on stage, a man looked at ZG in the black forest, but his whole body trembled. I am not an insider. I have never done anything to betray the tribe. This is a legendary mythical beast that represents magic power. 
being able to distinguish right from wrong, being able to recognize the backbone of good and evil. And his main task this time is, it is to find out that among the major tribes, the insider who exposed their whereabouts, looking at the trembling man in front of me, Black Spirit ZG also waved casually. You have no suspicion. Hurry up, humans are indeed smelly. Immediately after, a man in a green robe stepped onto the stage. I saw Black Spirit ZG smell it for a while. I shook my head, no problem. Let's go, and then on stage there's a girl in a blue robe, seeing him as big as an ox. Hyland Shi Ji was instantly scared to tears. But the girl is also not a suspect. Just like this, a few hours later. It's finally Gao Peng's turn to take the stage. Hyland Zi Ji was a bit surprised. Although you stinky kid. But there is also a faint fragrance on the body. It's really strange. Then he waved his hand again, no problem. Let's go, Gao Peng secretly complains that it's fragrant and smelly. What kind of thing? Do you treat me like stinky tofu? This investigation took a total of seven hours to complete. Everyone has been screened once. There are a total of seven suspects. I am a senior member of the Footprint Tribe. One of the red-robed men suddenly shouted out that he was unjustly accused. Wait a minute. There must be some misunderstanding among them. We did not betray the tribe. But several tribal elders simply ignored it. Because spies who used to collude with a clan of enemies. It was also found through this method. And the fate of these seven people is also very simple. No accident. We'll become a non-zero thank you dinner. Without any hesitation, Fei Ling and Shiji have already opened their huge mouths. Pounced on those seven people in front of holy level monsters. Those seven people, no matter how they escape, obviously it's also in vain. This has made the audience feel a bit nauseous. If Fei Ling Shiji's ability is used to distinguish between spies, it's really accurate to check it out. It's just that the eating habits are a bit unsightly. This is the heritage of the three top tribes, except for quasi-divine level imperial beasts. Surprisingly, there are so many interesting things left. However, during the alliance of various ethnic groups, a clan of quasi-divine spells attack. Several major tribes will only become more united. My plan may be in vain now. At this moment, the black-robed man loudly said on stage, Our ancestors lived for nine days back then. Later, war broke out with other races. We failed. Some ancestors left behind to fight against foreign tribes. Another part of the ancestors survived of their race, leaving for nine days to come to Wymian Sea. Now the exotic beasts have been killed, indicating that the ban on ancestral land is about to be lifted. We also need to return to our ancestral land. Kill back for nine days. At that time, our Zhuanhu and Beilong tribes will, led by the three major tribes of the Qingshen tribe, combine the seven kings to form a tribal council of elders. After the outbreak of war, all tribes must dispatch at least half of their youth. Participate in war. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng fell into silence. The timing of the clan's surprise attack seems too coincidental, right? The black-robed man on stage continued to say, supplies within nine days. For example, painting the world countless times richer. There are resources everywhere there. Source all the outstanding members of the tribe who performed well in the war. All can receive rewards. As long as it can be killed, all the treasures snatched from the hands of other races, all belong to yourself. Gao Peng began to say this attack was man-made. Because if it weren't for this attack, not to mention cooperation, I'm afraid it might be the three major tribes and the seven kings. Quietly finish a meeting. It's not easy. The black-robed man shouted excitedly. We have no way out anymore. Back then we retreated from nine days to the Wei Temple. This time behind us is a cliff. After the failure, there will only be one outcome, which is the genocide of the king. Quickly under the passionate speech of the man, countless people on stage raised their right hand and shouted for battle. War. With a grand momentum, the roar shook the sky. Gao Peng originally intended to delay time for Huaxia, strive to transfer more people to the world of black mist. But now these people all seem to have been beaten with chicken blood one by one. It is highly likely that one will be attracted to Emperor Star. Screen rotation. In the secret room of Wolf and Yuan, the leaders of major tribes held a high-level meeting. The troublesome bugs are gone. We can sit down and have a good chat. What is the first topic? The yellow-robed man sitting across from him said, It's about ancestral land. The old man in the green robe interrupted him. This time we are at war with a clan. Is it necessary to pull Zhu into the battlefield? What do the leaders think? At this moment, the chiefs of several small tribes are discussing... The young people in the tribe are okay. Most of them were born and raised here. 
But there are still many elderly people who have memories of their ancestral land. Emotional. And these old men are cursing people fiercely, one by one. As I get older, I can't touch it. If we knew about our plan, be angry again at least. Hear what they say. The old man in the white robe immediately snorted coldly. It's really pretentious. Immediately infuriated the chiefs of two small tribes. Big eyes staring small eyes. Can only keep smiling bitterly to cover it up. Playing awkwardly at this moment. The old man in the green robe said that the white dragon clan chief was a bit angry. But everyone understands this meaning. Now they're on the verge of breaking out. If we only rely on ourselves. Even if we win, it's a disastrous victory. I'm afraid several generations of people will have to lose all their wealth. So what should we say at this time? Don't forget. Is that right? The black-robed man agreed. That's right. Pull the center of the earth into the battlefield. Can increase the depth of our strategy here? Using the earth's core to consume a clan's living power and resources. This way we can preserve our strength to the greatest extent possible. This old man is the chieftain of the White Dragon tribe. He has been in power for 700 years. When my son saw him, he even called him the chieftain. But the old man is not happy about it. Don't be like your stubborn eyes. Second brother, I am your father. Can't we still call? After hearing this, Bai Yin laughed heartily, Dad. How was the meeting just now? The old man shook his head and had a meeting. What else could he do? It's just a group of flirtatious people who want to eat but can't wipe their faces off. There, wriggling and twisting. Bai Yin asked his father curiously, that flying sickle. And what will happen to Di Xin and Gao Peng? The old man's expression suddenly became solemn before the meeting. I told those two guys about this. They also feel that the timing is a bit too tight. However, based on the results of our investigations so far, it shouldn't have been directed or acted by someone else. As for the battle between Emperor Star and other races, it is right in front of us. In order to preserve our own strength. Also to compete for resources. Pull Emperor Star into the battlefield. It's already a matter of certainty. This is a big deal. We are also powerless. Not to mention the resources calculated by our ancestors over thousands of years. Your father and I are not inactive either. Just being a person can't be too shameless. Your friend of Dixon. You can find a chance to talk to him. His elders. We have a deep connection with the White Dragon Clan. If Dishinka, with some preparation time, even directly joining the plan to resist the clan, in the upcoming war, gain some co-ownership. We don't have a complete conscience either. Then the old man looked towards Gao Peng not far away. He silently sighed and waited for you. Go ahead then. Bai Yin told Gao Peng all the information she knew. He didn't intentionally conceal anything about it. Gao Peng said expressionlessly, Since you have prepared the plan, it's not convenient for me as an outsider to say anything more. Farewell now? Bai Yin asked a follow-up question. Are you fighting against a clan? Wait for him to finish speaking. Gao Peng immediately said such a thing. It's better for us geocentric people not to get involved, right? After speaking, he snapped his finger. Summoned the eldest son out. Regarding Gao Peng's answer, Silver doesn't understand very well. Aliens will not let everyone go. Whether it's a clan or your emperor star, avoidance cannot solve the problem. But Gao Peng sighed, Silver. You also know the heritage of our emperor star people. But if your white dragon tribe needs it, I will lend a helping hand in the personal capacity of a friend. Thanks to your tribe's care during this period, mountains and rivers meet. After bidding farewell, there will be a meeting. At this moment, Gao Peng is standing on Dazi's back, murmuring, Now it's just one side of the tribe's words. What will it develop into then? Who knows? Screen rotation. Outside the desolate maze of the black mist world. Engineering vehicles work tirelessly day and night. Gao Peng saw high-rise buildings one after another. In my heart, it was even more shocking. I didn't expect that during the time I was away. It's developing too fast, isn't it? At this moment, an old man walked over with a cane. But it's City One. There will be 99 other similar urban areas in the future. This man has returned to another world once again. But he was shocked by the scene before him. During the time I was away, development is too fast, isn't it? At this moment, his grandfather walked over. This is just City One. There will be 99 other similar urban areas in the future. And each one is as big as Yujo City. After all, there's no way to destroy the inside of the maze. We can only build maze. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng is extremely excited. That's really a super metropolis. Almost all the people in Huaxia District have migrated here, have they? Grandpa nodded. Yes, we have reached an agreement with the government. The migration work is almost complete. It's just that the area of the Black Mist world is too large. Monsters are also more dangerous. 
This situation can only be safer when gathered together, Wu Peng secretly thought to himself. After all, Nantian Group. Now it's the most prestigious organization in Huaxia District. Holding a group is also normal, and as long as the artifact is in hand, the initiative of the maze is in our hands. I'm not afraid of others making small moves in secret. At this moment, my grandfather suddenly asked about the meeting. Gao Peng answered truthfully. They planned to pull the geocentric people into battle. Grandpa was not surprised. It seems that we had anticipated it earlier. After all, ancient tribes were not fuel-efficient lamps. It's just that we Chinese people have left our hometowns behind. Coming to the Black Mist world. Just to avoid getting involved in the war. They can at least do some superficial work. Send someone to persuade something. So we still have time to prepare. Gao Peng's gaze cast towards the distance. In my heart, I am even more indignant and dissatisfied. It's already very difficult to be forced to leave home and survive. I will never let them destroy my home again, even if they have quasi-gods. I also talk about quasi-gods. Gao Peng suddenly remembered something. By the way, when it comes to quasi-gods, so he hurriedly ran out. Grandpa, I'll go out again. Before I come back, if someone from the tribe comes, make sure to hold them down. My grandfather was also stunned. Xiao Peng, you just came back. Where are you going again? Before the words fall, Gao Peng has already ridden the eldest son and flew into midair. Don't worry, I'll find a trump card to fight against them. Grandfather suddenly became speechless. How old are they all? Still so restless. I haven't had a chance to ask yet. What progress has he made with Xiao Yan over there? At this point, Gao Peng remembered the quasi-divine monster he had seen before. Actually, quasi-god, our black mist world is not without it either. But just as he was pondering, a golden line swam towards the red sun. Gao Peng feels very strange. Then he ordered the eldest son to fly towards these bright spots. It wasn't until Gao Peng approached that I could see clearly. In the golden lines, it's tens of thousands of golden tadpoles swimming wildly. He quickly summoned Pang Da Hai out. Look at the ocean. What's going on here? Pang Da Hai said impatiently. Everyone said it's okay. Don't call me. But when he saw so many golden tadpoles, I almost scared myself. Lying in the trough, this is the sun tadpole. Nowadays, Gao Peng only has quasi nerves in his mind. What is a sun tadpole? Is it a quasi god? Pang Da Hai immediately shook his head. That's not true. But it can be considered a part of the divine system. Anyway, don't say you want to have their ideas. You don't have a pre sale of the flame law. I advise you to give up. Gao Peng showed a very sinister smile. The sea, Pang Da Hai immediately shuddered. Don't come over here. This is a golden river composed of sun tadpoles, as if flying towards the sun with the golden bridge on the earth. Through the introduction of Pang Da Hai, these tadpoles are part of the divine lineage. However, Gao Peng came up with their idea. So without saying a word, he waved at Pang Da Hai. Integrate the use of imperial skills with it. Pang Da Hai was immediately furious. That's too much. Sure enough, he did hit my body again. Tell me when did you think about my body? Gao Peng always feels like he has endless scenes to play. Stop talking nonsense, go up and take a look. Then Pang Da Hai moved, swimming towards these sun tadpoles. But they are concerned about the chubby sea following behind them, ignoring nothing at all. However, after the merger, Gao Peng discovered other trackers. The sea, look at these guys over there. Are you also playing with the idea of sun tadpoles? Pang Da Hai's face became strange. Otherwise, you hu- It's really naive. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng secretly complains in his heart. What's the big head pretending to be so deep? At this moment, a sun tadpole suddenly falls behind, falling out of the golden river like a little speck. However, a bird monster with a crimson body finally got the chance. Fly over and swallow the fallen tadpole in one gulp. Gao Peng, who was inside Pang Da Hai's body, was very anxious. Caught one step ahead of others. Can you hurry up, Ocean? Pang Da Hai assumed a charging posture. I got it. Got it. The next moment, Pang Da Hai's figure flashed. Immediately from that golden river, caught a fallen sun tadpole. That golden little tadpole, trapped on the fins of the chubby sea, struggling desperately. But I can only weakly wag my tail. After a while, it seems like I've been tired from swimming for so long. The sun tadpole is directly on the fins of the chubby sea fish. I fell asleep. Gao Peng can tell that he is very tired. But I didn't expect to sleep so fast either. Look at the sea. Is there a palace on the other side of the sun? Let's go take a look over there. Maybe there's some treasure. At this moment, a golden red giant palace, floating on a fiery red ball, shining with golden light. I can't see the specific shape of this palace clearly. Can only see the rough form, but Pang Da Hai doesn't think so. Immediately stopped his body. 
Is this a palace? Can you pull it down? Take a closer look. Gao Peng, take a closer look. His face suddenly became solemn. This is a change in the palace. At this point, what floats in front of me is a golden cicada shining brightly. The main entrance of the palace that Gao Peng saw before. It's his open lips. At this moment, the sun golden toad opened its mouth. These sun tadpoles rushed in eagerly, like a wanderer returning home. After the sun tadpoles charge in, the sun golden toad burns a layer of golden flame on its body surface. Flames gradually spread outward. In the end, the sun golden toad turned into a torch. Monster name, Sun Toad. 99 level monster level quasi god. Monster introduction. The sun golden toad born between heaven and earth. Absorb the power of the sun's flames between heaven and earth. Quiet personality. Pang Dahai sensed that the situation was not good. This golden toad is using the fire of the sun technique and refining the flesh body. I'm almost becoming a god. We need to run away quickly. Gao Peng secretly complained that you were a god before. Why are you so cowardly? This is a level 99 quasi-god monster, Sun Cicada. You only need one level to break through to the quasi-divine perfection. Pang Da Hai could see that he was refining his body. I guess I'm going to become a god soon. Requesting Gao Peng to quickly escape from here. But Gao Peng couldn't resist roast. Thank you for being a god before. But now it's so cowardly. Pang Da Hai said fiercely. I was able to smash him at my peak. The problem is, I'm not at my peak right now. Most quasi-gods dare not resist the law. Otherwise, we'll burn him into a scorched skin soon. Just finish speaking. See the sun, the golden cicada, swallowing the essence of the sun and the moon. The distant element of fire condensed into a raging threat of fire. Falling into his open mouth from all directions, Pang Dahai sees the situation. I'm even more anxious. This guy has already started to advance. Let's go quickly. At this moment, the red bird monster was accidentally affected by the flames, instantly roasted to a scorched skin. Gao Peng was also surprised when he saw this. Just the aftermath of hitting the bottleneck during advancement. Can hunt down these powerful monsters? At this moment, the sun golden toad raised its hair and let out a dull cry. The momentum on the surface of the body is becoming increasingly fierce and fiery. The flames are built layer by layer upwards. Next moment. The golden chains wrapped around the body suddenly burst. The sun golden toad finally broke through a certain level of realm. The level instantly broke from level 99 to level 100. Great perfection of ghosts and gods. Under the divine, the pinnacle of extraordinary strength. At this moment, the sun cicada opens its huge mouth. A golden red light spat out from the mouth. Keep shooting towards the west, disappearing at the end of the skyline. After a long period of sinking, a terrifying aura suddenly awakened. Endless blue light spreads and spreads from the horizon. Gao Peng quickly inquired, What's going on with this blue light? But Pang Da Hai is clearly a bit panicked. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Wait, I'll explain to you. Go fast, go fast. Several cold currents suddenly shot out from that blue light cluster, colliding with the heat wave of the sun cicada. An explosive sound that could shake the heavens and earth was heard in an instant. However, the chubby sea running away, accidentally affected by this cold current directly shot down in the air, after a strange low moan, directly hit and fall to the ground. The scales on the back are even more clattering. At this moment, the high was like a ball, smooth and elastic, so it reduces a lot of impact force. And on this side of the sky, the golden red morning glow and the icy blue clouds and mist, mutual confrontation, forming a peculiar scene where the sun and moon intersect. Gao Peng has terminated the union, asking about the ocean. What exactly is that? Pang Da Hai represents, that toad is considered the power of the advanced solar system, bringing in old things from the Taiyin divine system, the gods of these two divine systems. And the guys below are very isolated. They are mortal enemies. As soon as we meet, we will be divided into a life and death situation. Just now, we were affected by it. Gao Peng continues to ask further questions. All mastery and sun, or monsters related to the laws of the Taiyin. They are both from these two divine lineages. Pang Da Hai explained that it's not just about, it's just a large proportion. But if the monsters of the yin and sun, we started fighting as soon as we met. That'll be these two divine lineages. Gao Peng casually found a stone and sat down. So what kind of organization is the divine system? Do all of your gods have a divine lineage? Pang Da Hai replied, the divine system speaks well. Actually, it's just a group of gods huddled together in an organization. The real god is too lazy to do anything with the divine system. 
After all, the level of mastery of the rules. The impact on strength is very significant. A group of vegetable chickens huddled together. It still cannot be changed. The fact that they are a group of vegetable chickens, Gao Peng unconsciously glanced at him, thinking that the divine system is like a vegetable chicken huddling together. So you ran away so fast just now? Pang Dahai immediately noticed Gao Peng's discriminatory gaze. What kind of gaze are you giving? Don't look at me like that. Gao Peng immediately comforted Pang Dahai's fragile soul. Okay, okay, don't be angry, I have no other intention. Then he asked again, besides the fact that the sun is too cloudy. Are there any vine lineages? For example, your ocean god system, Pang Dahai said. The ocean has no divine system. Because of the great gods related to the laws of the ocean, no one is convinced. So there's no leader either. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng suddenly remembered talking about this. That ocean god in your family. Can you give me a recommendation? Seeing Gao Peng come up with his idea, Pang Dahai immediately pretended to be foolish again. What are you saying? How can I understand? Gao Peng's sinister smile reappeared. Did we talk about little fatty before? That's how big you are. The man found out that what he had anticipated was still a quasi-god, shamelessly took up his idea. But the fat sea made Gao Peng give up. Because of their father-daughter relationship, it's absolutely impossible to help him. Gao Peng is very puzzled. Are those your descendants after all? I won't eat you, will I? Besides, you also know the current situation. Dealing with ancient tribes and foreigners. We don't have a chance. God has no chance of winning. A pus. Fat Haidun put on a constipated expression. After pondering for a long time, I finally let out a sigh. Who made us sign the contract? I can take you to find him. But I really can't guarantee that he will help us out. Upon hearing this, Gao Ping immediately leaned up and masturbated a few times. I'll thank you first for the geocentric person. Pang Dahai is extremely angry. I'll let go of my skin and I'll beat it up for you. Later, Gao Peng arrived. A small base room under the Ural Mountains. But this place is already empty and deserted. The streets can be said to be littered with chaos. Gao Peng's face was full of suspicion. The sea, are you sure this way is a shortcut? Pang Dahai said he must have been attacked before. The new cracks here pass through. It is the plane where he is located. Hai Gao Peng's gaze was attracted by a newspaper. Demon invasion. That is to say... The news of foreign invasion has already spread. He casually read out the content above. Recently, a demon from another world is about to invade the center earth. They are fierce and cruel. A monster from a different world than a space crack. Even more cruel. The government calls on everyone to temporarily leave the center of the earth. Moving to another world. Government decisions in the center of the earth. Strongly supporting the development of jade and jade beasts in a different world. It's related to the industry. Opening the prelude to recapturing the center of the earth for the counterattack, at this moment he saw an old man leaning on a cane to avoid it. I think my grandfather's transfer speed is very fast. Other countries? Even so far, they haven't been able to evacuate completely. If we fail to successfully repel the ancient tribes, or a foreigner, the ultimate outcome will only be even worse. Then he said to Pang Dahai, So, can you understand why I insist on you taking me there? Have you found the right god? Pang Dahai is very helpless. I'm just a fish. When I was young, there have also been battles between two king-level monsters and those who are forced to leave their ethnic life with all their might. Can I understand your feelings to some extent? It seems like you helped me recover and put in a lot of effort. At most, I can offer you some kind words. Everything else depends on your nature. Upon hearing this, Gao Ping immediately came to his senses. You have some conscience. Then let's continue walking. After speaking, he snapped his fingers and summoned the four children. Jumping onto Siwa's back with a single leap. Just prepare to leave this small base room. But at this moment, the balcony next to the street is filled with cries for help. Help! Gao Peng immediately seeks fame and reputation. I saw a man with blonde hair and blue eyes, standing on the balcony, holding a baby in his hand and shouting at Gao Peng. Gao Peng cautiously scrutinized the man. Then, using the unfamiliar base Yong Yu, he asked what was going on. The man put on a pleading expression. Please, can you take our child away? Gao Peng stared at the woman beside him, pondering. A weak woman and a newborn child. Can't we keep up with the main force and leave? The man holds the baby up. You must be a censor. If Alexei follows you, at least there is still a glimmer of hope. Please take the child away. Let him live on. This man is just summoning a flying dragon. Just stopped by a couple. I hope Gao Peng can take the child out. This soon-to-be-abandoned city. You must be a powerful censor. If Alexei follows you, at least there is still a glimmer of hope.
Please take the child away. Let him live on. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng's long forgotten memories starting to emerge before my eyes. That's the image of Gao Peng's father in his memory. Xiao Peng, you should hide here. Don't be afraid. Live well. After saying this sentence, his father ruthlessly closed the door, despite his hysterical cries. Thinking of this, Gao Peng, who has always been strong, couldn't help but bite his lower lip. This surprised the chubby guy. That smile is even more gloomy than the devil. Dangerous men come in. After a moment of silence, Gao Peng reached out his hand to the man behind him. Give him to me. The man did not hesitate, and the baby in my arms is about to be handed over. And the wife beside her was already sobbing uncontrollably. Gao Peng firmly catches the baby. I couldn't help but take a few more glances at his cute face. This is a baby with blonde hair and blue eyes. I was still crying uncontrollably. But after seeing Gao Peng, he suddenly stopped. It turns out that even such a young baby knows there's nothing to hate. Then Gao Peng snapped his finger. Summon Achun decisively. He knew that the woman had just given birth. My body is still very weak. Not suitable for long-distance travel. Let Achun leave a box of supplies behind. Then Gao Peng rode his four children up to the sky. Leave a sentence for both of them. The power of the Earth Clan. Not as powerful as advertised by the government. Don't give up hope in life. It's best for the child to come back to your side in the future. Good luck to you all. Meeting in the future. Then the man opened the box left by Gao Peng. There is actually a large amount of drinking water and compressed food inside. He excitedly shouted thank you toward me. At this moment, the Chinese man is riding his jade beast, transformed into a silver light, disappear at the edge of the sky, seeing Gao Peng inexplicably accepting a baby. Pang Dahai curiously asked what to do next. You can't go with your child, can you? After some thought, Gao Peng, then he took out his phone from his pocket, then hand the baby to Pang Dahai. You should hold it first. I have my own way. Screen rotation. Gao Peng is at the edge of a certain sea area in the center of the earth. Seems to be waiting for someone. At this moment, a familiar figure was riding on a bloody-eyed and confused he flew over. Xiao Peng, long time no see. After landing, he gestured his height in the hall. You've grown quite a bit taller, kid. Gao Peng chuckled. When I contacted headquarters before, I just found out that you're still in the terrain. Sugar representation. Here. Someone must stay and be responsible for the follow-up work, right? But this guy is about to upgrade. After being busy for a while, it would be appropriate to venture into the Black Mist world. Then Tang Tang's gaze fell on a chubby fish. Strangely enough, this fish is still holding a baby. Tang Tang suddenly felt like his brain was not enough. I stuttered and couldn't speak for a long time. You all have children now. The man innocently brought back a human cub. This made Tang Tang instantly chaotic. I thought he had a relationship with a fish. Gao Peng immediately wants to clarify later. What are you guys? How could this be possible? This is a fish. Tang Tang just came to his senses and said the same thing. After all, this blonde with blue eyes, it really doesn't seem like it's your child. Gao Peng continued to explain that this was when passing by Beixiong Kingdom. A couple entrusted it to me, but I still have the key. So I just wanted to ask the hall to pick you up. Take him to the Black Mist world first. I also conceived a fast action team, specially assisting this type of person for various reasons, and those who are forced to stay in the center of the earth move to the world of black mist. I ask you and your grandfather to study the specific situation. Tang Tang couldn't resist. Touch the cute face of the child. I really didn't expect it. Xiao Peng, you have grown to this point. I remember a few years ago, you are still a the little boy following behind my butt. It's so simple, so shy. Gao Peng nodded yes. Sugar sister, I have grown up now. Now it's time for me to protect everyone too. After a series of cold and warm greetings, the two of them. Tang Tang took the baby and flew towards the world of black mist. Then Gao Peng turned his head and said to Pang Dahai, finally settle down. The sea lead the way quickly. But when Pang Dahai thought of going to see you, suddenly twisted and twisted, why not? Let's go back to the underworld too. Gao Peng is speechless to the extreme, not the sea. I have already arrived here. What's wrong with you? Peng Dahai turned around and glanced at him. Actually, I'm a bit nervous. After all, I had a conflict with his mother back then. Just drive him out of the temple. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng became excited. Is there someone like you who is a father in the bedroom? At least it's also my own son. Peng Dahai retorted. Who said it's my own son? That's my daughter. Seeing him confidently and confidently, Gao Peng is even more angry now immediately knocked on the back of his head. So what about it? 
Are you still proud to have kicked your daughter out of the house? Peng Dahai let out a sigh. At that time, the situation was very complicated, so I'm afraid he won't forgive me. Why don't we go back? You work hard. Help me recover to divine level. When the time comes, Fat Lord, I will kill the Four Directions Emperor Star. Isn't there a way to save it? Gao Peng grabbed his fishtail. No, the people from the tribe will eventually go to the Black Mist world, forcing our earthlings to be cannon fodder, waiting for you to recover. That yellow cauliflower is already cold. That's all I've said. Even if I die, I will die in front of your daughter. Hurry up, let's go. The screen changes. Pang Dahai has arrived at the abyss of the sea, but at the door and hesitated to take action. Gao Peng is truly speechless. It's already at the door. What are you still hesitating about? This kind of family conflict. It's really hard to persuade outsiders. Pang Dahai let out a long sigh, nodding. I know how to do it now. After speaking, it turned into a torpedo and crashed into the abyss of the sea. The next moment, Pang Dahai seems to have sensed something, stopping in the center of the seabed looking east and west. This chubby fish once drove its daughter out of the temple, now at my daughter's doorstep. But the fishtail was stuck by mucus, not waiting for her to react yet. That incredibly sticky spider silk instantly pulled Pang Dahai's entire body into the abyss. Then deep beneath the sea came bursts of laughter. I'll just say what kind of bug it is. How dare you disturb my rest? So it's my dear father, sir. The quasi-divine aura is even more exposed. At this point, Pang Dahai is completely immobile, watching my daughter reach out her paw. The mocking voice continued to take a look. My father, my lord. What's going on now? How? I've fallen to the same level as my backyard food. What's wrong? Are you here to die? His words fell off. The wild and unrestrained voice echoes on the seabed. Sharp and painful eardrums. Pang Dahai immediately struggled desperately. My heart is filled with despair. Continuously cursing Gao Peng to death. It's all your fault. Look, he just wanted to eat me. Gao Peng squinted his eyes. Can you stand aside? I still need to step forward. Then he took over Pang Dahai's body. At this moment, Pang Dahai's eyes showed a deep affection. That voice also instantly became full of emotions. You're right. I do want to apologize for so many years. I have always been very regretful day and night. When the sun and moon enter the next cycle, in that cold temple, my heart feels like it's being whipped. I torture myself time and time again. If we say, there is something in this world that I can regret, that's what I said on that day at the temple. I, surprisingly, he treated his own daughter, saying such indifferent words. Hear this. Stormwater Magic Pearl chuckled. How could you torture yourself? When will my father learn to lie? Upon hearing this, the chubby sea on the side surprisingly became complacent. She is truly my daughter. You're quite smart, aren't you? Gao Peng gave him a glare and shut up. Pang Dahai's voice began to tremble, saying sorry with a suffocating tone. It's dad's mistake. Please forgive dad. Okay, under the control of Gao Peng. At this moment, Pang Dahai's eyes are hazy with tears. Hearing these touching words, the stormwater magic pearl immediately froze in place. But soon, he laughed heartily again. As the god of storm and tide, surprisingly, he would still apologize and admit his mistake. Did someone impersonate me? Seeing my daughter's reaction, Pang Dahai looks at Gao Peng, silently sighing in my heart. Indeed, it has been offset. But after the stormwater magic, Pearl finished laughing. Unexpected transformed into human form in front of him. My dear father, your excellency, I suddenly feel like you're a little cute. A glimmer of joy flashed in Pang Dahai's eyes. Did he forgive me? Gao Peng, this bad guy. After saying a bunch of cheesy words, it was solved. How could my daughter be so brave? He was originally from the Black Mist world, the god of storm and tide. But now facing a daughter whom I haven't seen in many years. Surprisingly, I almost got eaten. Storm water magic beads walking towards the deep ocean. Go away while I'm still in a good mood today. Next time, any flattery will be of no use. The chubby fish continues to have teary eyes. Wait a moment. Actually, back then, I wanted to make up for your mistake. But it's all my fault for being too proud. I haven't come to see you yet. I have to deal with the fact that you are my daughter. Spread throughout the ocean. This way, other advanced monsters will also give me some thin noodles. Upon hearing this, the stormwater magic ball immediately stopped in its tracks. He gritted his teeth, turning his head and cursing at the old thing. Speak up if you have something to say. If you have any fart, please let it go. Gao Peng continues to control Pang Dahai. Saying that I need your help? You see, my current strength is not as strong as before, but I would rather be eaten by you. I also don't want to be eaten by others. And in the body, 
Pang De Hai shouted in his consciousness and waited for a moment. No, this is my body. Gao Peng squinted his eyes, so please shut up. Don't interrupt at the same time. Stormwater Magic Bead raised its hand and extended it, immediately sucked Pang De Hai in. He looked at his father with disdain. Speaking lightly, it was you who just said it. You want to eat it for me? Can ponder for a moment. He angrily threw Pang De Hai aside again. I need to take a look now. Who dares to grab food from me? Seeing my daughter walking towards the abyss of the ocean, Pang De Hai has some doubts about how to get there. Gao Ping asked him not to panic. The sea, don't worry. It seems that this matter is mostly possible. At this moment, the storm water grinding pig has a red face. Turning back to Pang De Hai and talking about that old thing. Just stay here and don't move. I'll go tidy up the backyard, so that when I leave, those foods are mischievous. After the stormwater magic bead left, Gao Peng proudly hummed a song. Pang De Hai couldn't help but pray. Gao Peng, Gao Peng, I am really small. It's up to you, Gao Peng. Actually, he had already anticipated it. He didn't hit you as soon as he came up. Prove that there is still you in my heart. It's just that your father and daughter have been separated for too long. The relationship is a bit distorted. Then Gao Peng gave him a meaningful glance. Some people, even if you know you're wrong, to save face is to make mistakes and continue to make mistakes. Actually, it's also important to reason well. Is it so difficult to admit a mistake? Isn't it still a family? But Pang De Hai still has a hard mouth. Isn't it necessary for me to maintain the dignity of a father? Gao Peng secretly roast. Father and daughter share the same moral character. Forget about personality matters. It's not something that can be changed in a day or two. Anyway, now we finally have a quasi-god-friendly army. Screen rotation. In the desolate maze of the Black Mist world, a man from an ancient tribe is getting angry. Let the people who spoke to me yesterday come and see me immediately. Don't factful. I have been evading and perfunctory about the matter of signature writing. And the man behind him disdainfully said, My father is from the Shenbi tribe, sent to negotiate with your earthlings, united against representatives of different races. You're in a hurry. Don't blame us for not being considerate. Tribal people are not vegetarians. At this point, as a diplomat from the center of the earth, I hurriedly ran over. This representative. Please don't worry. Hello? I am the joint business director of Nantian here. Ju Yuming, your request. Actually, we have been discussing this internally as well. A holy level sun bear is revealed in the desolate maze. Wanton destruction. Gao Peng is carrying Peng De Hai's quasi-divine level daughter. I came back in time, just now. A group of people claiming to be representatives of ancient tribes. Come here to the desolate maze. Negotiate to unite against a clan. As the overall manager of Nantian United Business. Zhu Yuming stated that, according to your requirements, actually discussing this internally as well, but the total negative. Mr. G and Mr. Gao, both responsible persons, are currently out of town. After all, it involves the fate of hundreds of millions of people. We can't be the masters either, but men don't give up. I don't care about your internal affairs. Anyway, all I need is your signature. The rest has nothing to do with me. Do you understand? After speaking, he threw the contract in his hand over. If you don't sign it for me today, I can only force you to sign it. To put some pressure on this group of people, the man immediately spread his palm out to the sky. Come out now, the voice fell, a golden light shining directly into the sky on my hand, a dull and irritable aura, make the entire desolate maze tremble with fear. Soon a massive monster descended from the sky, as soon as the reddish golden body appears. It collapsed a large area of the ground. It's a golden rough, like a golden ocean appearing extremely dazzling in the sunlight. I saw this giant beast opening its ferocious mouth, a beam of domineering golden light, shoot directly at the outer walls of the barren maze, instantly tearing apart the divine protective barrier. Zhu Yuming was also surprised when he saw this. Having such power, is it a holy level imperial beast? The man gave a cold smile, it was just a meeting. As long as you sign, we are comrades in arms. I will apologize for the small conflict just now, and compensate some resources. Otherwise, next time we need to focus on your residential area. Upon hearing this, Zhu Yuming gritted his teeth. This is really despicable. This way we can't drag it on anymore. He felt powerless for the first time. If either Ji Dong or Xiao Dong is present. But at this moment, the already manic sun bear seems to sense something's wrong. I saw him looking towards somewhere in the sky and then let out a long roar. The sound is even more jarring, causing eardrums to ache. The man under his feet is very strange. What's wrong, Sun Bear? Suddenly a hint of unease flashed in his eyes. No, it's not right. In the sky of fear. 
make him afraid. He is a high-level divine beast. Before long, waves suddenly rang in my ears. Everyone immediately looked left and right. Although there is no sea nearby, why is there the sound of waves? Then one of them pointed to the sky. Look at the sky. How could there be waves floating in the sky? At this moment, in the sky, Pang Dahai sits on the shoulder of Stormwater Magic Pearl, arrived above the desolate maze. My good daughter, that's it here, seeing the vastness of the waves, sweeping across all directions. The man was suddenly shocked and pale. This kind of pressure is clearly a quasi-god, Pang Dahai whispered. Daughter, don't take it too hard. Just a serious injury is enough. The Stormwater Magic Ball is very puzzling. Isn't he going to eat you? We still need to save him a dog's life. The benefits of being taken over by the Fat Sea are stronger, because there's a group of quasi-gods behind those guys. I'm worried that you might get hurt. The Stormwater Magic Pearl gave a sinister smile, transforming a strand of water hair from one's hand. Okay, then let's keep this bear alive. In the next moment, ice-blue water hairs burst out of the air, directly frozen through the shoulder of the sun bear. Hardly nail it to the ground. A polar sun bear wreaking havoc in the desolate maze. But it was captured by the quasi-god-level stormwater magic spider, nailed it to the ground with water wool. The sun bear has become incredibly weak. Long hair pierced through his body. A large amount of fresh blood flows out continuously. His master criticized madness. Hurry up to check. How are you, sun bear? At this moment, the giant color of the sun bear fades away. Instead, it was replaced by a painful and murderous aura, facing quasi-god-level monsters and even more so with a deep growl, seeing this bear pretend. Stormwater Magic Pearl gave a gentle smile. Why don't you accept it, right? His words fell off. I saw the sun bear condensing a beam of light in its mouth. Almost simultaneously, the figure Water Magic Pearl has disappeared in place. In the blink of an eye, the sun bear's move was interrupted, stepped on his chest with one foot. This blow seems to tear apart heaven and earth, stepped directly into a deep pit in front of the bear's chest. The surrounding sand and dust are also rioting at this moment, taking advantage of the thick smoke rising everywhere. Gao Peng, who was inside Pang Dahai's body, said the sea. Find a place with a lot of smoke and dust. Let's remove the merged state of the link. Then he separated from Pang Dahai's body. The duration of this reunion is too long. I suddenly feel like I'm almost turning into a fish. However, this scene was still seen by stormwater magic beads. Although he didn't say anything on his lips, but the expression of disgust on his face is indeed very real. Seeing the situation, Pang Dahai had no choice but to explain it. I signed an equal contract with him. Cooperative relationship. Cooperative relationship. The stormwater magic pearl is speechless to the extreme. Old thing. It seems that you have ranged a lot since you became weaker. Between their conversations, after the sun bear breathed a sigh of relief, holding onto the wound on his chest, he stood up again. The next moment... Three sharp giant pig claws swiped past the side of his head. This strike did not cause any damage to the bear, but the ground behind him. Three long scratches split open on the spot. Stormwater demon pig retreats its claws. What's wrong with a sinister smile? Did I make you move? At this moment, the sun bear of shang was frightened into a teddy bear on the spot. Pi Kuang began to scrutinize the man in the mist. This person appeared together with the unknown quasi-god. If nothing unexpected happens, it's his imperial censor. I don't know what his purpose is. Let's stabilize him first before we talk. He pretended to be calm and smiled twice. I am convinced of your strength. I believe you have some misunderstanding with us. Our tribal alliance is here. The quasi-god is no less than ten imperial censors. They all enjoy making friends. I believe your excellency, sometimes alone. Do you also have the necessary materials? Your excellency can form an alliance with our tribe. Exchange. However, Gao Peng just gave a cold smile and didn't need it. If our Huaxia tribe needs it, resisting a clan will naturally take action, but not through this collaborative approach. As soon as this sentence is spoken, Pi Kuang can't calm down anymore. What? Did you say you were the imperial censor of the Huaxia tribe? At this moment, his heart is extremely shaken. Surprisingly, the Huaxia tribe has a quasi-divine level imperial censor. Revival of Emperor Green Elements. That's about the past ten years, right? Ten years of time. Do you have a quasi-divine-level imperial censor? The holy beast of men, Sun Bear, defeated by a sudden quasi-divine monster. After learning that the other party is the imperial censor on Emperor Star, it's even more unbelievable. Because the revival of Emperor Star elements is only a short ten years. 
Gao Peng steps out of the fog. Speaking of which, I will go back and tell you about the Presbyterian Council. We Chinese people have been living from ancient times to the present day. It's just a peace-loving nation. Throughout the history of Emperor Star, we Chinese people, basically there is no such thing as war. What we hate the most is war. Everyone saw clearly that it was after Gao Peng. It's both surprising and joyful. Unexpectedly, Xiao Dong was a quasi-divine censor. At this time, Xu Qingzhi is communicating with Ji Han Wu. It seems that you don't need to rush back, Chairman. Xiao Dong has basically controlled the scene. Ji Han Wu, who was on his way, slowed down his speed. It seems that Xiao Peng can invite this great deity. Must have suffered a lot. And Tang Tang, who followed behind, was very tough. Clearly, I didn't feel the aura of the quasi-god last time. How long has it been? Xiao Peng has actually mastered the quasi-god, feeling deeply moved by both cold and martial arts. That kid is growing at an astonishing speed now. It has already surpassed us, this group of elder people. Then he instructed Xu Qingzhi to go down. We will follow the original plan. Continue to other gathering places of geocentric organizations. Discuss the issue of forming a rescue team. I'll leave this to him. After hanging up communication, a man suddenly approached. Mr. Xu, is there no war in our Chinese history? I'm afraid I didn't read a fake history. Xu Qing only asked him to remain silent. Don't get bogged down in details at this time. At this moment, Pi Kuang saw Gao Peng walking out of the fog. Even more so, the three senses and five senses exploded on the spot. You Mini is the same Gao Peng. Gao Peng thinks he's a bit comical. Don't want you to be Mini, right? My tribe lacks strength. I can't help it even if I go now. Instead, it will distract you from taking care of yourself. It will also affect your situation when the time comes. Discomfort in case of difficulties. Tikwang gritted his teeth. I feel a suffocation in my heart. What can I say? Can you say a knight called you over? Is it just serving as cannon fodder? Hated for a moment. He spoke up and said that what I said was useless. This matter. Only the quasi-divine governors of the Presbyterian Church can make a decision. Gao Peng doesn't want to eat this trick. Of course I know you have a quasi-god who is the censor. And I don't know anyone yet. So you don't have to keep talking about it. Then Gao Peng hit Peng De Hai with his elbow. Peng De Hai immediately understood and I understand. Got it. And then he started acting up against the stormwater magic ball again. Daughter, daughter. Why don't you do this? Obviously, stormwater magic beads eat soft rather than hard. Faced with my father's watery eyes, I feel helpless. Oh, there's really a lot of history. After speaking, his figure flashed. The water droplets condensed from the hands kept flickering, aiming at a certain part of the sun bear's body. In the next moment, water and hair burst out of the air pierced a large and fat tendon of the sun bear. Fresh blood was splashed on the spot. Just now, Pi Kuang, who was quite confident, stood still in place. Endless fear veiled on his face. Gao Peng took the opportunity to say that you may have been away from the center of the earth for too long. I don't know there's such a rule. In China, if an unexpected guest comes to your door, they will leave a gift for the meeting. Worried that the current China is not strong enough. But so what? In your war... The critical period of, are you sure you want to do this? And an additional quasi-god level enemy. The holy desire beast of men, defeated by a sudden quasi-divine monster. Now it's hard to pass through spatial cracks. Escaped back to the world of Feng Hua, the previously mighty and domineering sun bear. Now we can only lower our heads. Licking the severed palm with your tongue. Crazy, don't worry about your son. For the holy extreme monster. A broken hand is not a very serious injury. After a while, it will grow back again. In fact, encountering a quasi-god-level monster resulted in such a slight injury. It's already considered a very fortunate thing. Sun Piyuan is still very worried. Dad, but we didn't complete the task. Name it on the tribe. It will definitely affect your status. Pi Kuang comforted his son and went back to train well. Cultivate the Imperial Beast well. War is imminent. No identity or background is real. Even if you are my son, I won't receive any preferential treatment either. Those foreigners will only want to kill you more. However, if I'm not mistaken, that quasi-god-level monster may not be Gao Peng's imperial beast. As soon as this sentence is spoken, Pi Yuan was very shocked. What kind of crazy person is shocked to see him? Quickly instructed him not to speak recklessly after returning. If anyone mentions it, just say it's his quasi-divine beast. Pi Yuan is still restless, because if it weren't for what he saw with his own eyes, it's absolutely impossible to believe. Gao Peng had a quasi-god in just a few years. But Pi Kuang actually looks very harmful. It doesn't matter whether the people in the tribe believe it or not. A quasi-god-level monster is a real deal. If you don't believe it, let them witness it themselves. 
Besides, you can't just let me suffer, can not Otherwise, I will always be a joke. If there are too many people at a loss. Those towering adults. You should also know how to endure the hardships. Screen rotation. I learned about the P. Kwong mission at the headquarters of the Horde Alliance. After failure, even the usually calm elder was shocked. The leader of the White Dragon tribe on the side also secretly praised. That kid is definitely not easy. As I expected. However, regarding this news, some people naturally don't believe it. How could it be possible? Pai Kuang is the Grand Censor of Sheng Ji. He must be joking with us. Is that right? Han Xin quickly answered. Not mine. The gossip from my uncle's brother-in-law. There is a quasi-god or imperial censor in the Huaxia tribe. This undoubtedly doesn't cause much surprise to the people of a large tribe. How could it be a quasi-god or an imperial censor? How many years ago did the Huaxia tribe last? How many imperial censors do they have? The number of imperial censors should not exceed ten, right? I heard that only Gao Peng imperial censor. Why did a quasi-divine-level imperial censor suddenly appear? There seems to be only one threshold between quasi-divine and holy levels. But in reality, it's a trap. Many holy-level peak royal beasts. Just trapped in this step. They don't even know how to break it. What does a quasi-divine prehistory mean? It means he has the potential to establish a top-tier tribe. It seems that Huaxia tribes also have the potential to advance to the top tribes. What does having a quasi-god-level pre-sale really mean? The old man in the green robe believes that Gao Peng already has the potential to establish top-tier tribes. Even the usually dull, black-robed man. I can't help but guess. If that's the case, so his talent. It's not something that can be described as terrifying. I even suspect that he is a reincarnation of a certain deity. The leader of the White Dragon tribe on the side spoke up and said, He is not a reincarnation of a deity. I have seen that child before. Our tribal high priest also quite likes the old man in the green robe stroked his beard. So that quasi-god is not his royal beast anymore. Is it the reinforcements he invited? The black-robed man doesn't want to waste any more time. Get up and say no to the people of this big tribe. We need to discuss it again. I'll go meet him tomorrow. If the imperial beast he invited is accidentally killed by me, for the sake of your white dragon tribe and the high priest's face, I'll spare his life. But let the Huaxia department obediently sign the contract. Upon hearing this, the chief of the white dragon tribe immediately chuckled. The old man in the green robe on the side glanced at the man in the black robe. So if it's your royal beast, what should I do if I am beaten to death by the other party? The black-robed man put on his hood. Speak indifferently. My thousand-handed faceless Buddha cannot lose. The screen transitions to a world of black mist. In the mountains near the desolate maze. Aiden as the guardian of the exterior wall. A huge body stands like a mountain peak on the plain. At this moment, Gao is sitting outdoors looking at the design drawings. There are a total of three walls here. Near each constructed wall, all are guarded by Wang Ji, the imperial censor responsible for reporting to the police. As long as there are monsters invading Huang Ji, immediately report to the city headquarters. Subsequently, the headquarters will dispatch Imperial Censor Huang Ji to come, solving invading monsters. This latest designed central city. The emergency plan for the capital of hope is also satisfactory. As for whether the walls for cultivation are useful or not, it still has a psychological effect. However, I still need to discuss the issue of legislation with my grandfather. Subsequently, Gao Peng felt that today's sunshine seemed too dazzling. Has the world of black mist also welcomed summer? But when he takes a closer look, I just realized that things are not simple. No, this is not the light emitted by the sun. At this moment, a brilliant light suddenly lit up in the sky. The bright golden light rises like a big star. The residents in the city looked up one after another. There seems to be something in the sun. At this point, a thousand-handed faceless Buddha suspended in the sky. There seems to be a figure still standing in his hand. The voice of the black-robed man echoes between heaven and earth. Suin, there is a quasi-god here, specially invited to battle. Can there be a quasi-god? Dare to fight me. The voice of a man is like a torrential rain. The momentum is even more frightening. Everyone below feels hopeless. Another tribe. It's not over yet. We have all escaped here. This is really despicable. We just want to live a good life. Seeing the thousand-handed faceless Buddha come to challenge. Gao Peng just gave a faint smile. By the way, did the tribe also bring reinforcements? But it's much slower than expected. The man is carrying a quasi-divine level beast, the thousand-handed faceless Buddha, the challenge in front of the deserted maze gate. But he was arrogant for less than three seconds. 
He just saw it. Suddenly, a thin thread appeared and quickly formed a semi-transparent network of heaven and earth, instantly trapped the body of the thousand-handed faceless Buddha inside. Also at this moment, the figure of Stormwater Magic Pearl suddenly appeared on the thin thread, simultaneously put on an expression of looking at the food. The man murmured, you should be the unknown quasi-god team, right? Gao Peng couldn't help but chuckle that this was already the case. What else are you asking? The villain died from talking too much. Meanwhile, taking advantage of the fact that the thousand-handed faceless Buddha has not yet reacted, Stormwater Magic Pearl immediately wields its power palm. I went straight up to welcome you. Although Stormwater Magic Beads have the upper hand, but the thousand-handed faceless Buddha leaned against one side of his body, still managed to dodge this blow smoothly. Almost simultaneously, he extended the countless palms behind his back, smashing towards Stormwater Magic Beads. The huge palm seems to be crushing everything. Although, the Stormwater Magic quickly moved away from the thousand-handed faceless Buddha, but under the pincer attacks of countless palms, still unavoidable. At this moment, the Stormwater Magic Beads are directly around the body. Water Element Arm Protection has been activated, effortlessly wielding the countless giant palms of the thousand-handed faceless Buddha. Resisted it down. Then the Stormwater Magic Ball was in the palm of my hand again, condensing a Water Element Photosphere. The black-robed man is a bit unbelievable. Surprisingly, the attack did not work. I can't quite see through this quasi-god anymore. Faceless Buddha, continue to avoid it. Can the words fall? The thousand-handed faceless Buddha remained motionless. The black-robed man only then noticed. Originally, the thousand-handed faceless Buddha had already been tied with thin threads. This is the motionless thousand-handed faceless Buddha. Has taken all the damage from stormwater magic beads head-on. Seeing the cracks on my desired face. The black-robed man was also amazed. This quasi-god is really easy. It seems that the fine threads around him have greatly benefited him. I'll merge with the faceless Buddha first, so that he can let go and fight. Then the figure of the black-robed man disappeared into place. He used the Imperial Sensor skill link. Integrate with Thousand-Handed Faceless Buddha. Then the body of the Thousand-Handed Faceless Buddha sank. Shoulder down. The thousand hands behind me seem like blooming lotus flowers pointing towards the sky. Soon, the vast expanse of pale golden light interweaves in the void. Finally bloomed a slowly blooming golden lotus flower, and the stormwater magic bead arranged a network of heaven and earth, also completely torn into pieces. Gao Peng was also surprised when he saw this. I didn't expect the explosive power of the faceless Buddha to be so high. The chubby sea on the side said, Don't worry for now. Wait a minute. You can see my daughter's serious combat style now. At this moment, the stormwater magic ball stopped moving, staring fiercely at the thousanded faceless Buddha. This is the time I spent all night yesterday. The net that was just laid out. How could you just tear me apart like that? And the color on his body. Also degraded from deep blue to gray, the black-robed man also felt something was wrong. The color has changed. The breath is becoming increasingly dangerous. Does this quasi-god actually have any killing moves left? A quasi-divine level thousand-handed faceless Buddha just shattering the surrounding spider webs, immediately provoked the dissatisfaction of the stormwater magic pearl, the color on his body. It also changed from deep blue to a desperate gray. The black-robed man couldn't help but follow in surprise. Changes in color. His aura also became increasingly terrifying. At this point, the stormwater demon spider has legs spread out and is lying on the ground, put on a posture of about to charge, with a gust of strong wind howling past. The stormwater magic spider is incredibly fast, more than three times faster than before, at a speed invisible to the naked eye. Crazy attack on thousand-handed faceless Buddha. And at this moment, the thousand-handed faceless Buddha can only judge based on the sixth sense. Resisting this scene left the black-robed man in awe. Surprisingly, it erupted at a speed even faster than just now. Nowadays, the faceless Buddha is simply unable to fight back, can only suppress passive defense. And the face less Buddha's resistance is becoming increasingly difficult. I don't think it will last long before they can be defeated by the enemy. At this moment, the Stormwater Magic Pearl becomes increasingly excited during the Vietnam War. Not long after, I discovered the flaw in the thousand-handed faceless Buddha. And he also transformed back into his true self at this moment. Quickly, a Buddha with a volume larger than a thousand-handed faceless Buddha, and even a much larger spider, appearing in front of me. He, who has transformed back into his true form, has more explosive power in terms of power. 
her pig claw with accumulated power and one strike. Even more so, directly breaks through the defense of Qianshou Wunyan Buddha. If it weren't for the thousand-handed Buddha without chanting, timely protected the body with both arms. I'm afraid even the golden body will be shattered, right? The black-robed man finally panicked. Unexpectedly, this quasi-god has such formidable combat power. A major war is imminent. There's no need to expend combat power here. Faceless Buddha retreats first. Just finished speaking. The thousand-handed faceless Buddha is like a rocket launch, quickly escaped from the scene. Stormwater magic. Pearl reluctantly shook her hand. This guy is quite tough. It's all numb to my mother, but it's still a bit short of endurance. This battle has greatly inspired Gao Ping. His speed is so fast. This is definitely not inherited from your talent. Upon hearing this, Pang Dehai's face turned black in an instant. What do you mean? He is my master. Gao Peng didn't expect him to be so sensitive. I didn't say he wasn't your master. I'm just saying. His speed talent is definitely inherited from you. Pang Dehai became proud. Is it okay? The speed of the child is quite fast. Gao Peng thinks this good life is strange. That's how I said it. But what's the inexplicable pride in your tone? Even a few days ago, I looked very disgusted and couldn't do anything. Start now for your wife. And proud of my daughter's talent. Sure enough, that's right. All male animals are the same when they have offspring. Subsequently, Gao Peng analyzed the situation of the war. Although the thousand-handed faceless Buddha is very strong, but compared to the stormwater magic spider, the attributes are still quite different. When the speed forms compaction, unless equipped with restraint measures, otherwise we will have to be passively beaten. Then he looked at the stormwater magic ball. Rows of attributes appear before our eyes. Stormwater magic beads. 97 level quasi god. Mythical quality. This is a divine wing. Because of a long term lack of fatherly love, make his personality unpredictable. Likes to cut prey into pieces of meat and slowly taste it. Hate noise. Disliking the lively atmosphere. However, after solving the problem of the thousand handed faceless Buddha, Stormwater magic beads release a large amount of fine threads. These filaments entangle with each other in the void. Ultimately transformed into an invisible web, every thin thread extends crazily outward, as if there is no end to it. Gao Peng was stunned on the spot. Why are you weaving a net again? Isn't it that the other side has already escaped? After defeating the thousand-handed faceless Buddha, the stormwater magic pearl unexpectedly erected a net on the spot. Gao Peng also couldn't help but sigh. Although the monster has reached the quasi-god level, but habits still persist. The chubby sea on the side is full of pride. You don't understand things at the quasi-divine level. My best friend, this is all about leaving. Do you know if Gao Peng is speechless? You were the one who had to live and die to avoid meeting before. At this moment, Peng Dehai swam over. My precious daughter just- Well done. But you just applied the water element. Still lacking some heat. Listen to dad telling you no- Wait for him to finish speaking. The stormwater mill pig snorted coldly and then disappeared into the pignet. The old thing is so verbose. Suddenly, Pang Dehai, who wanted to preach, took a closed door. How did you leave? Then he said with a dejected expression, Is this what you humans call the rebellious period? Gao Peng couldn't help but chuckle at them. They were too lazy to talk to you. But speaking of which, didn't the thousand-handed faceless Buddha leave? What, I still feel a bit hot. Then Abin suddenly spoke up. What a handsome sister. Gao Peng will take a moment immediately. No wonder the villa on him gets hot. So Abin's veins are swollen. Screen rotation. At the top of Kunlun Mountains in the center of the earth, a group of people from the White Dragon tribe, standing in front of a huge stone, motionless. I don't know if the cold is too strong. These young descendants, involuntarily trembling one after another. At this point, the chief of the White tribe said calmly, Don't be nervous. Everything goes according to plan. Young generation nods, yes. Not many clan chiefs. It's like the Milky Way cascading across the sky. Massive force pours back into the end path. The vast universe outside the center of the earth suddenly moves, as if a corner of the shielded box had been opened. However, the clan leader remained expressionless. Time's up. The Holy Spirit has awakened, and the wolves prepare for battle. And then in that vast void, a strange sphere resembling an eyeball, appearing in front of me, inside and outside, wrapped in several layers of different colored objects. But suddenly, that sphere surprisingly became void for a while. The surrounding scenes change color in an instant. Soon, the entire center of the earth is covered and enveloped by endless anomalies. There is a real dragon roaring. There are angry titans fighting against the gods. And the phoenix is flapping its wings and soaring. 
Bai Yin quickly asked his father. This is a cold smile from the clan leader. It isn't triggered by the further lifting of the geocentric seal. Can wait until the white mist clears. The empty sky turned out to be completely empty. The Holy Spirit has lost its trace. The clan leader immediately realized something was wrong. Such a large space passage. The news that can be passed down is completely different. No, such a large space passage is not possible. We cannot complete the sniper mission with our group of people. Subsequently, he instructed Bai Long to take the others with you. We will retreat first. After hearing the command, White Dragon immediately uses its tail, cut open the ground beneath everyone's feet in one fell swoop, and then send it to the sky. Standing on the back of White Dragon, they saw the earth under their feet trembling wildly. The entire center of the earth is undergoing tremendous changes. Massive elements flow from fragmented channels towards the center of the earth. The seal of Earth Star has finally been lifted. The tribal leader of the White Dragon tribe believes that the spatial channels are too large and chose to retreat. Sun Bai Yin quickly asked his father, What should we do now? All our previous preparations were for the White House. The clan leader shook his head, but it doesn't necessarily mean he's on Earth. We also have more than just other places. It's just a lack of first mover opportunities. However, at this point, one of the tribe members suddenly pointed towards the seaside in shock. You guys, hurry up and take a look over there. Originally, while the Earth Star was unsealed, the water of the four oceans roars wildly. The land near the shore has already been submerged. At this moment, the center of the Earth is like a magnet detached from its main body. After the middle barrier disappears, choose to integrate with the subject. This illusion lasted for two hours before it ended. At this moment, the major mountain ranges beneath my feet. They have all been integrated. Amidst a vast and boundless expanse of mountains, but at this moment, the severed fingers of the Earth's roots are actually crossing over the mountains. Strangely, the surface is incredibly smooth. It is also covered with texture of trees. The chieftain of the White Dragon tribe quickly shouted, White Mang! Let your people go over there and observe. Bai Mang nodded, yes. The clan leader and a few others came to the front of the severed finger. They found that on the cross section, unexpectedly exposing large blood bubbles one by one. Those blood bubbles seem to sense something, unexpectedly open the package in an instant, and then it emits a fragrant and sweet smell inside. It seems to be a scent favored by monsters. A white dragon cannot resist this fishy and sweet taste when encountering a beast, even more crazily inhaling it into the body. However, the next moment, the eyes of this white dragon suddenly became bloodshot. The facial muscles are starting to twist. Immediately after, there were bulges of blood all over the body. More and more blood bags, and it's getting bigger and bigger. As if about to explode, the owner of the white dragon also sensed something was wrong. No, my beast is out of control. Before he finishes speaking, the white dragon covered in blood all over its body unexpectedly turned his head and bit towards his master. Just at the critical moment, a giant head composed of water elements immediately reached over. Grab the out-of-control white dragon and grab it like pinching a small earthworm, and the white python caught the injured man below. The man spoke in pain and thanked the captain. Bai Mong quickly instructed everyone to, Don't be careless, everyone else. That strange smell will affect the jade beast. But almost at the same time, the other two jade beasts in the team, different symptoms and differences also appeared, seeing the overall situation not going well. The clan leader quickly ordered the five-clawed white dragon to save the person. Let's hurry and leave this damn place. The five-clawed white dragon is also not polite. Shoot down those two mutated jade beasts directly. At the same time, he brought back the tribe members. At this moment, in the torn open passage, surprisingly, there are countless tall trees. The clan chief was also surprised when he saw this. What exactly are these? One of the trees is brushing and shaking its crown. Seems like a demon. Her hair swayed wildly. Not long after, he opened his eyes on the tree body. The level limit of alien stars has finally been lifted. The golden old trees inside immediately came to life. In that forest full of mountains and fields, these botanical monsters widened their eyes one by one. Crazy shaking of the dense canopy. Leaped down from the gap in no time. Transformed into a head of golden old demons. Crazy rush towards the center of the earth. They are vying to be the first and the second. Seeing any living organism, we need to absorb their nutrients thoroughly. At this moment, the tribal leader of the White Dragon tribe is hiding in the dark and sighing. The war is finally about to begin. A few days later, in a wilderness somewhere in the center of the earth, where these tree demons go, no grass grows, even the blood dripping into the soil, and they were all sucked clean and tidy. 
At this time, as the chieftain of the independent tribe, Ze Wanzheng had a solemn expression on his. Looking at over 10,000 tree demons at the foot of the mountain, soon a tribe member came to report. Report to the clan leader. We are near the passage. I didn't see what the white dragon tribe said about finger breakage. But along the way, there were constant tree demons. Too many anomalies. Zewan fell into contemplation. Can it be that Bai Longbu is deceiving me? Or did they secretly take the severed finger away? But the war has just begun. Even if they have any ideas, there won't be any conflict now. Little White Dragon is not such a short-sighted person. But there have always been rumors among other tribes. Speaking of Emperor Xin, the somewhat famous imperial censor Gao Peng. Actually, it was the White Dragon Clan who stayed behind in the past. Descendants of the Dishina tribe, and after Mofo returned from the Black Mist world, just announced the matter of the seclusion treaty directly. So there's no more text left. Did they already reach a tacit understanding? Later, he instructed his tribe on a major dispute. Forget it, no matter what. Recently, the number of demons has increased. You must be careful. There may be hidden prefecture-level monsters inside. Remember, our characters are clearing out prefecture-level monsters. Collect more corpses. Then he turned around and said to Zehai, What's up? Have you sensed the aura of prefecture level or holy level? Zahai said that there are a few unclear energy streams. Another wave is moving in the direction of the mountains. But before the words fall, Zahai was surprised to find that the energy on the other side of the mountain range is starting to move towards them. At this moment, the earth ahead suddenly trembled violently. The sturdy vines have emerged from the ground, like countless earth dragons stirring up towering waves. Zewan disdainfully said, this fluctuation is undoubtedly. In fact, the appearance of prefecture-level monsters was already within his expectations. Then Zewan took out a small white snake from his pocket. Instructions have been issued. Go ahead and let his words fall behind. That white little snake instantly transformed into a lightning, drilled into the ground, and then, strolling slowly to the roots of the prefecture-level vines. Without any hesitation, the white snake took a bite and went over. Toxins on teeth. At this moment, it also crazily injects into the body of that prefecture-level vine. At this moment, Zehai, who was watching the battle, turned pale on one side. He found that he was still lively just now. The extremely arrogant vine suddenly froze in the air. Before long, the roots and stems of the vine quickly withered away. In the blink of an eye, he was poisoned to death. The man took out a small white snake from his arms. Just took a gentle bite on his rhizome and directly poisoned an old tree demon with a ground thorn. And those exposed vines. The ground was shattered on the spot. Zeyuan's face added a hint of joy. He retrieved the white snake from his hand. Not bad, not bad. Well done. At this moment, in the center of the distant mountain range, suddenly a beam of green light shot out. Zeyuan immediately sensed. There are huge energy fluctuations appearing over there, and they are quickly coming this way. The joy on Kazahara's face still lingers. He played with the white snake on his hand. Holy wood monster, you have another taste, buds. His voice falling down. Then he threw the white snake in his hand towards the front. Go ahead, this time it's different from last time. The volume of the white snake skyrocketed to five meters in an instant, suddenly transformed into a white prehistoric python. Subsequently, the white python transformed into dots of light, proactively rushing into the distant mountains, fighting against the green figure. Light is the after-effect created between the two. It has already intimidated other low-level monsters. Even Zehai was afraid in his heart. Not good. The battle is too intense. The aftermath is about to wash away this place. This old thing completely disregards my life and death. Let's go. Who made me just the illegitimate child of my deceased father? It would if he could recognize my grandson. I haven't had a chance to leave yet. Zehai felt the land beneath his feet begin to collapse. He lost his balance on the spot. Fall directly to the ground. And he also fell all over the ground. But it's also at this moment. He actually found a severed finger on the ground. And it looks like giving him a middle finger, just as Zehai was feeling depressed. The middle finger buried underground. Unexpectedly, it shook left and right inexplicably. The next moment, this severed finger suddenly pulled out a long silhouette, directly buried in his eyebrows. Zehai quickly touched his forehead with his hand. What situation? Did something just get into my forehead? Don't wait for him to think more. Zewan, who had gained a lot, walked over. Get up. Our mission is completed. Seeing my grandfather come back. Zehai is ready to step forward and inform himself of his situation. But I was just about to speak. My mind is completely blank. 
A great fear made him feel cold all over. Why suddenly can't you speak? I was just about to- Today's Zehai. Even my own body cannot be manipulated. As long as it comes to mind. The idea of wanting to tell the truth. My mind will go blank. Grandfather Zaywan hesitated to speak when he saw him. Go straight to his side. Urged me to say, what are you still doing in a daze? You can go back now. Zehai quickly regained his senses. He shook his head at his grandfather. It's nothing, I just lost my mind. Go back now. He knows very well that he can no longer inform others about this matter. He closely followed his grandfather, but the back vest was already a cold sweat. After a broken middle finger penetrated the man's head, he realized that he had an incredible ability. As long as the jade beast touched by his middle finger will expand to a visible extent to the naked eye from a flowing lizard transformed into a ferocious Tyrannosaurus. Although I don't know what the severed finger is, but now my middle finger seems to be able to infect and strengthen monsters. And these monsters also have the ability to infect other monsters. My middle finger really has a power. At this moment, two members of the tribe suddenly visited. Standing outside, respectfully addressing Lord Dao's high, Zehai immediately responded, What can I do for you? Clan representatives, the team responsible for destroying the center of the earth and dealing with waste binding has assembled. We should go now. After hearing this news, Zehai was both excited and excited in his heart. You can go to the center of the earth again. That's really an excellent experimental site. You just wait and see, dead old man. One day you will turn around and beg me. The screen transitions to a world of black mist, a tree demon imprisoned by an idiot, lying on the ground trembling and trembling. It looks particularly miserable, because Gao Peng also wants to use certain channels, understand the current situation of the center of the earth. That's why Ah Dai went to catch a tree demon casually, come back to study. But Gao Peng had a disdainful expression on his face. Stupid, are you right about these two words? There is a deep misunderstanding. These words left Adai with a bewildered expression on his face. Gao Peng explained that, I said you can grab anyone and come back to study it. You really caught one randomly. Is it only holy level? Ah Dai suddenly realized. So what the owner said was casual. It means the best, but my abilities are limited. We can only catch him now. After I break through the quasi-god, go and catch a more advanced one for the owner. Seeing Ah Dai's serious appearance, Gao Peng suddenly sighed at other pre-sales as he grew older. Everyone has their own opinions. Only Adai. Take every word I say. Completed as if it were an iron law. Then he noticed that Adai's level. Surprisingly, after going out for a trip, I was promoted. Is the battle on the inner side of the earth very intense now? Adai nodded. Yes, there are many corpses there. There are also many souls. Since Adai broke through the holy level, the level upgrade is extremely slow. This massive invasion of foreign races. On the contrary, it unexpectedly elevated Adai by one level. Actually, there are fat sea and stormwater magic beads here. I'm not too worried about safety issues either. Now Emperor Star is a battlefield of Shura. It's also the foolish fool who fish in troubled waters. No, it's a good time for Adai to enhance himself. Thinking of this, Gao Peng gave a command to Adai. Wait for me to notify the White Dragon tribe. Then you go to Emperor Star to support our tribe. Friends. Aren't the people of the tribe hoping to form an alliance with us? Although, Huaxia will not consider forming an alliance with them for the time being. But I can also use my friend's identity. Go help them. Hearing the owner's decision, Adai also deeply admires it. I don't know where I learned an idiom. The master truly understands righteousness and righteousness. Gao Peng nodded arrogantly. Oh, it's just average, isn't it? This is a wangting canopy with a willow waist on the ridge of the ground. Infected by unknown laws, so I was promoted to the holy level. Wisdom is completely annihilated. Only the instinct to kill remains, Gao Peng realized. Originally, it was just an early saint-level monster of ordinary quality. No wonder Dumb is so relaxed, and he was brought under control. The level difference between the two is not significant. But in terms of quality, Adai is two ahead, five levels higher than him. Although his blood poison field can have a corrosive effect, but Adai's quality is too high. Therefore, the breath of death within the body, more precise than his field. This leads to no room for resistance at all. Then he remembered a foodie. This should be the weakest holy level chicken I've ever seen. I suspect even a level 77 boss can crush him. Then Gao Peng happily snapped his fingers, summoned the black baby out. Anyway, it's also a holy level monster. Can you quickly give me a plan to make the most of it? The black child held onto the roots of the old tree and watched for a while. Ask if you have always wanted to improve your plant. Is it a fine jade beast? There is a ready-made method now. 
Gao Peng Yael, is there no image in hell? Heiwa shook her head. No, it's not. Your infernal invisibility technique is already at the holy level. Why do we need a monster of the same level? My method? It's also something I've seen others do before. The prerequisite is that the quality must be better than the one serving as the grafting party, at least two levels higher, and they all need to be plant monsters. Speaking of which, the voice of Heiwa gradually decreased, approached Gao Peng's ear. Let me tell you, just listen and nod, Gao Peng. Not long after, Gao Peng was another snap of his finger, summoned up the uglier and more evolved little grass. Wait, don't be nervous. Play well. Then he grinned at the chubby sea again. Panger, give a smile. Expose your big golden teeth. Even Pang De Hai dare not neglect. I vomited the teeth that devoured the sea emperor, and then swing it on it. Signal him to go over. After hearing the command, the sea emperor devours the branches. Immediately face the semi-dead magic willow on the ground. Take a bite. Then Gao Peng placed the small grass on the magic willow. On the bitten wound, rhizomes of the grass quickly enter from the wound as a prefecture-level plant monster. Although the ability of the grass does not have many extended characteristics, but this can also be considered the instinct of plant monsters, right? Heiwa once said, grafting also has a certain chance of failure. After failure, one will suffer backlash. After all, the path of evolution. There is no such thing as a 100% success rate. Any method has a chance of accidents occurring. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many legends and myths. We can only let a die weaken his face as much as possible. Make it impossible for him to resist the grass. Let's increase the success rate a bit. At this moment, Gao Peng curiously asked after the end of evolution. What level can Xiao Kao evolve to? But Heiwa herself doesn't know either. But guess what? At least it will evolve from the early stage of the prefecture level to the later stage. The communication request sent by Xu Qingzhi at this time. Xiao Dong, the White Dragon Tribe, replied with a message. They agreed to your request to act personal capacity. The Huaxia tribe does not need to participate in the war. Gao Peng nodded and hung up the call. Although, Mofo from the Presbyterian Church has suffered a great loss from me. But after all, it can be considered torn off. So now both sides are not torn apart. Of course, the most important thing is that he lost. If we win, I'm afraid it's just another story. Speaking of which, the brain flower has always stayed in the center of the earth. It should be all taken away, right? Should arrange some new tasks. Later, Gao Peng found A Dai. Why don't you go to the center of the earth? Give this thing to the growing brain. Don't actively participate in the war. Your task is to help those dead souls. Upgraded beyond multiple leaders. By the way, could you please help my good friend? Here it is. Here it is. After the restriction on Earth Star is lifted. A large number of alien invasions. The current Yujo base is already in a state of disrepair. There is not a single piece in sight that is complete. Like the end of the world. At this moment, all an imposing person, the figure of appeared on the shattered ground. He looked up into the sky, discovering that both the sun and moon have disappeared, now shining on earth. It's the light that seeps through the cracks in space from nine days and ten places. The owner must not like it very much, right? Then Adai flew to the bank of the Yangtze River and shouted out loud, Master Brainflower asked me to come find you. Just finished speaking, the originally calm river suddenly tumbled, and then keep bubbling and gurgling. Soon the river slowly rises. Consolidate a pure humanoid silhouette composed of water. Stupid guy, aren't you practicing in the black mist world? Does the master have any instructions? I saw Adai directly turning on the phonograph. Throw it into the hands of the growing brain. Got it. This is what the owner asked me to give you. You should know how to use it. I have something else to do, so I'll leave first. The two jade beasts did not communicate much. Simply say it and disappear directly from view. At this moment, the growing brains to daydream. This shouldn't be calling me to the black mist world, right? Then he pressed the play button. Suddenly, Gao Peng's voice came from inside. I know you've been working hard lately. All the other imperial beasts are following me. Only you have been left in the center of the earth. Because your abilities have a significant impact. In the short term, you will still be left in the center of the earth. I hope you don't get angry. Hearing these words, the growing brain is actually ecstatic in its heart. Didn't you ask me to go back? The phonograph continues to broadcast. Believe it for such a long time. Have you completed capturing the Yangtze River? This is a good start. The next step is a more arduous and important task. It's about capturing the Pacific Ocean. This task does not require you to complete it now. You can take your time. Or you can consider it after you advance to the winning level. The growing brain immediately breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, it can still stay in the center of the earth. 
If we go back to Gao Peng's side, I can only live a life of hardship. Look at that idiot. They are all number one. You're a thug. Or can we only go out and explore during holidays and festivals? Always follow Gao Peng's side at other times. What day is this? At this moment, a facial fish monster pokes its head out of the water, continuously calling his father to the growing brain. Seeing him so cute, the growing brain couldn't help but touch his head. Tell me what made you so anxious, the facial fish monster said. Dad, dad, there is a group of monsters chasing after some humans ahead. The growing brain thinks about humans. Gao Peng is human. I cannot follow my master's side. Over time, it's inevitable to be forgotten. Why don't you go save it? You can also brush the presents on Gao Peng's side. Ask him to send me more treasures. Then he issued an order. All the monsters living in the Yangtze River. They are already my godson. The invincible days have been boring for a long time. It's also good to have some fun, by the way. Be good and lead the way. The center of the earth has finally lifted its restrictions. A large number of aliens. Humans have been attacked by a large number of tree demons. Due to level differences, can only be slaughtered unilaterally. At this moment, a water giant condensed from the river water, appearing in front of me, and wait for the demons. I am the immeasurable and supreme Yangtze River water god, Shen Cheng Ye, unexpectedly harming innocent people in broad daylight. Eating Laozi is a difference. The voice fell. The majestic waves directly submerged the groups of tree demons. They didn't have time to dodge at all. Directly caught up in the surging waves, and he lost his mobility. At this point, the growth brain points to those tree demons who are seven pregnant and eight vegetarian. Instructions have been issued. My children, go ahead. However, in their own field, these tree demons are not even opponents. A group of dry ducks on land, instantly becoming a dish of aquatic beasts. At this moment, a middle-aged man was somewhat shocked. I remember there wasn't a water god in history. The water god named Shen Chang. The grin is very speechless. I randomly assigned a name. I actually believe it. Water God is also good. Give a hint. Let them have a collective logical consistency. After speaking, then he launched a circle of spiritual power towards everyone. Apply a layer of mind-inducing effect. It's not very obvious either. Seeing everything processed, the growing brain no longer yearns for this place. Tell the children that it's time for us to go back. After the Water God dispersed, those fierce beasts in the water also retreated together. And the Yangtze River has also returned to normal at this moment. Just leave that group of people frozen in place. At this moment, the middle-aged man's face slightly changed. Is that the water god just now? The young woman shook her head in confusion. But he has no ill intentions towards us. He also saved our lives. This is a yellow-haired boy disdainfully saying, You are a woman's person. He saved us. I don't know what kind of personality you're carrying. The young woman is a bit annoyed that you don't have eyes. Just now, those waves only swept away the tree demon. We haven't even seen a drop of water. Someone else saved you. You still have to doubt him. If I had known, I would have let you be eaten by monsters. It's better to turn into feces. As soon as this sentence is spoken, that yellow-haired boy is so angry that he can't speak. The middle-aged man on the side interrupted them. Okay, okay. Now it's just a temporary relief from the crisis. Making conflicts is not beneficial for us, although it is unclear what the origin of this water god is. But ultimately, he saved us. So if there's a chance in the future, let's repay the kindness again. A slightly injured uncle nodded. I remember stories of gods and legends. Ordinary people are meant to offer them sacrifices. How about it? We also prepare some fat pigs, live cows, and other things. That's it the next day by the river. There's no reason why there's an extra incense burner here. There are still three incense sticks inserted inside. At this point, several strong men carrying a roasted fat cow. Come in. From now on, we will all worship the water god. At this moment, a team member inquired. Captain, this is a top-notch cow. Will it not be enough? The middle-aged man sighed. Why don't you take a look at the environment first? It would be great if we could get a cow. But after about half an hour of this sacrifice, the banks of the Yangtze River remain as calm as ever. The middle-aged man began to suspect. Does the water god also feel that these tribute items are not enough? But just as he was pondering, a huge palm condensed from river water suddenly stretched out. He was originally a... Seized the brain gate of the Taklamakan Desert. Now they have taken over the Yangtze River again, becoming the revered water god Shen Chang. People have placed an incense burner by the Yangtze River and insert three incense sticks for worship. Soon the river's surface suddenly broke down. A huge figure condensed from water, crawled out of the river water. Also at this moment, 
A cruise ship happened to pass by. People on board the ship. I also saw this extremely shocking scene. Sailor shouted for the captain. You see, the captain immediately froze. What the hell is this sleeping trough? Oh my goodness. Why is the Earth's center becoming increasingly terrifying year by year now? Let's quickly transport this batch of supplies back to the Black Mist world. The water pointed to the riverbank and said, Captain, the people on the shore seem to be kneeling before that water giant. The captain quickly took out his phone. This is also a rare thing. Quickly capture the footage. And on the other side, Gao Peng, who was having a barbecue, saw this scene. Yangtze River Water God. What exactly is Shen Chang's brain teaser up to? Xiao Huang, who was eating grilled fish at the moment, said, I'm sorry. Brain Flower, this guy actually claims to be the Yangtze River Water God. He also said that he blessed a group of people for over 1,700 years. It's really stinky and shameless. This kind of good thing should be given to me. Yao Yan can't resist roast. You look like a bald duck. Even if we go to pretend to be gods, you also need someone else to be willing to believe it. Shouts are exposed in public. Loudly refute nonsense. How could you slander me so much? Xiao Yan stopped her drink in her mouth. Coldly speaking, do I slander you? No, little bald man. When do you dare to speak to me so loudly? At this moment, Xiao Yan's image suddenly became tall and imposing. Scared, Xiao Huang shuddered. At this point, Pang Dehai, who was eating skewers, casually said that in fact, he wants to take the path of becoming a god through faith. Gao Peng is very curious about you opening up and talking about it. Pang Dehai continues to explain. Believing in becoming a god is a bit faster than the path of other gods, but there are also many drawbacks. There needs to be a large group of believers, and as a god, weak combat effectiveness. It can be said that he is the weakest god. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng's sinister smile suddenly appeared. Pang Dehai gave me a wake-up call. Why are you looking at me like this? You must be laughing disgustingly. Gao Peng glanced at him with his spare light. Serious. Just a little surprised. The deity who originally believed in becoming a god had the weakest strength. I always thought the weakest god was before the words fall. Pang Dehai realized that he had been offended. Immediately flew into a rage and stopped talking. I'll tell you these things later. I am a dog. It's just a chubby dog. Gao Peng told the pre-sales that if he could become a god, it also benefits us. The focus of our form next is to cooperate with the brain flower. Make his path of faith easier. If anyone has any ideas, welcome to speak enthusiastically. At this moment, Zhao Kai suddenly asked what you were saying. What is becoming a god through faith? It sounds quite impressive to me. But in society, my brother Huang gave him a hard blow, little brother. What's wrong with you? Why are you so lacking in ambition? Believing in becoming a god is something that sounds like trash. You're actually interested. This mouse wants to believe in becoming a god. But I was hit hard by my brother Huang in society, also scolding him for lacking ambition. Zhao Kai's face is full of grievances. Helplessly speaking, I feel that faith. Becoming a god is also quite good. But Xiao Huang retorted, what a mess. After I become a god, just go kill two guys who have become gods of faith. After finishing, Xiao Yan on the side couldn't bear to watch anymore. Bald man. Do you believe it or not? What are you doing to scare people into getting rich? He often gives me food to eat. It's a good mouse. You must not bully him. This foul breath. Even if there is a fortune, I know it. Sure enough, I didn't make any mistakes. Daringly, despite being beaten up, Xiao Huang still has a lot of smiles on her face. Okay, 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 I won't say anything more. Xiao Yan, please don't touch the fetal gas. As soon as this sentence is spoken, a group of jade beasts, including Gao Peng, all eyes fell on Xiao Yan's belly. In Gao Peng's mind, suddenly many strange ideas appeared. Ducks and bird descendants. It should be egg-laying, right? I'm going to be a grandfather now. A group of people glared fiercely at Xiao Yan, seeing him burning all over. I am not pregnant. I just gained weight recently. Quickly, he couldn't pretend anymore. Suddenly, a blazing flame erupted from the mouth. Cover and wrap, little yellow. Even up to several hundred meters high. Xiao Huang shouted for mercy. Don't burn these hairs. It's very difficult to transform them. Gao Peng only felt a wave of depression in his heart. Misunderstanding? Why isn't there a reliable one? At this moment, Stormwater Magic Pearl suddenly walked over. The most important thing about faith is the degree of gambling. The more believers in the casino, the more... The more beliefs can be provided. Seeing my daughter coming over, Pang Dehai quickly swam up. Daughter, you're here. Stormwater Magic Bead immediately responded to the old thing. Get out of here. And then he said to Gao Peng, this is a great way to play. 
Give me another ton to send to my nest. Gao Peng is now lost in thought. It seems that we need to do it well once. If we could give it to the... Create an organization similar to a church. This requires the help of the forces above. Later, Gao Peng approached his grandfather to discuss. He shared his thoughts with his grandfather. Listen to Han Wu Biao. I have also heard a little about this. Once in the ruins. I have heard some things about faith becoming a god. For people in our Huaxia district, finding spiritual support is still possible. But it's difficult to become a casino believer. However, Gao Peng drew inferences from other cases. So, on the other hand, becoming a criminal believer is much simpler. Ji Han Wu nodded yes. If we could collaborate with the official kitchen god, it would be even more convenient. You can leave this matter to me. Just recently, the Chinese government invited me to cooperate. I'll talk to them about the conditions. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng's heart is filled with joy. When the tea is about to be consumed in one gulp, then there will be extra merit and fame. But these teas are too bitter. Make Gao Peng shiver uncontrollably. Ji Han Wu chuckled. Sent by the little sparrow a while ago. What are the tea trees produced by the volcano? The taste is good. Maybe it's a bit hard for you, young people. Gao Peng returned to the main matter, Grandpa. Actually, this time I'm here, mainly to discuss the matter of the growth brain. Then we have to go out again. I found a suitable location. Can train those dragons? Han Wu nodded and went ahead. Actually, I don't have to worry about your current strength, but I can't help but remind you to be careful with everything. Gao Peng picked up his clothes and walked towards the door, so rest assured. Grandpa, I understand. The screen switches to a remote mountain range in the Black Mist world. On a snowy mountain covered in white snow, a group of little dragons are already fighting hard. Gao Peng's mouth slightly raised, and that's where it is now. The next step is to elevate your time. Because of the mistake in the white polar day pupil of the second child, causing Da Wa to almost be bitten alive by a snow demon lion. Turns out it was just a while ago. Gao Peng brought his seven dragon chairs to the snow mountain for training. Da Wa comes forward to attack. Suppress this snow demon lion. The baby who gnawed on dragon blood has a rough appearance has undergone significant changes. He nodded to indicate understanding. And then, directly collided with the snow demon lion, whose body size was almost the same. And the other dragon chairs watching the battle on the side, shouting and cheering one after another. Big Brother is really amazing. Hate him to death, but gradually, Dawa is a bit panicked. Don't chatter, you guys. Come and help me quickly. The strength of this big lion is immense. I can't hold it down by myself anymore. At this time, the smaller powerful Kong, three children rushed from behind. Big brother, don't panic. Third brother, come too. Seeing him rampage and rampage, Dawa is even more panicked. Wait, don't. But before the words fall, I saw that silly three children. Surprisingly, he hit the big kid's butt directly, instantly knocked the baby and the blood demon lion away together. What's going on, big brother? You been. Quickly, two large figures fell from the air to the ground, trembling fiercely. The broken snowstorm sword is crossing the blood demon lion. Cry out at this moment. Dawa's passive bloody rampage was punished. He gets more and more seriously injured. The stronger the strength and healing speed, the stronger. Stinky third, I'll come back and settle the accounts with you later. Then the big baby pounced on the nearby snow demon lion, used two front claws to tightly hook into his fur. A large amount of blood spurted uncontrollably. The unbearable pain made the snow demon lion even more irritable. I saw the purple light in his eyes becoming increasingly intense. Under the pain of eating, macrostomy closure bited the baby's neck directly. The hard armor is gradually breaking at this moment, and there were constant sounds of cracking and cracking. Gao Peng frowned. Even if passive forces are triggered, still unable to compete with Snow Demon Master, Erwa uses the white extreme curse light. Be careful not to harm the eldest child. Receiving instructions from Gao Peng, Erwa's eyes began to condense a white energy. The two large eyeballs are becoming increasingly bright. In the next moment, two white lasers burst out of the air, instantly pierced through the fur of the snow wizard. But these two locations are not lethal either. On the contrary, it made Snow Demon even more violent. The baby was in pain and screamed loudly. Second, do you have time to go see an ophthalmologist? Shooting the head, it hurts, it hurts. The lion bit even harder. At this moment, a gentle breeze suddenly brushed past. Wuwa Reverse Sky Dragon has quietly appeared behind the Snow Demon Master. I only saw his two slender amputations, as precise as a surgical knife, instantly severed the spinal nerve area of the Snow Wizard. The Snow Demon also released the saw blade at this moment. A mouthful of old blood spurted out on the spot. The expression in the eyes quickly dissipated. 
The tormented baby fell weakly on the snow. The second and third children stepped forward at the same time. Big brother, are you okay? Don't die. Dawa struggled to get up. There are still a few deep tooth marks left at the neck stem. His consciousness is a bit blurry. It's okay, it's okay. I'm still alive. This is a dragon that swallows the soul. The transformed dragon ant simultaneously awakened and mutated some of the abilities of the soul dragon. Monster name, star, ant, bald, seven babies. Monster level 72. Territorial monster quality, epic quality, Gao Peng said with a reproachful tone. Although you're half siblings, but Chihua, your spiritual connection coordination is really not good. The tacit understanding still needs to be strengthened, but this feeling is quite nostalgic. At that time, Adai, Xiao Huang, and Da Zi were also like this. Adai is too serious. Da Zi always looks like a fool, and Xiao Huang is just too impulsive. Recalling these training memories from many years ago, Gao Peng couldn't help but smile slightly. As one grows older, the smile on his face is gradually decreasing. Let's go and find the next target. Meanwhile, at the ears of Nantian in the City of Hope, Ji Han Wu said to the Copper Bell, I have already understood the events of the first season. If it can be opened soon, this is really an opportunity. Red Ling asked, Will you send someone to come with you? Ji Han Wu doesn't know what to do. Well, if Xiao Tong can, come back before your departure. I'll give you a reply again. Jungle nodded helplessly. Okay, could you please help me with that? After speaking, he turned around and left. Ji Han Wu stands in place. After confirming that he has left, immediately initiated a communication with his grandson. Gao Peng was somewhat surprised by his grandfather. Do you have an urgent matter to contact me? Ji Han Wu asked Xiao Peng. How is the situation on your end? Gao Peng sighed. I have already hunted down many high-level monsters. He excitedly replied that everything was going smoothly. What's wrong, Grandpa? Ji Han Wu said. Do you remember the season I mentioned to you before? It is said that it will be open soon. The tribe plans to organize a team to conduct a survey. You going? After hearing this, Gao Peng nodded and of course he wanted to go. After obtaining a definite answer, Ji Han Wu said yes. Then I'll help you relay it to Sang Tong, the little girl from the tribe. After hanging up communication, Gao Peng suddenly remembered that Pang Da Hai had once said, This kind of relic is likely the place where the deity fell or the backyard of the gods. So, so, there is a high probability of discovering artifacts or other good things. I hope we can get something good this time. Screen rotation. In the sky above Polo's sleepless head, a chaotic flow full of destruction. The ferocious spatial cracks howl, lightning interweaving. A storm sweeps through the world. Gao Peng looked around for a while. I thought to myself, this pineapple is too tragic. The ruins are actually relatively safe here. At this moment, a member of the Qingshen tribe walked out. I am Qingyun Mail from the Qingshen tribe. The quasi-god is the imperial censor. I will lead the team in this archaeological exploration. Attention everyone, don't scatter. For the word quasi-god, Gao Peng was also surprised in his heart. Surprisingly, the quasi-god, the imperial censor, was specifically appointed to lead the team. It seems that the tribe is exploring the secret realm this time. It's also not given enough attention. At this moment, Intermittent roars came from behind the spatial crack. The sound is like a flood bell, full of vitality. I saw a Ching Yun man. His face suddenly turned bad. There is a destructive beast wandering nearby. A massive destructive beast, wandering in the gaps of space. Quasi-divine impatience. Make Ching Yun man immediately issue a warning that this is a destructive beast. Everyone don't move. Quietly wait for him to leave. However, some tribe members who have never seen the world before Curiously asked, what is the destruction monster? Ching Yun explained that, destruction monster. It is a large category of monsters living in the cracks of space. Because they cannot come into contact with the air, can only wander with the of the plane. And because the environment inside the space gap is extremely harsh, void storm. Chaos, turbulence, lightning, death, floods, and so on. How much does it take? So it can be imagined that, monsters that survive in this environment, they are all headache-inducing and tricky items. After a while, the massive body with red scales disappeared before my eyes. It seems like he just happened to pass by. At this moment, the people of a large tribe couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Because of these destructive beasts, the weakest can also reach the holy level. Ching Yun Man continues to walk towards the secret realm. He raised his hand and waved it, signal to let the people behind follow. Don't delay it anymore. Not long ago, everyone smoothly arrived outside the secret realm. Ching Yan looked at the distant mounds covered with plants in the distance. 
Speaking of which, this should have been a floating island. Declined due to certain reasons. Gao Peng approached and asked if this was the secret realm, right? Chen raised his hand and pointed forward. No. The entrance to the secret realm is right inside the crashed floating island. Then he turned back and said to the crowd, Ladies and gentlemen, although it is a falling floating island, but for safety reasons, let's not rely on pre-sales to fly up because no one can say that the law of floating in the air completely disappears. Still distorted. Additionally, the secret realm does not allow the presence of quasi-gods or above. So I won't accompany you in a while. If there is any gain inside, it's all yours. No need to tell others. Of course, you don't have to tell me either. If I can't control my desires, that would be troublesome. As soon as this sentence is spoken, causing young governors from various tribes to burst into laughter, Mr. Nan is really good at joking. Within the tribe, who doesn't know that Lord Nan is the most just? After these compliments are finished, the young governors of various tribes also began to set out. Go to the secret script. They didn't say a word. Climbing directly onto the vines on the floating island, Gao Peng did stand in place and look up, thinking to the people of this tribe, I don't want to explore the surrounding environment either. Just climb up directly. It's really strange. Just as he was pondering, suddenly a familiar woman's voice came from behind. Gao Gao Peng. Gao Peng turned around and responded that it was you. Tong Ling hasn't seen you for a long time. Tong Ling whispered to Gao Peng. I heard some news about you at the tribal council. I know you are very capable now, so let's work together. This time in the secret realm. Can you help me pick up an item? Gao Peng was very surprised. He asked the other party a question in reverse. It's not impossible for me to cooperate with you, but give me a reason why I can't refuse you. Tong Ling quickly explained that I can give you a copy. Map. It was explored and summarized by the ancestors of our tribe in the past. Truly precious resources. Either non-renewable, either the regeneration time is very long. With a map, you don't have any more risks. Go to these low-value places. The first time a man enters a secret realm, I discovered that people from these ancient tribes, not exploring the environment. Surprisingly, he climbed up directly. Coincidentally, at this moment, Tongling wanted to make a deal with him. Just need him to take out one item. Then he touched his hands on the map that his ancestors had searched and summarized. Gao Peng only found out about Yuan at this moment. There is such an existence as a secret realm map. The strength of the Sang Tong tribe is not particularly strong. If they also have a map, not to mention other stronger tribes. To ponder for a moment, Gao Peng turned around and left. Okay, I promise you. Copperbell quickly answered the conversation. Thank you. Then I'll give you the map now. But Gao Peng turned around and laughed mischievously. No need. I have a plan. We will need your cooperation later. Screen rotation. At the entrance of the secret realm. The interruption of Copper Bell struggling to climb the island. He was the last one to enter the realm. Just after he climbed up. But suddenly came Gao Peng's voice. Oh my. Another one. Actually, the two of them are acting. The order of entry in sequence. It was also intentionally arranged by Gao Peng. At this moment, Gao Peng insincerely said that you came just in time. Someone happened to come and help me testify. At this point, several men standing opposite are gritting their teeth. Gao Peng continued to sneer and said, I just, I just want to travel with these friends. Borrow something. But not only did they not agree, and everyone showed an unhappy expression. Ah, uh, at this moment, a man couldn't help but scold and curse. Want the map in our hands? Young people, Mr. Ching Yun is still outside and hasn't left yet. Your behavior is not very good, right? The copper bell on the side frowned slightly. I thought to myself that everything was as expected by Gao Peng. I just keep pretending to be surprised and getting better, Gao Peng said disdainfully. Your speech is really unpleasant to listen to. What is robbery? I said it, but I just borrowed it to take a look. I'll return it to you after reading it. In the consciousness of men, this is clearly a blatant robbery. Then a wave of blue hair flashed through his hand. Stinky kid speaks wildly. Give him a lesson? Fluorescent thunder accompanied the sound of his palm waving. A strong monster resembling a dragon and a lizard emerged from the sky. There were also bursts of electric arcs on his body. That person didn't even leave a trace. Emotion directly drives one's own jade beast. Shoot the arc towards Gao Peng. K.E. Gao Peng had already anticipated it. He's just waiting for the other party to take the initiative to start a battle. Then he spat out two big characters in his mouth. The voice fell. Another more intense lightning power. Coming straight from here. Intense collision with the silver arc. At this moment, Dazi opened 19 pairs of wings behind her. 
In an instant, lightning was rampant. The howling wind. Like a demon descending, Gao Peng shook his hand. Everyone has seen it, right? It was his hand that burst. Then Dazi used her two claws, condensed a thunderous explosion in front of him. The explosion roared like a bomber. Then the lightning arc twisted and slashed onto the land, leaving a long ravine. All the vegetation along the way was instantly torn apart into ashes. The man gritted his teeth and kept retreating. Such a powerful force. Everyone just keep an eye on it. After getting up together, everyone responded one after another. Good words fall behind. In front of Dazi, suddenly a strong and lustful beast aura appeared. Gao Peng gave a faint smile. Oh, yo, is the formation quite large? We have another helper here. Here it is, here it is. Gao Peng and the holy censor of a major tribe again. A conflict has occurred. The other party doesn't even talk about martial arts. Holy level imperial censor who will also travel together. Call everyone over to assist. Gao Peng stared at the overbearing roommate who came to assist in the battle. Although my thoughts are of epic quality, but only level 83, even a slight level is not enough to be considered. Causing a strong wind to the mythical beast in Chinese mythology. Its features are quite good. Gale level 84, holy level. The current quality is epic quality. A ferocious juvenile bird in mythological legends. Its volume is large. Flapping one's wings can lift the wind. Like a dog in appearance. Laugh in front of others. Its shape is like the wind. Its line is a sign of a major wind disaster. Gao Peng reluctantly shook his hand. Okay, do you have any more? If there's anything else, let's come together. To avoid losing later. Words that are both unwilling and unwilling. As soon as he appeared, he immediately provoked the holy censors of various tribes. To curse profusely, the illegitimate son is arrogant. The voice fell. That person quickly transformed into a stream of light, dripped into the body of the strong wind. Integrate with it. Then the big bee spread its wings. Continuously fanning, black lights shot out rapidly from the airflow. Its volume exploded crazily after. But the purple sky is gradually being devoured and nibbled by black light. It just dimmed in an instant. Gao Peng secretly reached out his hand but couldn't see his five fingers. Is this the characteristic of covering the sky mentioned in the description? Very interesting. Dazi, let's get together first. Then Gao Peng's mind moved. Activate historical skill links. He suddenly turned into a stream of light. It disappeared into the eldest son's body. Gao Peng wants the eldest son to use the weak arc, creating light. But soon it was discovered that this kind of darkness should have been formed by wiping out the light. Even the eldest son's thunder has little effect. Don't wait for him to think more. Dazi's wings suddenly suffered an inexplicable attack. Leave a claw mark on it, and there's a burning pain coming from it. Soon. The voice of the imperial censor came again in the darkness. This is just a warning. For the sake of accuracy behind your back. If you leave the secret realm, I'll spare your dog's life. Gao Peng chuckled. The simplest, brutal way is to summon a fool. With his powerful soul power, accurate positioning of strong winds. But okay, there's something I've been wanting to try in real combat for a long time. Now is the opportunity. Erwa, come out and have some fun. With a wave of Gao Peng's finger, Erwa immediately appeared. On Dazi's back, six claws tightly held onto his shell. At this moment, Gao Peng silently recited the triple sensory sharing in his heart. This is the ability of a holy sensor. Can share the senses of a certain royal beast including visual, auditory, taste, sixth sense, and so on. With the ability of the white urgent curse of the second child's pupils, Dazike, to clearly see the outline of the strong wind in the darkness. However, Gao Peng did not allow Dazi to directly attack. He wants to collect more practical experience, intentionally making Dazi pretend not to be able to see. However, Dazi is already an old actor. He quickly glanced left and right, put on a very anxious expression. Oh, I can't see anything. This is a divine beast from Chinese mythology. Laugh at people in the strong wind. Riding like the wind. Riding a line is a sign of a major wind disaster. And its characteristics overshadow the sky. Being able to spread their wings. Block all the surrounding light. Let the enemy lose themselves in the darkness. Unfortunately, he is facing the male lead running high this time. Gao Peng summons two children and use triple sensory sharing. Let Dazi utilize the white and wrinkled pupils of Airway. Gradually break down the darkness in front of you. I also saw clearly the approaching strong wind. I saw Dazi's body quickly bend into a public shape. Perfectly avoided the attack of strong winds. The strong wind was somewhat surprising. Surprisingly avoided it. Is it luck? Watching the other person being played with by oneself. 
Old actor Daisy immediately grinned. Then he took a big, deep breath, the roar of thunder and anger. The eldest son's words fell behind. The wings behind quietly condensed a strong th force, breaking through the void. The majestic power is becoming increasingly powerful. Shoot accurately towards the direction of strong winds. I thought the other party couldn't see my own strong wind. Take a moment off guard. The lightning is so fast that we can only carry it hard. The strong wind roared at the thunderous roar. The power of wind elements in the body is gathering crazily. Fighting thunder. How could there be so much thunderous power inside him? Is he a spider? Two forces of different elements collide with each other. But obviously, the wind element of the strong wind has exceeded its own load. Not long after, he was pierced by the power of thunder throughout his body. Blurred flesh and blood on the body. It's all patches of burnt skin. Gao Peng inside Dazi's body. Freshman disappointment. Why is this dish so delicious? Can't it stop for a moment? If you two still want to resist, can be uploaded together. It's okay right now. The overlord musk bull watching the battle. Glancing at the eight thunder beasts. Without a word, they separated and attacked the eldest son in two separate directions. That bully musk ox emit a strong musk fragrance from the body. Although this musk is a medicine. But if absorbed in excess, it can also lead to poisoning. A hint of excitement flashed in Gao Peng's eyes. Unexpectedly, a cow even started playing with poison. It's so fun now. This musk is paired with the main attacking eight-tailed thunder beast. One careless move could lead to a fall. This tyrannical musk cow looks thick eyebrows and big eyes. He should be an honest person. Surprisingly, it's so insidious. At this moment, Dazi lifted a paw. A strand of lightning power surrounds the entire body. In the next moment, Dazi will descend like a thunder demon. Thunderstorms overflowing from within the body, overwhelming the sky and chopping towards two holy level jade beasts. The thunder rained down densely like rain. They were electrocuted and instantly fainted. Later, Gao Peng came into contact with the link. Handsome land. I thought to myself that although the level of Da Zi is not too high, but in terms of the reserve of elemental power, invincible within the same level, he can persist in the realm of lay hailing without any worries. Dictatorship of various flashy and flashy things. Gao Peng reached out his hand. How about speaking lightly? Now you can lend me the map. My patience is limited. Don't toast. Not eating. Punish alcohol. Just now, the arrogant and extreme desire made my heart tremble. Okay, okay. Don't hurt my jade beast again. Give it to you. I'll give it to you. After Gao Peng obtained the map, turning his gaze to others again, I heard that. Each of you will have some differences in your content. Could you please lend me a look, everyone? There's no way, even if Gao Peng wants a hard wall now, they are also helpless. It's better to be more dignified and take it out. One of them took the initiative to leave. Go, everyone, since people have superior skills. There is also no intention of harming people's lives. If he wants it, lend him a look. We all come here with a mission. There's no need to waste time here. The others gritted their teeth. Can only compromise and compromise. Forget it, I'll admit it. After reading it, let's go quickly. Gao Peng immediately took out the communicator. Don't worry. I said take a look. Just take a glance. I will return it to you soon. After speaking, he crazily took photos on every map. Those people from ancient tribes. I don't even understand these advanced devices. What is that? What is he doing? The man just took out his phone to take a photo. Immediately stunned the people of those ancient tribes. They have never seen such advanced equipment before. At this moment, the copper bell reminded me. That thing is called a phone. I used it when I was in the center of the earth. It is a very convenient tool. Can communicate with others remotely. It can also record images and so on. After taking all the secret realm maps, Gao Peng suddenly had an idea. Do we all know each other? How about this? I would like to introduce a business to you as a gift for our meeting. Our Nan specializes in producing this tool. If you tribal friends need it, our Blue Sky Group. I can help you install base stations for free. With a base station, you can come to us to purchase. I'm using this phone now. Hearing such unfamiliar words, everyone is even more confused. Is this base station for food or for venting? Gao Peng paused for a moment. This thing is very complicated to explain. Anyway, the phone is very useful. But without a base station, it won't work. Of course, we never force buying or selling. The Imperial sensor standing in front is very interested. So is the base station free. Gao Peng nodded, of course. Purchase our phone. I can the final say when installing base stations for free. But for now, exploring the secret realm is still the main focus. Interested friends will arrive. I will send someone to your tribe to communicate later. 
The on-site service is absolutely thoughtful. After speaking, he rode the copper bell onto Dazi's back. Quickly, the two of them entered the secret realm according to the map. At the entrance to the tomb, there was a vast forest filled with birds singing and flowers fragrant. At this point, Copper Bell suddenly spoke up. You said you could give them free equipment for fierce battles. Can your grandfather agree? My grandfather would certainly agree. What's the point of these small coins in the fierce battle? Actually, Gao Peng has other ideas in his heart. When all these tribes use our Chinese web, I'll let you know. What does free mean is the most expensive. What is severe internet addiction? What is cultural invasion? This is Pang Dahai speaking to Gao Peng through his blood gas. Okay, wipe off your lascivious saliva. This may be a secret script for a dragon-type deity. Gao Peng was somewhat surprised. Is it a dragon-type deity? What Dazi wants to impact is the eternal body. There is little possibility of finding the material for the evolution of Dazi here. But could you consider it? Seven little ones only walked for a while. The copper bell pointed ahead and said, Probably the area ahead. Last time my great-grandfather came here? Discovered a water mulberry flower. Interior is still hundreds of years away from maturity. I'm here to pick that flower back. Gao Peng frowned, sent a question. You're not afraid of such a long time. Did other monsters take it and eat it? But Hongling said that when Zheng's grandfather left, kill the monster guarding the water mulberry flower. Two more psychedelic trees were planted as protection. Ordinary monsters should not be detected. But we may not be able to find a location for a while. Just in case. That's why we called Ni to come together. Seeing the other person's tone mixed with apologies, Gao Peng smiled and said, It's okay. I promise to help you. I will help you to the end. A man and a woman walked in the secret realm for three days and three nights. But I couldn't find the location of the water mulberry flower. Quickly, Gao Peng discovered. These two trees seem out of place with the surroundings. It seems like this is where it is now. Hongling asked Gao Peng to wait a moment, then take out a small bottle. There is a strange red little red inside. He decisively opened the bottle. Let that red little bug flying towards the psychedelic fruit tree in front of me. I saw the red bug flying onto the psychedelic fruit, nibbling on the flesh of the fruit. Half an hour later, the psychedelic fruit on the psychedelic fruit tree was eaten. That illusion was also shattered along with it. Soon, a water mulberry flower appeared before the two of them. It seems that there are still a few months left before it matures. But Tong Ling also has a way to directly ripen him. Gao Peng has fun watching it. So it's this kind of division method. Interestingly, Tong Ling nodded. Thank you for accompanying me here for three days of searching. Task completed. Gao Peng waved his hand and left. Don't thank me for being entrusted by someone else. Loyal matters. You also helped me get the map. We're clear now. Walked a distance. Gao Peng takes out his phone. I plan to re-edit the photos I took before. Sort it out. So he simultaneously opened 40 maps. I quickly discovered the mystery behind it. Originally combined, it's a bigger and more complete map. Gao Peng was both surprised and delighted. Immediately snap your finger, summoning the fat sea out. Do you think this is a map of the secret realm? Peng Dahai glanced at him twice, a sudden change in facial expression. Wait, follow the shape drawn on the map. This is a divine realm. Only higher or stronger gods. Only qualified to establish a divine realm. Now it's developed. Gao Peng, however, has a dementia on his face. Isn't the divine mirror referring to the backyard of the gods? Pang Dahai quickly explained. Our current location is in the backyard, but there's nothing good either. It's just flowers and plants for such a long time. I've been gnawed by monsters for a long time in the divine realm except for the backyard. And there are also the residences and treasure rooms of the gods. That's where there are good things. Let's go, let's go. Go to the treasure trove now. Gao Peng always feels something is wrong. Looking at the map, it will take at least ten days to go to the next entrance. I'm not sure if it's a treasure trove yet. No wonder. The tribe has not delved into the secret realm in recent years. Now it seems that it's still because the difficulty is too high. Maybe this god has been falling for a long time. The treasure was also looted by the enemy, and the secret realm also restricts monsters above the holy level. If we encounter a stronger enemy, the map is so big, it has been delayed for three days. I don't know if we can get the treasure within a month. Seeing Gao Peng daydreaming there, Peng Dahai is very unhappy. What are you considering? With me as the god, you lead the way. What are you still afraid of? Hurry up, I'll take you a shortcut. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng quickly hooked his shoulders and backs to Peng Dahai. Speaking of which, being chubby is best for me. Three days later, Peng Dahai led Gao Peng to the boundary of the secret realm. 
a crystal wall of unknown height in front of me. Occupy the entire line of sight. After confirming that this is the divine realm, Pang Dahai is about to be devoured by the sea emperor on the cliff. Summoned out, then the pitch black bray lighted directly with the crystal wall. The indestructible walls in the eyes of the world are crumbling at this moment. Gao Peng stared at this half-meter diameter dog hole. I couldn't help but fall into contemplation. This scene seems to have happened somewhere before. Maybe it's not like drilling a dog hole. Pang Dahai gave me a suggestion, so please put me away first. Call me out after you go over there. Just finished speaking. Gao Peng directly integrates with Pang Dahai. Pang Dahai was momentarily stunned by the hexagram. Gao Peng children, you are extremely shameless. Gao Peng inside his body quickly urged him to speak less nonsense. Quickly drill a dog hole. Pang Dahai didn't hesitate either. I went straight in. Gao Peng waiter, we will calculate this account later. After passing through the crystal wall, inside was actually a scorching lava. Gao Peng was very surprised. This is definitely not hiding. The gemstone doesn't look like it either. Pang Da also stated that the structure of the divine mirror is similar to a honeycomb. Each room has an environment. I can take you through different walls. No need to walk slowly. So fast. Then he shuttled between the hot lava. The heat waves are rolling inside. The air is twisted under this terrifying high temperature. At this point, Gao Peng's gaze is focused on the magma inside the volcano. What is this place? Fire Dragon Heart Crystal. Can be used to forge items, also for monsters in the Tu Huo Duel series. Has an extremely obvious enhancement effect. Gao Peng suddenly thought of something. Is this room a volcanic pile? I feel very suitable for Aban. Thinking of this, Gao Peng immediately summoned Aban out. Aban's huge body fell to the ground. Excitedly speaking, Gao Peng, Gao Peng, you finally think of me. At this moment, a giant hand condensed from magma just stretched out. Coincidentally, it was crushed by Aban on the spot. Here it is, here it is. Aban, who had not appeared in a long time, was summoned out. Still big mouth, big mouth, devouring the golden red crystals in magma. But Gao Peng discovered that a large number of flame giants inexplicably gathered around. Pang Dahai explained, you go take a look at Aban's butt. I knew that Gao Peng shared the story of Pang Dahai. Originally, Aban unintentionally pressed down on their leader. Those flame giants are trying to avenge their leader. Monster name flame giant leader. Monster state seriously injured. However, this also cannot let these brainless hot stones. Excuse me, Aban. The ocean. I saw Pang Dahai take out the endless cycle maze from his arms. It's really a matter of skill and effort. When you bring food to my daughter later, you need to say something nice for me. After speaking, throw it onto the ground. After a dazzling burst of light shot out, a giant maze composed of boulders and magma. Rise from the ground! Scared these intellectually disabled flame giants. They all fled in chaos, once again sinking into the scorching magma. At this moment, Gao Peng, who was inside Pang Dahai's body, asked Aban, How do you need to digest these crystals? Aban replied that he could eat it all in just three months. Pang Dahai shook his head secretly. I think waiting here for three months is definitely not enough. The top priority is to explore more nerves. So Gao Peng came up with a solution. Let Aban drink all this magma in, pack and take away. Slowly digest it later. This divine realm is even larger than imagined. Some spaces are filled with peaks composed of minerals. There is also a top inserted above it, a divine weapon with many small gaps. Pang Dahai crossed the mountain peak and also passed through the vast ocean composed of suspended heavy water. Traveled for a week. Finally arrived at a place. It looks like a space in a treasure trove. The hall drums are heavy and heavy, engraved with exquisite patterns. In the center of the stone gate, and even carved a dragon-shaped monster. Gao Peng didn't rush in, but instead I looked around. These reliefs should be records of some kind of story, right? Pang Dahai blinked his eyes. There is a hint of nostalgia. This is the epic of God. The records above are all the great achievements of the gods, including how the gods rose to fame. If you look carefully twice, you can determine what kind of deity this is, then infer what spoils of war are in his treasure. Gao Peng said lightly, so, what do you mean? From our far left to our far right, have you watched it twice? This supergiant wall is comparable to an epic relic. I can't see the end from left to right. The height is also over a thousand kilometers. I can't finish watching it in two months. Why don't we just leave you behind and slowly see through? Upon hearing this, Pang Dahai's originally excited expression suddenly sank. Summon your little mouse quickly. His ability to search for treasures is comparable to ours. I need to be more professional. 
Gao Peng suddenly became speechless. I gave him a glance to let him understand for himself. What kind of secret script is it? Only then can the heart of attracting wealth almost jump out. Just now, Pang Dahai with Gao Peng come to a place, inflicting that looks like a treasure trove. Due to this giant building, I can't see the end from left to right. So Gao Peng snapped his finger, summoned the summoning of wealth from the space. However, Zhao Kai has only just emerged. The tail couldn't wait to stand up. Seems to have sensed something. Then his heart was pounding uncontrollably. I'm so touched. Master, how did you find such a good place? Oh my goodness. His heart was racing forward desperately. Zhao Kai's two hind legs are covered like wind and fire wheels, running completely carried by the heart. Watching Gao Peng and Pang Dahai fall into silence together. After a moment, Pang Dahai breaks the awkwardness first. Hey, 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 it seems that we will gain a lot this time. Gao Peng immediately summoned Dazi, then grab onto Pang Dahai's body. What are you waiting for? Fatty, let's go. At this moment, Zhao Kai seems to have taken expired aphrodisiacs, ignored all the surrounding rooms, running at high speed on the wide corridor. He was running and shouting he couldn't do it anymore. No, I'm going to die. I'm dying. Hurry up and find a little baby to relieve the pressure first. The voice fell. Suddenly, a flash of spiritual light flashed by. That feels like a rare treasure. Then he turned around quickly, jumping up in the spacious corridor, rotating in the air three and a half times, rushed towards a certain room. Soon, the door of the room was kicked open by Kai Kai. Ruki turned out to be a little elf with a face full of flesh and blood. He still has a pair of small horns on his head. Seems to be having a delicious lunch, but interrupted by an unexpected guest. Gao Peng followed closely and entered the room. At first glance, it was in the hands of that little elf. Fruit attraction. The fruit is as big as a fist. It's a bit like dragon fruit, but it's covered in light red scales. Material name, true dragon fruit. Gao Peng was instantly stunned. Surprisingly, there is still a pot of real dragon fruit. When can this thing also be counted in a basin? This quantity is even more than the hidden gemstones of dragon tribe. Gao Peng frequented in surprise. Completely unaware, the little elf with horns is already furious. The muscles on the body become swollen in an instant. An extremely terrifying aura overflows from within oneself. It looks like a rampaging demon king. Gao Peng's face darkened. Oh, why is there still a little elf here? Dazi even turned the head side, looking at that small pile of meat. Fell into silence. The little elf with shattered muscles walked slowly towards the crowd. The surrounding void is constantly twisting. The momentum has also become increasingly terrifying. How dare you disturb the great dragon elf king? Lord Seymour's sleep. All of you will not be able to handle it well. To make his words fall behind, the figure disappeared into place in an instant, transforming into an ultimate stream of light rushing towards high altitude. The air still echoes with violent sonic booms. Watching that incredible fist hit me. Gao Peng shouted expressionlessly, Da Zi. However, Da Zi's speed is faster. Almost at the same time, already blocking in front of Gao Peng, that muscular elf, hitting Da Zi's hard scales with one head. Suddenly, it felt like a piece of paper sticking to it. Then it slowly drifted down. Seeing the other person fall into a coma, Gao Peng approached and took a closer look. Disgustingly speaking, this guy looks really ugly. This is an ugly and oily dragon elf king. Only a few feet tall. Not as tall as Barbie dolls. Gao Peng picked him up. To be honest, it's really ugly. Tiger back and bare waist. Thick eyebrows and big eyes. Two big nostrils are like black holes that harm people. There are still two tips growing on top of the head. Sharp edges and corners. Demons are not as ugly, are they? Dragon Elf King. Level 70 Imperial Legendary Quality. Originally a purebred wood elf king. In the long years, swallowed a large amount of real dragon fruits. Eventually, a mutation occurred. Becoming an extremely rare dragon elf king. After reading his attributes, Gao Peng was also surprised. What's going on with that series of power? This is still the dragon elf king. Hey, this muscular talent has gone astray. Okay, and this plant affinity. LV3 just suddenly remembered. This is a wooden elf. Then give a plant affinity meaning and the root that this dragon elf king wants to advance. It's also very difficult. 10,000 different varieties of dragon plants. But it's not just 10 or 100 different things, but rather 10,000 types. Even if it is the ancestral land of the dragon clan. I can't even find so many varieties anymore. However, is this a limited edition gardener for dragon plants? Although the variety is limited to dragon plants, but it can withstand disasters and diseases, and increasing production is excellent. With this real dragon fruit tree, 
In the future, the dragons and monsters in the southern sky will be blessed. I guess even in the ancestral land of the dragon clan. This real dragon fruit tree can also be considered a top treasure. Even if we leave adversity now, Dajuang thought of this. He snapped his fingers. Summon Achun out, then directly take the fruit tree. Packed into space, he said to the elf king, from now on, you'll hang out with me. I'll still take care of that tree for you. And I will also create a botanical garden for you. But the dragon elf king strongly opposes it. It's impossible. I'm the great dragon elf king. I haven't finished speaking yet. I saw the eldest son beside me looking down at him with his head down. The elf king suddenly scared himself to pee. Wow, wow, I promise not to eat me. After everything is processed. Gao Peng looked at Zhao Kai again. Let's continue to search for the next treasure. Kai Kai seems to have run out of resources. Lying on the ground, motionless. If Gao Peng glares at him, don't pretend to be dead. Hurry up and find me the treasure. However, Zhao Kai started crying. Master, you are too domineering. Every time I find a treasure, I don't even care about it. Still squeezing me like this. Only then did Gao Peng make a promise. Don't worry, okay. If you can use the reason for the treasure found this time, I will definitely reward you. As soon as this sentence is spoken, just a lifeless Zhao Kai immediately regained its vitality. Since that's the case, then I also need to put in 1,000% of my energy, accompanied by him shouting loudly. Extreme treasure hunt activation. A powerful cyclone immediately enveloped the recruitment of wealth. Soon the world in his eyes changed. Those treasures are in sight, becoming dots of varying colors. In no time we found the deepest red dot. The sudden burst of hair brings wealth and immediately laughs out loud. Found it. I finally found the most precious and precious treasure. Then Zhao Kai ran towards the depths of the main hall. Gao Peng and others immediately followed suit. Everyone hurry up. Let's keep up. Bringing in wealth. Here comes the treasure hunt. Kicked open the deepest entrance of the hall with one foot. A suspended sound divine alarm containing the law of water. Appearing in front of everyone. Just now. Zhao Kai has opened the limit of skilled treasure exploration. I went straight to the deepest part of the main hall. There are actually three more here. Can attract wealth without even thinking about it. I flew over directly. Just rely on these deceptive methods. Do you just want to keep it from me? I can see the leftmost door through the door. Red energy surging to the sky. Subsequently, Zhao Kai kicked open the leftmost gate with a single kick. Please open this for me. Gao Tong, who happened to catch up, was startled and fell down. It's like being hit on the head by a big gift package. What catches the eye is a green leaf. There's a crystal clear water droplet on it. Drop by drop, falling into the well. The sound is so clear and beautiful. Meanwhile, the water in the well is like steam. Unexpectedly, a faint white mist drifted out. Ascend to the sky. Then hovering at the top of the laurel tree, reconsolidate into water droplets. Trapped in an endless cycle. The name of the divine aura is Zhuan Yin Shen Jin Khan. Containing the law of water, 8.8%. The law of ice, 3.2%. Gao Peng immediately froze in place, except for one cent lying down. Juju couldn't say a complete sentence from her mouth. He forcefully pinched his face. Can clearly feel the pain. I'll tell you, eldest son. I want artifacts, it's just a joke. Do you believe it's right now? Pang Da Hai also entered the room, seeing that Xuan Yin Shun tighten. I can't help but shout out to lie down. Surprisingly, there are still artifacts here. This is not worth much, is it? It seems that Pang Da Hai's momentum is too strong. Startled the creatures inside the Xuan Yin Divine Well, quickly in the calm wellhead. Crawling out a transparent blue water snake, continuously vomiting, seems to be wary of these unwelcome guests. At this moment, Gao Peng is constantly shivering and gaining weight. This is also the holy blessing of the water system. This snake's water element control is good. The snow-capped mountains don't even make me feel so cold. But Pang Da Hai just laughed mischievously. Gao Peng, what are you talking nonsense about? Playing water in front of your chubby grandfather. Speaking out is not a phrase. His words fell off. A terrifying aura erupted from Pang Da Hai's body. Like pouring mountains and seas. Like mountains and rivers collapsing. Water elements in the air are attacking the water snake one after another. The frightened water snake lost its fighting spirit. Turn around and drill straight back into the Xuan Yin Divine Well. Seeing the other person hiding in the well. Pang Da Hai immediately summoned the Sea Emperor's Devouring Cliff. I want to run and bite him to death. But the Sea Emperor's Devouring Fang is about to pounce, but suddenly stopped moving in midair. Gao Peng can probably guess that the Divine Police triggered the Divine Power, obstructed his actions, originally even without the control of the owner. 
When another artifact approaches, it will also force him to actively inspire divine power. But Pang Dahai became increasingly angry. I can't stand seeing an artifact anymore. Take out another artifact from your pocket. Endless cycle maze. Pang Dahai is like an irritable old man. Directly threw the maze body over. Immediately, a dazzling golden light shot out along with divine power. However, after the suppression was lifted, the Sea Emperor devoured the ends of the sea. Directly infiltrated into the Xuanming Divine Halberd, Asahi launched a devouring attack on the water snake. Just like this, a holy level water snake reaching level 90. Instantly reduced to the teeth of the Sea Emperor's devouring rations, that chubby sea pounced on the edge of the Divine Well, still drooling in my mouth. This is a divine artifact of the water system. With it, my strength can quickly recover again. This is a mouth that contains the Law of Water, the artifact of the Law of Harmony and Yin. The Xuanming Divine Well is now under the threat of the Fat Sea, silently shedding a cold sweat. So just now, suddenly a very large one appeared in the wellhead, a perfect water snake. Under the suppression of Pang Dahai's dual aura, live devouring it. Gao Peng placed his hand on Pang Dahai's body and waited for you to break through. I also have pre-sales fuzzy gods. Pang Dahai's self-expansion is not just a quasi-god. Quickly take him away. We still need to rush to the next wave of wealth acquisition. You did a good job this time. I'll make him some wild game as a reward when I come back. Then Pang Dahai waved towards the Sea Emperor's devouring teeth. Teeth too, it's time for you to perform. His words fell off. The originally smaller body expands in an instant. That terrifying fang collided with the Xuanming Divine Well. Soon, an invisible aura appears around the Xuanming Divine Well. For a while, the two could only remain deadlocked. Pang Dahai sighed quite stubbornly. Then he came to his side, summoning the endless cycle maze from the hand. Speaking calmly, I advise you to be obedient. For me, otherwise you would have suffered a lot. His words fell off. The hanging sound divine well seems to no longer resist. The tooth that was directly swallowed by the sea emperor was swallowed directly. Faced with this zero wen purchase, Gao Peng is very satisfied. Continue to the door. Pang Dahai is also working on the side. Walk up, walk up. Just like this, a few days later. Under the leadership of Zhao Kai, Gao Peng, I searched through all the treasures in the treasure room. Even Ah Chun's space is packed to the brim. With this harvest, my background is even better than those top tribes. It's not even worse. This trip is really in time. It's actually the overloaded treasure hunt these days. They all used their brains to attract wealth and broke them. Go back and make up for him well. The matter of evolution also needs to be arranged as soon as possible. Just as Gao Peng was pondering, the surrounding void suddenly twisted. A portal appeared before his eyes. Without any hesitation, put that portal directly onto him. Half of Gao Peng's body disappeared in place, and he only felt a flicker in front of him. And people from other ancient tribes, appearing together at the entrance of the secret realm. At this moment, Ching Yun waved south to everyone. Everyone is here. Gao Peng's heart was frozen. It's Ching Yan. Did he teleport out? But at this moment, a yellow-haired boy pointed at Gao Peng and complained to Ching Yan. The adult is him. Snatch away all our maps in adversity. Gao Peng let out a sigh. Why are you so irritable, young man? Isn't it just borrowing a map from you to take a look? Like a bullied little daughter-in-law. It's like reporting to an adult, hearing such insults without using dirty words. Huang Mao clenched his fist tightly. Seems to have received a great gift from speaking up. I wanted to scold him but hesitated to speak. Does Gao Peng's faint smile mean there are no words left? Do you want me to add a line for you at the end? Thirty years in Heidong. Thirty years in Hexi. Don't deceive young people into poverty. Facing the powerful Gao Peng, that Huang Mao was so angry on the spot that he couldn't speak. Here it is, here it is. In the center of the crack above the secret realm. Surprisingly, a head with a level of up to the destruction monster of the middle god. Just a few minutes ago, Gao Peng Kai has just teleported out of the secret realm. I was sued by a yellow-haired man from ancient tribe. He said he stole all the maps from the tribe. Ke Gao Peng not only did not make any concessions, but also, on the contrary, Huang Mao was so angry that he couldn't even speak. At this moment, Ching Yun Man walked over. Okay, okay, that's all for this matter. This place is actually not safe. Hurry up and return to the tribe. His words fell off. The people from other tribes have all agreed. Gao Peng scanned with his spare light. Discovered among the people of these tribes. There are also many who have a happy or relaxed expression on their faces. Obviously, unexpected gains have also been made. At this moment, a man collapsed on the ground, covering his face and sobbing. 
Gao Peng is about to go over and take a look at the situation. But I was informed by my peers behind me. His partner encountered unexpected circumstances during exploration, forever left in the secret realm. Gao Peng was deeply moved in his heart. Same exploration. Someone found a treasure and happily returned with a full load. Some people inexplicably lose lives. Some people like it, while others are sad. Just as he was pondering, a deafening roar of a giant beast, echoing between heaven and earth. Subsequently, the space crack above suddenly cracked. The sturdy space becomes incredibly fragile at this moment. Subconsciously, everyone slowly retreated back. Soon, the space cracked open. Large cracks. The collapsed void is like an avalanche, layer by layer of space debris fading into the sky. It seems like half of the sky is about to be shattered. At this moment, Ching Yun Man was also frightened into a cold sweat. Immediately command the people of the major tribes to retreat backwards. But before the words fall, a giant claw suddenly protrudes from the shattered void, falling down directly in that turbulent flow. Everyone dare not show any negligence. They fled one after another. Gao Peng, who has always been accustomed to seeing big scenes, is also deeply shocked. I couldn't help but take two more glances at the giant beast. Soon in the endless void, a giant whale as mountain and moon emerged. Monster named Destruction Shape Whale. Monster level will eventually become a deity. I saw this giant whale suddenly open up. A giant hole resembling a black hole. All the creatures below, including plates on the mainland. They were all sucked into his mouth together. After he has eaten and drunk enough, and then casually turned around and left. Flowing into the depths of the void. I didn't even glance at Gao Peng throughout the entire process. Gao Peng was deeply shocked in his heart. Took a bite of the secret realm. Turn around and leave. It seems that we are all in front of divine level monsters. It's like a little ant. It's not worth seeing at all. At this point, Yunnan Ching arrived at the cliff and said that the road ahead was broken. Let's take a different route. And he has such a big fire here. It is very likely to attract other destructive beasts. What a pity. Perhaps in the next century, this secret realm will no longer exist. You guys, I think they should be the last batch of people to enter this secret realm. On hearing this, People from various tribes all lowered their heads and sighed. That's too bad. There are still so many spiritual items in the secret realm. Only Gao Peng is proud to say so in his heart. I'll take those babies away. It can also be considered a merit. At this moment, Ching Yan glanced at Gao Peng. I thought to myself, at this rate of collapse, maybe in a few more years, it will spread to the area of the secret realm. At that time, the shackles above the holy level will be lifted. Everyone can still do big things together. Should I inform Gao Peng then? After all, he also has a quasi-god. But after all, he is not a member of the tribe. It's hard to say if you can have the same heart as us. Here it is, here it is. Gao Peng subdued a dragon elf king in the secret realm and unexpectedly obtained a production. The fruit tree of true dragon fruit. Finally, under the summoning of the quasi-divine censor Ching Yun Man, teleport out of the entrance of the secret realm. Gao Peng bid farewell to Ching Yun Nan. Since the exploration of the secret realm has ended, then I'll take a step first. Ching Yun nodded. So let's say goodbye then. Soon, Gao Peng was under the gaze of everyone, riding four children and flying up to the sky, leave tongling, waving below without stopping. Then he arrived at the outskirts of the City of Hope. He had no intention of going in. But instead, he instructed the fourth child to find an open place to stop. Then Gao Peng snapped his finger, summoning Aban out of space. The massive body made the earth tremble. Aban, you should digest the crystals here first. By the way, please help me make a workbench. The chubby C on the side saw the situation, hurriedly walked far away. Then I'll go research a new artifact. Don't bother me if you have something to do or nothing to do. Gao Peng naturally didn't have time to talk to him. Another snap of the finger summoned Ah Jun out. Let him get the real dragon fruit tree out. Then he turned the bewildered dragon elf king, thrown aside on the workbench. I need to develop a new advanced medicine, little thing. Need real dragon fruit as the main material. The transplant maintenance of the real dragon fruit tree will be entrusted to you. As long as you do well, in the future, I will give you all the dragon plants I have collected. The dragon elf king nodded forcefully. Okay then. Gao Peng begins to coordinate work. Put a real dragon fruit into the weapon. After a reaction occurs, it explodes into juice, combined with other auxiliary materials. At first, the dragon elf king was very afraid of Gao Peng. Vigilantly staring at Gao Peng, they dare not slack off at all. But after getting familiar with it for a while, it's not that scared. He began to focus on the real dragon fruit tree next to him, even involuntarily reaching into the basket. 
Take one secretly to eat. But at this moment, Dazi's tail whipped like a whip. Come here. Don't tamper with Gao Peng's things. The hand of the Dragon Elf King was drawn on the spot. His face was bulging with veins. Angered, he said, This is my fruit tree. Kei Daji just gave him a glance. Say it again. That tall figure instantly scared an elf king to pee. I said the technique I kept on my behalf. After being busy for over 20 hours in a row, Gao Peng has finally completed a total of seven bottles of potions. He was just trying to get the pre-sales to distribute the potions, but he was killed by a cunning rabbit sleeping on the ground roast. The running dog cooked at this time. Gao Peng only felt a moment of silence. Then he took out a bottle of medicine that had already been prepared. Redemption. Okay, okay. You also have a share this time. Then Gao Peng waved his hand and drank it. Everyone said they wouldn't miss you. Seeing Zhao Kai immediately get excited. Take a sip of the potion and drink it. And while drinking, I shed tears of emotion. This time it's finally not about stewing me anymore. Here it is, here it is. Seven dragon ants have finally embraced fusion. Gao Peng's pre-sale strength has been comprehensively enhanced. Just recently, Zhao Kai has finally achieved its wish. Received a promotion potion from Gao Peng as a reward for him. But after Zhao Kai drank ocean in one gulp, suddenly turning red in both eyes, and then show a foolish expression. In the end, he foamed at the mouth. Falling to the ground, this scene also made Dazi sweat profusely. I was worried for a while. Gao Peng immediately explained and felt relieved. I added some extra comments in the formula. Mandala powder can solidify the foundation and cultivate vitality. Helps absorb drugs. It's just that the side effects are quite significant. It can also be considered a small lesson for him. You also need to be careful. Don't rely on your achievements. Upon hearing this, the newly arrived Dragon Elf King shuddered, thinking to oneself, this time he has been so ruthless in his attack on the Jade Beast for his meritorious deeds. If I speak recklessly, it may be inexplicably blocked one day. However, Zhao Kai was only unconscious for three days. Immediately after waking up, the whole body is full of energy. The volume is several times that of the original. Jubao belongs to the level 70 Huangji treasure collection. Jubao has storage space with them, can store a large number of treasures. As long as there are treasures present in the treasure trove space, it will enhance the treasure hunting ability of the Jubao genus. At the same time, it will increase its speed. And there is also stealth ability. Gao Peng finished reading the property panel of Zhao Kai. I can't help but admire in my heart. This ability to store treasures is really interesting. So he waved his hand to signal. Let Zhao Kai come over. Swallow the real dragon fruit in his hand. Do not take medication. Directly swallowing the fortune without even chewing on it. Swallowed the real dragon fruit raw. The current increase in stored treasures is true dragon fruit. Gao Peng was overjoyed in his heart. Surprisingly, it can really be. Now I'm not afraid of attracting wealth or hiding something. It can also increase his speed. You can also reduce the burden on Ah Chun. It's really killing three birds with one stone. Subsequently, Ah Chun spat out a bunch of precious geniuses from his mouth. Dibao Zhao Kai watched as he vomited. Pick swallow it on the side. The scene can be said to be very disgusting. After he swallows a bunch of treasures, Gao Peng asked him to try his speed again, as expected. The speed of attracting wealth is lightning fast, more than ten times faster. At this moment, the aura on Aiden's body in the distance suddenly became violent. A scorching heat wave shot out from above the head. At this moment, Aiden's face became ferocious. A rocky body, still flowing with red magma bloodlight. Like a death tyrant walking out of the underworld of hell. Monster level 81 holy level. Seeing Aben successfully break through the holy level high. Friend riding in Dajong. Go observe the evolutionary status of seven dragon ants. Just the thick fog around has completely blocked the view. Their evolution is not very dynamic. But there are quite a few tricks. Fortunately, I can use the system to monitor progress at any time. Then Gao Peng's gaze focused on one point. Current state blue. It's strange that I didn't integrate them. What is the situation? The sea is full of knowledge and knowledge. Why don't you go ask him? Gao Peng hurriedly came to the vicinity of the wellhead and shouted loudly. The sea. I don't know if the evolution of the seven little ones has gone wrong. They are merging. At this time, Peng Dahai did not respond. His body floats in the well water. Perhaps it has also reached a critical moment of breakthrough. Gao Peng cannot grasp the state of Peng Dahai accurately. I dare not interrupt randomly. But at this moment, there was a rumbling sound coming from the other side of the seven little ones. I saw seven little ones suddenly floating in the upper air. Seven different colors of breath intertwined together. 
It seems like some kind of mutation is about to occur. Watching Gao Peng sweat profusely. They shouldn't have had any trouble, should they? Here it is. Here it is. Seven dragon ants finally welcomed their fusion. Transformation. For a burly, golden-armored humanoid battle beast that is three meters tall. And he even said he wanted to fight Pang Da Hai. Just now. Seven dragon ants float in the air. Then surround the star ants in the middle. Colorful radiance blocked the view of others around. At this moment, Gao Peng can clearly sense. Their breath is gradually weakening. But it hasn't disappeared yet. At this moment, Da Zi leaned in and came over. I don't think Gao Peng needs to worry too much. Because they are seven brothers who were originally of the same bloodline. There shouldn't be any backlash. This is a reminder. It actually made Gao Peng breathe a sigh of relief. He gently caressed Da Zi's head. Thank you for causing me to worry too much. Just finish speaking. Suddenly, gusts of strong winds swept around, blowing Gao Peng back in succession. A terrifying aura followed suit. At this moment, in the dense fog, a pair of worried pupils are staring straight at Gao Run. The contour of that head seems to be humanoid. Soon after a deep dragon chant, a three-meter-high golden-armored humanoid battle beast appearing in front of me, one layer thick. The thick blood-colored armor also blocks the true appearance. I'm kneeling on one knee, kneeling respectfully in front of Gao Peng, like a loyal servant. Ant Dragon Seamaster, colorful ant dragon, bloody state level 80, mythical quality at the local level. Dragon Ant, an extremely rare and ultra-rare variant in a family. A rare encounter in a thousand years. Only when there are more than five dragon ants with one mother sibling. Ranked at the same level, dragon ants of the same quality level. Only when evolution occurs simultaneously can the fusion be triggered. The evolutionary ant dragon. Ability to freely switch between one's own attribute states. And at most have two types of dragon power stacked at the same time. The only flaw is that the body of the versatile ant dragon. Simultaneously manipulated by all brothers of the group. This also makes outsiders think that the personality of the versatile dragon ant is unpredictable. Gao Peng sighed silently in his heart. We're still one step away from holy level, but we have also reached the threshold. Then he said to the ever-changing ant dragon, Okay, get up. Although it looks like comparison of the ability and characteristics of ant dragons with various varieties in chicken ribs. But one can actively choose their own abilities. And it can also be switched at any time. There should be many tricks that can be played in actual combat. For example, bloody fury and epic monster power. Adding the two is not as simple as one plus twelve. That's really amazing. However, at this point, the fat sea in the divine well, awakened by the movements of the ever-changing ant dragon. He poked his head out of the wellhead and looked over. In front of me is a strange golden armored battle beast. Peng Da Hai curiously asked what the situation was. Who is it now? The eldest son stepped forward, rubbing the body of the Formosan ant dragon with its claws. Say he, are you in love with the big head fish? I saw the milky white lamp in the center of the versatile ant dragon armor. Instantly switched to light blue. Pang Dahai, let's have a duel. Pang Dahai is completely confused. Instead of holding onto your head and strange screams of surprise, how could it still change color? Subsequently, the versatile ant dragon. My arms turned into strands of golden mist. The chubby sea across from him quickly recognized him. This fog has a hidden characteristic. Obviously, it's the ability of a six-year-old child. Don't let him think too much. That giant fist like smoke shooted towards the chubby sea like an eraser. This is among the dragon ant tribe. Extremely rare and ultra-rare variant varieties. Baby and ant dragon. Just merged into one. I offended Pang Da Hai. I was severely injured directly by him. Just a few minutes ago. Under the instigation of Da Zi, the versatile ant dragon. Challenging Pang Da Hai. However, Pang Da Hai also recognized his abilities. Sure enough, it's the sixth child. Boy, you've changed quite a bit. K.E. Baby and Ant Dragon did not respond, but instead switched the crystal on his body to orange. Then two white auroral lights were emitted from the eyes. Obviously, Erwa temporarily body. Pang Da Hai's figure flashed, easily dodged two rays of light. A slight surprise in my heart. What is the ability of the second child? Not a kid. Who the hell are you? If you don't say it anymore, I'll be angry. After speaking, he condensed a fierce water element on his body and then gently swing that short and small tail. Waves of surging water burst out of the air in an instant, mercilessly slapping on the body of the versatile ant dragon. Suddenly, bursts of bombardment echoed. Seeing the half-dead and lifeless ant dragon, Dazi on the side couldn't help but marvel at me going. You're really ruthless. There won't be anything wrong, will there? 
That chubby C is also a bit nervous when he sees this. Quickly leaned onto the chest of the versatile ant dragon. And the heartbeat hasn't died yet. Who is this guy? At this moment, Gao Peng walked over with a frown on his face. These are the seven little ones that have just been fused and purified. Your actions may be too heavy, faced with the contemptuous gaze of everyone. Pangda immediately pinched his sweat, surprisingly integrated. No wonder it feels both unfamiliar and familiar. Screen rotation. Somewhere in the middle of the earth, in the mountains and forests. A man carrying a basket, collecting useful fruits from the tree. But at this moment, the originally calm lake suddenly tumbled. A small vortex was generated. The man immediately turned his head to look around. Strangely enough, the restless lake surface just now. Calm down again, as if nothing had happened before. Is it just an illusion for men to constantly comfort themselves? Hey, these days are going well. My nerves are too nervous. But what he doesn't know is that, in the lake beside him, a figure as big as a mountain and moon is slowly swimming by. Meanwhile, a green phoenix happened to fly over the sky. The man sitting on it. I happened to witness that big guy. Subsequently, he flew directly back to the tribal Changshan group of the White Dragon tribe. Report everything you have seen to the old clan leader Bai Tong Ming. Bai Tong Ming was solemn. It's true to ask you again cautiously. Did you see the Qing Long with your own eyes? The man nodded, yes, although it's just mist. But the aura is also extremely terrifying. Make my jade beast Ching Luan feel fear from the source of her bloodline. Bai Tong Ming frowned. Your Ching Luan is almost pure blood. This is actually the god beast lord. If it can make him feel scared, is that a pure blood green dragon? Just a pure blood Qinglong. You can reach a level above the quasi god level. This kind of existence actually appears in the center of the earth. Although it's hard to believe, but it's also a rare good thing. I saw Bai Tong Ming casually wave his hand. Received a team exploring nine days and ten places. Bring back some news. You go and call all those old guys from other tribes over? Very important. The man lowered his head to answer and immediately went to notify them. After the tribe members leave, Bai Tong Ming just lowered his head and picked up a piece of parchment roll. Inside, there are patterns depicting men's rivers, cities, and so on. Bai Tong Ming sighed as he looked at it. Has even the city-state taken shape? Who knows nine days and ten places. The alien races have developed so rapidly. This is a gathering of all ancient tribes. A meeting of quasi-divine-level imperial censors. Bai Tong Ming, the elder leader of the White Dragon tribe, said, I have some decent bad news right now. I want to tell everyone that, previously, our imperial censor dispatched to nine days and ten places to inquire about the news. This is the map they drew after returning. Everyone, please take a look. At this moment, one person suddenly spoke up. Just a map. What's nice about it? What about the remaining messages? Let's all say it together. Bai Tong Ming continued to say that the bad news is, for thousands of years, the development of the indigenous people is even faster than we imagine. And also, their top performers have completely surpassed us. Whether in terms of quantity or quality, upon hearing this, everyone showed a shocked expression. But at the moment, Bai Tong Ming said another piece of good news. Over the years, people of different ethnicities have, it has developed into many countries. And then these countries are in a state of war and turmoil. A quasi-divine censor seems to have breathed a sigh of relief. That's really great. I didn't expect these foreigners to also enjoy infighting. The old man in the green robe beside him also gave an awkward smile. Yeah, I like infighting. I didn't expect our hope. Surprisingly relying on the enemy's internal struggles. As soon as this sentence is spoken. Just now there was an infighting among people of different ethnicities. And the quasi-divine censor who felt fortunate. Immediately his face changed. Suddenly unable to speak. Seen the scene and fell into embarrassment for a while. Bai Tong Ming stands up. Excitedly speaking, we are not as capable as the other team members. This is a fact. There's nothing to avoid either. The enemy's weakness is certainly our opportunity. Hear the word opportunity. The other few people also became excited along with it. Opportunity? Opportunities? The old man in the green robe also urged in a low voice. Old Beilong, please don't play tricks on me. Quickly provide a detailed explanation. Bai Tong Ming is explaining now. According to the information received, the alien is temporarily, when he didn't notice us, or maybe we didn't care if we found out, right? If that's really the case, that's really great. We can just take advantage of their arrogance, go and understand their details. Upon hearing this, everyone nodded in agreement. It makes sense. There is a saying in the center of the earth that goes, know yourself and know your enemy. Are you victorious in all battles? 
the man in the red robe said, Let's also inform the Huaxia tribe about this matter. After all, he's also a quasi-god. At this point, we can have one more combat power. It's also an excellent thing. Just let me know. The man in the blue robe agrees. It's just that we're not familiar with that side. Then we'll have to trouble the Bai tribe leader, nodding with the same name as Bai. No problem, this matter is up. Before he finishes speaking, a cold and indifferent man suddenly spoke up. If rejected, then clean it up. Just a small character. I don't want to have a decisive battle with a foreign race. Someone stabbed us in the back with a knife. Bai Tong Ming frowned. I have doubts in my heart. The ghost emperor of the Xuanhu tribe? How did this old guy get out of the level? The more you practice, the younger you become. By virtue of seniority, you have to intervene in everything. The ghost emperor nodded on the table and said, Little white dragon, you can prioritize the overall situation. Bai Tong Ming secretly thought in his heart. Even Mo Buddha couldn't get any benefits. Compared to him, he has never understood before, right? Isn't this a kind of arrogance? Then he slowly raised his glass of wine. The resolute answer is that I don't think he will refuse. The old man has been serving as the chief of the White Dragon tribe for 700 years. Now seeing Ji Hanwu, excitedly holding his hand, also calling him master. Just now, headquarters of Nantian Group in the City of Hope. In front of a dilapidated divine well stands a plaque. It also says there is a crocodile inside. At this moment, Pang Dahai is floating on the water surface, humming a song. In fact, these wells have the function of enhancing strength. At this moment, a figure looked down at the fat sea from the bottom of the well, immediately recognized that it is Stormwater Magic Pearl. It's my daughter. You came to see me now? Stormwater Magic Pearl smiled and said, My dear father, you actually found an artifact when you went out this time. You are as excellent as ever. The chubby sea lying in the divine well immediately poked out its head. My daughter waited for me to regain my strength. I will lend it to you immediately. But the Stormwater Magic Pearl doesn't appreciate it at all. Just turn your head and leave. That's not necessary. It's just a suspenseful divine water. It's not that I haven't seen it before. Lie down in the well and enjoy yourself. To be honest, what you look like lying in the well, just like stewing a chubby fish in a- After saying these things, his figure flashed. Disappear in place. Angry, Pang Dahai immediately jumped out of the wellhead. There, feeling suffocated. Seeing the whole process, Gao Peng secretly chuckled on the side. Has the family drama started again? Pang Dahai loudly curses at the rebellious girl. The rebellious girl then discovered that Gao Peng was watching a play again. Gao Peng, what kind of expression are you on? Gao Peng helplessly picked up his calf. Oh, the hustle and bustle of Feng Jun today. At this moment, a communication for staff to send. Requesting Director Xiao, visitors from the White Dragon tribe, Gao Peng's heart suddenly became peaceful. Visiting at this time, what will happen? Okay, I'll be right there. On the other side, Bai Tong Ming brought his tribe to the City of Hope. Rebuilding a big city so quickly? Is the combination of technology and pre-sale power? The people in the center of the earth should not be underestimated. Before long, Gao Peng had already appeared in front of everyone. Bai Clan was out to be you. Bai Tong Ming smiled and said, a mere unwelcome guest. Come uninvited. I won't be unwelcome, will I? Whiskey Han Wu also walked out. Of course, welcome. Hello, I am Gao Peng's grandfather. Thank you very much for taking care of Gao Peng before. Your white dragon tribe. Always the best friend of our blue sky group. Just finished speaking. Bai Tong Ming, who had always been calm, suddenly panicked and turned pale, still cautiously holding Ji Han Wu's hand, master. Do you still remember me? I thought I would never see you again. Keiji Han Wu gently pushed away his hand. I believe you must have mistaken the wrong person, clan leader. Your high priest also admitted his mistake before. Both have one nose and two eyes. There are so many people in the world. It's inevitable that there will be people who look similar, right? It's all small things. Don't dwell on it. Bai Tong Ming could only sigh and say, okay. Maybe I misunderstood. It's really impolite. The nearby Gao Peng witnessed all of this. My heart is filled with suspicion. Last time it was the high priest. This time it's the clan leader. Is it really a simple mistake to identify the wrong person? Then he glared at the silver beside him. Crazy hints in my heart that the atmosphere is very awkward now. Think of a way for you. Bai Yin also gave a glare and went back. I secretly thought that the things of the previous generation were very complicated. But don't panic. Look at me. I saw Bai Yin fake cough twice. Xiao Sheng saying next to Bai Tong Ming that father is coming this time. It's about getting down to business. Bai Tong Ming just came to his senses now. Seriously speaking, yes, yes, yes. Business matters. 
I am here to invite you to join Hemeng. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng and Ji Han Wu couldn't help but look at each other for a moment. Then Bai Tong Ming said to the old clan chief, You should remember what I said last time. Our Huaxia. I don't want to participate in the struggle between tribes and tribes, do I? Men demand status as top tribes, but was mercilessly rejected. The reason is actually owning a quasi divine. It's still far from enough. But Gao Peng had a showdown on the spot, and not enough of a quasi god was enough. That's just two. Originally, it was half an hour ago. Bai Tong Ming, the elder leader of the White Dragon tribe, found Gao Peng. I want to discuss the matter of joining the alliance. Gao Peng couldn't make up his mind for a moment. Looking back at Grandpa Ji Han Wu, Ji Han Wu politely replied, Please come to the clan chief's side. A few people quickly arrived at the conference room of the group headquarters. Gao Peng raised his hand and said that the clan chief is here. Just say what you want. I saw Bai Tong Ming take out a sheepskin roll and hand it over. So please take a look at this first. Two of you, this is the unity of our tribe. The information brought back from Ju Tian Ten, a map drawn. What is nine heavens and ten earths? Of course, there's no need to introduce it to both of you. A clan has already exerted all their strength to cast shadows on the nine heavens. Established many countries. Perhaps it's because 10,000 years is too long. Forgotten about us. Many countries are currently in a state of war. After listening to Bai Tong Ming's introduction, Ji Han Wu's expression rang out. That is to say, is the alien race currently in an internal conflict? Bai Tong Ming nodded yes. And our alliance is planning to go. At this point, Gao Peng spoke up and said, I admit that this intelligence has high value. But for other races, we are also of a different race, faced with invasion. They may not necessarily continue their infighting. Then we will unite and fight against me. But Bai Tong Ming said you overestimated them. It is impossible to distinguish us from other races solely based on our appearance. The most obvious feature between us is that our blood is red and their one is green. Gao Peng was slightly surprised by the green color. Is it so strange? Bai Tong Ming said yes. For them, our red blood is also very strange. Gao Peng was lost in thought. That is, before being injured. The other party can't even tell our identity. This does make me a bit tense, but I demand. The Huaxia tribe enjoys the status of a top-level tribe. The right to refuse important decisions. Otherwise, I won't agree to join you. Upon hearing this, Bai Tong Ming smiled slightly and said to the top tribe, Don't underestimate the top tribes. Having only one quasi-god is far from enough. If my white dragon clan helps you operate, it should be able to reach the seven kings level. Before he finishes speaking, Gao Peng said in a deep voice that since one quasi-god is not enough, then there are two quasi-gods. How did Gao Peng lift it? The eyes showed a sinister smile. Upon hearing this, Bai Tong Ming, who has always been calm, cannot help but harm others. What, do you actually have two quasi-gods? Gao Peng walked calmly towards the window and said, It wasn't before, but now we have it. Then he opened the French window directly. Radiant lights flashed through the sky. As a quasi-divine sensor by Tong Yun, of course I am also familiar with this kind of celestial anomaly. Such a violent aura, sky changes color for it. I believe there must be a giant beast breaking through the quasi-divine level. Then his five-clawed white dragon suddenly appeared. Old Bai's energy is spicy enough. I need to use pressure to suppress it, just in case you have any accidents. What Bai Tong Ming still wants to stop? Wait, it's here, it's here. Gao Peng finally welcomed the first quasi-divine level jade beast. Just now, the ancient claw white dragon sensed that a jade beast was breaking through. I was planning to step forward and suppress that energy, but was stopped by a sharp fingertip. When others break through, it's best not to disturb casually. Otherwise, it would be very impolite. Do you think it's Little White Dragon? His words fell off. Five clawed white dragons stood still in place. Bai Tong Ming has also heard of it. This, is it the quasi-god who caused great losses to Mofo? It is said that he even shattered the spirit of the faceless Buddha. He's not just an ordinary person. Although I still have many cards to play. Not here to make enemies. There's no need to conflict with this quasi-god. Thinking of this, he politely said, I have no malicious intent, no intention of disturbing. At this moment not far away, a surging and majestic wave is enveloping a towering force, sweeping across all directions. Bai Tong Ming's deep admiration in his heart, the scene of advancing to the quasi-god. It's been a long time since I last saw you. Still so spectacular. Subsequently, the sea projected onto the entire area. Bai Tong Ming can still see some illusions of small fish, traveling back and forth in the air. 
Soon, the vision in front of me revealed the entire hope. The City of Hope is like an underwater castle. There are constantly schools of fish and sea animals shuttling around. The scene is very spectacular. At this moment, a ferocious giant beast suddenly woke up. The sound constantly echoes between heaven and earth. I am the ruler of the ocean. I am the messenger of the storm. The return of the Lord of the Storm Ocean. This is the knowledgeable Bai Tong Ming as well. It's a divine staff. How could a newly promoted quasi-god have a divine staff? At this moment, Pang Dahai opened his fierce and huge mouth. Seems to be sucking in the air between heaven and earth. Then the row of sharp teeth instantly turned golden yellow. That's Pang Dahai breaking through the quasi-god. The first mythological part chosen is the tooth. I saw Pang Dahai biting into the void ahead. The surrounding space immediately shattered into a large piece. Haiyan protrudes two long cracks. Gao Peng chuckled and the Sea Emperor's devouring teeth has been practiced to this day. The myth of basically surrendering to the Fat Sea. Thick teeth combined with the power of the Shanghai Emperor's devouring teeth has already possessed the power to approach the law. It can destroy the space now. Not long after, the anomalies in the sky dissipate, change back to its original state. But the crowd below hasn't dispersed yet. Everyone exclaimed in amazement, What was that just now? It's too scary. Soon it spread to the streets and alleys. Advancing Gao Peng's imperial beast, the news of reaching the quasi-divine level has spread. The broken fat sea has returned to its small form. Returning to Gao Peng's shoulder, how was my performance just now, Gao Peng? I did as you instructed. Try to elevate the scene of the advanced stage as high as possible. Then hurry up and set up the previously agreed emperor package. I'm starving to death. At this moment, the stormwater magic ball came to him. My dear father, why are you still so lazy and lazy? Peng Dahai immediately cursed at the secret. I also asked for a portion for you, watching two quasi-gods playing around there. Bai Tong Ming was shocked in his heart. These two quasi-gods are actually women, this chubby head. Fish is actually a quasi-god. How many secrets does Gao Peng still have? Han Wu interrupted everyone's thoughts. Okay, it's almost time. Let's eat and talk together, everyone. However, for the first time, Dancing Claw White Dragon ate grilled skewers. Some disdain. Is this thing really edible? Pang Dahai said, You don't understand, do you? This is a top-quality secret roasted meat personally prepared by Gao Peng. Even if aimed at the divine level. They are all big supplements. It can be considered that it has caught my light. Dancing Claw White Dragon hearing words. Then he threw the whole skewer into his mouth, still reciting words and phrases. Not to mention the taste, it's really good. Bai Tong Ming said, We are planning to send some imperial censors to go there in a while. Jushian Wetland. The entrance will also be strictly guarded by someone. We'll not easily let people in and out. Gao Peng agrees. Indeed. We need to prevent some imperial censors from exposing our existence. Be cautious, but the clan leader. The first batch of teams going to nine days and ten places. Give me a spot. Bai Tong Ming is surprised. Do you want to go in person? After all, you are a quasi-divine level imperial censor. Of course I can rest assured. I'm afraid some people might disagree. You need to be mentally prepared. But Gao Peng is fidence. If anyone disagrees, could you please provide me with a list of names from the Bai ethnic group leader? I personally advise them. Upon hearing this, Bai Tong Ming almost startled his chin, murmuring that being young is good. Having two quasi-divine-level imperial beasts, what exactly does it mean? Not only can it establish a top-level tribe, you can also enjoy the top treatment in the alliance. Bai Tong Ming returned to the alliance with the news. Yu Huang Ming is anxious to ask little Bei Long. What did the yellow-haired child say? Bai Tong Ming stated that he agreed to join us, and I want to participate in the next batch. Entering the Imperial Censorship Team of Nine Heavens and Ten Earths. As a quasi-divine level Imperial Censor, willing to be a pioneer, it's pretty good. That kid Gao Peng does have a sense of responsibility. But Huang Ning chuckled. Don't think I don't know what he's up to. I suspect he wants to have an affair with a clan. As soon as this sentence is spoken, several quasi-divine governors in the Alliance, including Bai Tong, all of them were speechless at once. Now you... Huang Ning continued to say that, of course, with the level of China. They are so eager to participate. What exactly is the picture? Bai Tong Ming gave a faint smile. I just arrived there not long ago. I witnessed one of Gao Peng's jade beasts with my own eyes. Breakthrough quasi-god, plus the previous one. They already have two quasi-gods. It's not that you imagined you had no strength. Elder Huang don't make trouble without reason. Upon hearing this, Yu Huang Ming immediately became angry. Bai Tong Ming, what is your tone of voice? 
If your master is here, that's all. Even if it's your father, you also have to call me senior. What's wrong with the two quasi-gods? Who in the top tribe doesn't have many quasi-gods? At this moment, people from other tribes began to discuss, although I say so, but quasi-gods and imperial beasts. It's not that easy to surround and kill. Yeah, the two are different. The difficulty of encirclement and killing is not as simple as doubling it. I put in a lot of effort and use my life to fill it. But as long as one escapes, that will bring endless troubles in the future. So this is already a strategic level of strength. The Imperial Mausoleum of Kenayu is still stubborn and lifeless. Hmm, it's not my race. His heart is bound to be. Collaborating with him is like seeking skin from a tiger. The old man in the green robe laughed out loud. What the senior said makes sense. But seeking skin from a tiger? So what? Only he, Gao Peng, is the tiger. Which of us is also a vegetarian? Bai Tong Ming clenched his fists and drank loudly. That's right. Our enemy right now is not Gao Peng. Not a Huaxia tribe, but it's a foreigner. What else can I say? Huaxia is also of the same lineage and origin as us. The enemy is at present. To unite all forces that can be united? Yu Huangming immediately trembled with anger. He relied solely on his mouth. I can't even say it to everyone. You guys, you guys, what do you want to say? But he hesitated to speak. He could only give a code in the end, helplessly turning around and leaving. After opening, Bai Tong Ming gave orders again. Let Elder Yu remain calm and composed. Let's first discuss the candidates for the Vanguard team. After everything is ready, Bai Tong Ming instructed these selected Imperial censors, gathered one after another on a certain grassland. Walk directly through this vast grassland. You can reach nine days and ten places at the end. We also rush to make a batch of clothing from other ethnic groups. Replace the sacrificial offerings before departure. So our people, please. Gao Peng's expression was exceptionally bright. Just wanted to say something. But it was interrupted by Bai Tong Ming again. The tribe members we sent to investigate this time. I am prepared to make them obey your command. Gao Peng speaks up. Wait a minute, it's... Bai Tong Ming continued to speak on his own. Don't rush to refuse. They are all elites in the tribe. Some of them are still good seedlings from our three major tribes. You have taken them with you. You absolutely don't have to worry about Chinese people. Men have two quasi-divine level imperial beasts. Nowadays, but for no reason, he became a thorn in the eyes of the elders of the Xuanhu tribe. And for this, I went downstairs to Gao Peng's house, threatening to do justice for the heavens. Just now, Gao Peng has been arranged. Becoming the captain of the nine-day and ten-place exploration team. Before departure, Bai Tong Ming curiously asked Gao Peng, By the way, did you Hangling come to see you a while ago? Gao Peng's face was speechless. Is that old man called Yu Huangling? Is the Jade Beast a escape dock? Bai Tong Ming nodded helplessly. Yes, he is an old antique. My personality is very rigid. Has it caused you a lot of trouble? Gao Peng feels a headache when he thinks of that old man. Don't mention it anymore. That old man is chattering away like a god. I secretly came over by myself in the middle of the night, still shouting and screaming downstairs at my house. The first thing I said when I met you was the old man. Today I am going to cate pests for the people. I thought it was so powerful. As a result, one face. I was knocked down by our quasi-god. That's great. The old man is directly relying on me. What are you talking about? You must be restless, kid. Kind-hearted, I must expose your conspiracy. Non-ethnic group. Their hearts must be different and so on. That's all it is. After all, it's just a few forced sentences. But surprisingly, they still ate mine. I won't give you a penny with my money. I have to eat several pots of meat for each meal. Eating too much and still liking to fart. Stinky. It's like a walking biochemical gas egg. Bai Tong Ming, on the other hand, becomes more and more embarrassed as he listens. While the two are talking, a tribal chieftain who searched for the sea alone. The future of our tribe depends on you. And on Zehai's face, always maintaining a reassuring smile. Grandpa, please rest assured. I know what to do. At this moment, the scent of Zehai caught Gao Peng's attention. Since becoming a quasi-divine censor, he can feel the aura of a quasi-divine censor. It's a cloak. You're looking for a tribe alone, right? Previously, Bai Yin said, Their tribe has a young genius who has emerged from a different army. It should be this one, right? But the aura emanating from him. How does it have a bit of a divine meaning? I'm not actually a genius either. Being able to achieve today's accomplishments. Pure because of the assistance of the system. This is only in such a short period of time. Let Hupang Hai recover to his true state of mind. But he's about the same age as me. I have almost the same strength now. 
Either it's because he has a natural talent for demonic diseases, either he also has a secret on him. At this moment, Bai Tong Ming handed over a bottle of elixir. Gao Peng, this is ink fragrance pill. Can you disguise yourself as a member of the same clan? But he cannot change the color of the blood, so remember not to get hurt or bleed. A pill can maintain your state for a month. There are 36 here. It should be enough for this formation. Although Gao Peng trusts Bai Tong Ming, but I still kept an eye out. Wait for him to use his spare time. After seeing several people nearby swallowing it, he swallowed the pill without hesitation. But it's just a moment. An inexplicable force spread throughout the body. Whether it's the eyes or the arms, all parts turned green. He immediately summoned the Frost Agent Lion. Get me an ice mirror. I saw the Frost Agent Master waving his small hand. An ice cube resembling a mirror appeared before my eyes. Gao Peng immediately fell into contemplation. Now it's really green from head to toe. Bai Tong Ming then took out a pair of sheepskin rolls from his pocket. This is a more detailed map. And then the words didn't end. His eyes flickered aside. These are your team members. Do you also know each other? A white-haired man greeted him. Hello, Gao Peng. My name is Emperor Bai Hai Xuan, also known as the Imperial Censor. I played with Yinga from childhood to adulthood. This time it's up to you. Then the members of the Xuanhu tribe snorted coldly. DDZ Jin, also known as the Imperial Censor. The red-haired man said, I am the Red Emperor of the Flame Tribe, also known as the Imperial Censor. Fortunately, the man with yellow hair said, I am Gao Peng, the Imperial Censor of the Thunder Tiger Emperor from the Mule Tribe. Brother, we have to rely on you this time. The green-haired woman said, I am the Imperial Censor of the Qingshen Tribe, a Qingqing Emperor. Please take good care of me. The blue-haired woman said, you are Gao Peng. I am the Imperial Censor of the North Korean tribe under the citizenship of Emperor Min of North Korea. Our Qingyan ancestor often mentions you. Your blue sky things are also quite useful. It's very popular in our tribe. The last introduction of Zehai on the side. Single horn tribe, Zehai Shengji Yushi. Brothers and sisters, please bear more responsibility. Upon hearing from the censor, Shengji immediately caught the attention of everyone around me. Shengji is so young. Zehai chuckled. Thanks to the team leader for lifting the narrow pass. Used a lot of precious materials on me. Gao Peng issued the first command. Go then. But secretly pondering in my heart. Such a young holy censor. It's not just about using a lot of precious materials, is it? Further observation and observation. Here it is, here it is. Saint level imperial censor Zehai. The secret behind it has finally been discovered by Gao Peng's system. Just recently. A delegation dispatched to nine days and ten places. The ink fragrance pill that people eat, transformed into an all-green alien. After a long journey, finally arrived at the mountain range near the entrance. Gao Peng took a look at the map. After we enter the entrance, the recent ones are Mingyu Kingdom and Skull Kingdom. The road ahead is not very easy to walk. If there are any suitable royal beasts for arrest, everyone. It can also be summoned out. After speaking, he waved his hand and called out the idiot. But I need to remind you, by the way, even if it's a flying beast, also, try to walk close to the ground as much as possible. Avoid startling the snake with grass. Subsequently, everyone summoned their own flying beast to defend themselves. And Zehai's actions caught the attention of Gao Peng. Almost no royal beast can escape his eyes. Soon rows of attributes flashed through my eyes. Plague King Blood Lizard. 86th level holy level. Giant beasts infected by the plague. God's severed fingers. The body contains a strong plague power. Strong healing power. Large volume, but there are certain shortcomings in small sensitivity. Likes to swallow prey raw, hate high temperatures. Gao Peng's eyes suddenly brightened up, thinking about this joke about the plague god. It should be the secret behind Zehai, right? I really want to know what this plague god comes from. Unfortunately, the information provided so far is limited. Thinking of this, he instructed everyone to, Our first stop is to go to Mingyu Kingdom. A few days later, Gao Peng led this team passing through mountains of all sizes, finally arrived within the territory of Mingyu Kingdom. At this moment, Bei Huang Mi raises a question that this place is also too dilapidated. Is it true that our clan has developed very well? The young man next to him reminded him to hiss. Don't use the term clan here. Bei Huang Mi realizes the mistake. Sorry to scratch my head. Gao Peng gave a warning to everyone. Now Mingyu Kingdom and Kurong Kingdom are at war. The border is particularly chaotic. People around the border are in danger of themselves. We also need to be careful. Avoid getting involved in trouble. You can see the town ahead. We can do our best. Can avoid trouble. Collect more intelligence. Only when people approached did they realize it. 
These exotic people who rely on resting by the wall. Probably some refugees who fled due to war. And standing at the city gate is a green arm. It seems very relaxed. Instead, it seems like the jade beast around him is sticking to his position. At this time, Lei Hu can't help complaining about something special. This handle is too green, isn't it? Bai Hai Xuan immediately stepped forward to stop him from speaking recklessly. At this moment, a sharp shout came from the other side to make way. Get a don't block the way ahead. At this moment, a parrot is standing on the roof of the car, shouting arrogantly to the lowly people. Don't block the way. I stepped on you all to death. My bird food is about to be compensated. Ching Ching frowned and frowned. I have never seen a parrot with such bad breath before. It's quite interesting. Gao Peng has given instructions. Let's avoid it for a while. This person's identity must be extraordinary. Being able to travel with so many subordinates. I think it must be some kind of aristocrat or something. Soon, a gentle voice came from inside the car. Ah Zhuang, where are we now? Hear the call. A bald man driving a vehicle. Quickly pull the rope, then kneel in front of the carriage door. Respectfully answering, I would like to inform the young master. We have returned to the territory of Ming Yu Kingdom. Turns out real beauties are not racial, despite the girl's overall worries. But you can tell at a glance that her appearance is quite outstanding. At this moment, Zijin couldn't help but joke that she was a little beauty. And Gao Peng has some doubts. This looks like an abandoned town. Almost all civilians remain. A wealthy young lady. How did you run to such a remote place? That girl glanced at those civilians. Speaking of, those people seem to have not eaten anything for a long time. Zhuang, please share some of our surplus food with them. Hear the command. The bald man came to the front of the attendants. Have you heard all the words of the young master? Ah, see, how many do you bring? Brother, go distribute the food. Subsequently, several attendants carried some food and delivered it to the civilians. Once the previous person has finished distributing, Gao Peng secretly thought to himself, what does it mean to not reveal anything? This kind of big and small sister may not understand. In such a disorderly place, faced with a group of desperate famine victims, unexpectedly it was so unprofitable to distribute food on the street. Or perhaps it's either not entering the city, not leaving again, the abnormal behavior of Gao Peng and others standing in place. Caught Zhuang's attention, I saw him whispering little brothers behind him. Occasionally I use my spare light to glance at Gao Peng's group of people. Now Gao Peng's senses have been greatly enhanced. I also vaguely heard their conversation clearly. Then he whispered to everyone. That bald guy was just observing me. They say our whereabouts are eerie. Unlike locals, suspecting us as imperial spies, Bai Hai Xuan was immediately taken aback. What did you see Gao Peng and others whispering? Zhuang seems even more nervous. Surprisingly, there were some small movements. They won't really be the killers of Skull Country, will they? Please protect your little master well. The other few will follow me under his command. More than ten followers immediately surrounded them. Gao Peng and others instinctively took a few steps back. It's not good, they really came. Stay calm, everyone. Huang Ji, Yu Shi, Bei Huang Min is sweating uncontrollably in cold sweat. This is too tragic, isn't it? Are we about to expose our identities when we just arrived? DG Yu Shi Zi Yu Jin said. Your movements were too obvious just now. They must have ill intentions. Gao Peng comforted everyone on the side not to panic. Act according to the situation. Actually, Gao Peng was in a panic in his heart. But it cannot be expressed either. And on the side of distributing food, Ah Si said to the civilians that it has nothing to do with you over there. Just take care of your food. A man who can be hidden among civilians. But he grinned. All things wither away. The voice fell. His body suddenly erupt, expanding rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. Wrapped in vines one by one. In an instant. Then he killed several followers who were distributing food around him, the mottled tree roots, like a spear piercing through the guards guarding the vehicles. Even the arrogant parrot died on the spot. I saw the light flickering on Ah Zhuang's hand. Then a blue and white giant tiger leaped out of the void. Let the thief die. The voice fell. The blue and white giant tiger's palms slammed fiercely on the ground. Night sky heavenly slash. Quickly the earth cracks rapidly, hundreds of meters long crazy extension towards the giant lizard beast, instantly split it in half. Gao Peng's heart was frozen. This kind of energy fluctuation is definitely holy level. That's really impressive. Two holy ranks just popped up randomly. This extremely blue and white giant tiger is just a gentle tap. The ground immediately left a crack several hundred meters long. Even the root-bearded giant beast that came from a surprise attack. They are also divided into two parts. In such a terrifying outbreak, 
Bai Hashuan beside him was also amazed. Is that all for now? Gao Peng's expression reflects the clouds. It's not that simple. Sure enough, the root-bearded giant beast that fell to the ground began to wriggle. The severed body is also rapidly connecting. Seems to have extremely high healing ability. Gao Peng looked up and saw, discovering that these plants are growing wildly. Covering the town is also a matter of time. So he instructed everyone to take advantage of the barrier not yet formed. Let's hide for a while now. The iron and stone-like city wall was frozen through by its roots. Countless branches extend from underground, then gather together in the blink of an eye. So I blocked the sky above my head. Then a deep voice echoed through the town. The wooden sword is diverse and diverse. The voice fell. All life forms on the ground, encapsulated by vines in an instant, drawing on their breath of life. The northern yellow rice on the side was sweating profusely from watching. These exotic jade kingdoms. People are too scary, right? Bian Hong said that the current situation seems like a sudden attack and killing, not necessarily from Mingyu Kingdom. At this moment, in the center of that battlefield, Ah Zhuang quickly said to the young master, You quickly hide in the car. Strange things in me. After saying these things, use the Imperial Sensor Skill Link. Quickly integrate with the blue and white giant tiger. And then from the mouth of the tiger, condensing an extremely rich shockwave, space crushing wave. I saw the violent shockwave turn into substance. Tian Quan to block the large number of vines in front of him, crushed and pierced through a huge gap. But these broken vines, as if it can regenerate infinitely, connected one by one again. The blue and white giant fox that releases shock waves. I'm also a bit tired. Looking at the fully healed vines, there is also some despair. At this moment, on the outskirts of that vast web, Gao Peng said to the people behind him that this black light, it can easily break through the barrier. But you see, that tiger-shaped jade beast is running out of stamina. It seems that the power of these jade beasts is impressive, but the endurance is not good. And he also has to take care of the carriage below. It's even harder to leverage his strengths. Bai Hai Xuan's face was heavy and heavy. The jade beast of the botanical series that he is fighting against. It relies on feeding on the life of other organisms to maintain the barrier, unless the core is found and shattered. Otherwise, the tiger will eventually be consumed to death. After returning, it is necessary to remind the tribe's small new type of jade beasts. At this moment, Gao Peng's fingertips swayed slightly, summoned Adai out, to purify the soul of the king here. By the way, could you please extract some useful memories from it? Hearing instructions, Adai immediately extended his applause. The flames of the undead are released one after another, instantly capturing the souls of those barbarians who died tragically, absorbed it back. After some screening, all gathered in the palm of Adai's hand. Master, there is a lot of fresh dead energy here. This is the memory crystal that I have distilled. Gao Peng immediately put his hand up. Pieces of processed memory fragments suddenly flooded into his consciousness. Here it is. Here it is. Ah Dai finally took action. Just a gesture of raising the hand. He instantly crushed a holy level jade beast that was crushing the entire venue, cut into fragments. Just now, Adai absorbed the nearby dead energy and extracted a memory crystal. Gao Peng directly raised his hand and put it up. Blocks of filtered memory fragments instantly flooded into his consciousness. The fresh tone on the side carried a hint of contempt. Is this a quasi-divine level jade? There are really many means. At this moment, in the center of the battlefield, the blue and white giant tiger is holding a girl in its mouth. Is everything okay, little master? The girl replied, I'm fine. Zhuang, are you okay? Zhuang, who blends in with the blue and white giant tiger, said he can rest assured. You hide on the back of the big tiger first. I will handle everything else. But I'm very clear in my heart. The young Mazi cannot keep up with it. This level of combat, he's afraid he won't be able to resist for long. At this moment, he suddenly saw the pierced gap above not fully recovered yet. I don't know if it's a trap, but for the safety of the young master, he can only give it a try. I rushed straight up. As expected, after the blue and white giant tiger rushes up, that huge gap, unexpectedly interwoven and merged together in an instant, and a person's face also appeared. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be so foolish. This hole is the flaw I deliberately left behind. Take it to death. Let the words fall. That giant face condensed a strong force from the mouth, shooting straight towards the blue and white giant tiger. But the blue and white giant tiger has light and agile steps. We launched an attack, but the shockwave crashed into the ground. A strong vibration occurred, 
make the few people hiding on the side also feel fearful. The pre-sale of this plant series, surprisingly, it also has such power. Even here, you can feel the white sea whirl in the shaking waves. Guess it may be due to the absorption of life energy. Translated from, at this moment, Gao Peng is absorbing the crystallization of memory. A slight shake of the body. The foolish man beside him is like the arrival of death. Stimulated layers of stagnant energy throughout the body. Excuse me, my master. Damn it. That whiskered giant beast still spoke in a blasphemous manner. Surprisingly, there is still a holy level lurking here. Your Mingyu kingdom is really cunning. Hearing the enemy's words, only then did Ah Zhuang, who was inside the blue and white giant fox, understand. So those few people just now? It's not a killer sent by Skull Country. I thought they had already been killed by Yu Bo in battle. At this moment, Adai raised his hand. Just lightly clenching your fist, the overwhelming lethargy swept across the world, transforming into ripples in circles, spread to all directions. That violent death energy is like a sharp blade, instantly transformed the body of the rooted giant beast, cut into pieces. What kind of power is this? What a terrifying deathlessness. Seeing this scene, Ah Zhuang silently shed a cold drop. What are the identities of those people like Khan? The purity in this field is too terrifying. Fortunately, the target is not us. Otherwise, the young master will be in danger. That rooting monster can't hold up for three seconds in that field. Decisively abandon the physical body. Want to escape. No, I need to send this message back. But Adai had no intention of letting him go. Do you want to escape? I saw Adai spread out his five fingers. Then press down one more time. Quickly above that rooting beast. A huge claw formed by the condensation of dead energy appeared. Quickly pressing down on him. In this moment... Even the void is shaken by it, violently shaking. Not long after, Gao Peng woke up from the sea of rocks. Finally, it has been absorbed completely. But when he opens his eyes and looks, discovering that there is a strand of beard root on the ground, and even desperately begging for mercy, Sir, spare your life. Sir, please spare your life. Gao Peng is somewhat speechless. What is the situation? The man went to Ming Yu Kingdom to inquire about intelligence, but unexpectedly saved the princess to repay his life-saving kindness. The princess even threatened to give him a coffin to sit in. Just now, Gao Peng has just absorbed the remaining memory crystals of the undead. I saw a holy-level monster begging for mercy under my feet. He couldn't help but scratch his head. Damn it, I'm just using memory crystallization. Have you learned some exotic languages? What exactly happened? At this point, the Fujisawa tree lord voluntarily disconnected from its owner. There was a disagreement between the two people. Master, don't be so humble to them. I saw a crack on the trunk of that tree. The voices were roaring low. You go first, I will protect you even if I die. Gao Peng was lost in thought. Unexpectedly, because I couldn't see my master's plea for mercy, I low head and actively detach from the combined state. This self-esteem is really strong. At this moment, Make Tang Shu Shu Zun suddenly jumped up in the air. The hands condensed an extremely terrifying energy. Raid towards Adai, but Adai just lifted it gently. Applause. Strands of stagnant energy quickly shot out, directly pierced through the huge head of Fujisawa Shuzun. The energy condensed in half by both hands is also dissipating at this moment. At this moment, Gao Peng also gave an instruction. Since Adai has already taken action, then don't even let go of his jade. Hearing instructions, Adai raised his merciless hand again. Wisps of lifelessness covered the jade stone and quickly drained his nutrients. Gao Peng glanced at the battlefield. I secretly thought to myself that this holy level jade beast of the plant system, I'm quite loyal. It's just that the intensity is too poor, isn't it? Both are holy ranks. Ah, Dai doesn't even know how to do his best close combat. Just relying on the aura of the undead, won't it? Because there is abundant energy here, causing breakthroughs to become too easy. So the overall level of these jade beasts, compared to jade beasts like Adai who fight from the bottom, do you want it to be worse? After killing Fujisawa Shuzun? Adai resurrected him again, becoming a member of one's own army of undead spirits. I saw Adai casually wave his hand. The pitch-black robe emitted a hoarse sound. Step back, let's leave the words behind. The vine tree respected the undead walking with the wind, in the wilderness land, gradually moving away, temporarily out of everyone's sight. At this moment, Bai Hai Xuan was amazed and amazed. Gao Peng, this imperial beast of the undead series, even in the holy rank. Is it also a top-notch existence? Lei Hu nodded silently. It is said that he also has a quasi-divine state of mind. Oh, I really envy the physique of the people in the center of the earth. 
But Zehai beside him couldn't help but frown. I secretly thought to myself that this Gao Peng is really tricky. This is a named Zhuang who came to express his gratitude. Hero, it was you who saved me just now. We haven't finished speaking yet. That sweet-looking exotic princess rushed over. Grasp Gao Peng's hand, thank you for saving us. He even showed a flirtatious expression on his face. Can I ask my father to give me a female official seat? Ah, Gao Peng is a bit scared. I thought to myself, is a person from the inner earth doing official work here? Do you want to play undercover? Subsequently, using a foreign language learned from memory crystallization just now. Lei Da, are you a princess? The princess quickly nodded. His face was full of admiration. Cough twice to Ajuang on the side. Signal the princess to pay attention to her image. Gao Peng sees him so innocent. His face was covered in silence. What a restless little princess she is. It's over, it's over. Gao Peng's sexual orientation, unexpectedly questioned by two tribal girls. Just now, the princess of Mingyu kingdom thanked Gao Peng. I want him to stay and become an official. At this moment, Yu Jin whispered, What are they chattering about? Is that little girl interested in Gao Peng? The nearby Ching Ching also agreed with a sentence. It must be you who saw his face full of shyness. If Gao Peng is taken away by them, what can we do? Bai Haishuan immediately shook her hand. What we go and talk about are all outrageous things. I don't think Gao Peng is that kind of person. People who can't walk when they see beautiful women. As soon as this sentence is spoken, Ching Ching and Bei Huang Min surrounded each other. Really? Yes? Gao Peng lived in your white dragon tribe for a period of time. You must know a lot. Let's talk more specifically about it. At this point, Yu Zijing glanced at Zehai, who remained silent. What do you think? Zehai doesn't even look at it. Closed his eyes and answered coldly. Hmm, you guys are really boring. At this moment, Gao Peng politely bowed. Royal Highness, Princess. Now, like today, there is a dispute. Our senior brothers and sisters were ordered by our master to go down the mountain to seek opportunities. The princess was surprised. I see. Ah Zhuang beside him secretly thought to himself. This person's accent carries the accent of Shaolin Town. It should be people who have lived nearby for a long time. I don't think I'm lying. Just people from Shaolin Town. Just now I was killed by that old jade. It's also impossible to distinguish whether his words are true or false. Don't wait for him to think more. Gao Peng waved. Wave your hand and prepare to leave, since the princess is safe. We won't disturb you anymore. Say goodbye and face the team behind you, using a set of language to loudly command us to leave. At this moment, Bai Haixuan asked softly if it was okay. When did you learn a set of languages, Gao Peng? Gao Peng gestured to him not to speak. This is the ability to pre-sail. I'll explain later. Hurry up and leave now. However, Ah Zhuang thought he suspected being wrong. Hurry up and shout loudly for the hero. Please stay for a moment. The princess of Mingyu kingdom on the side also shouted loudly. You haven't reported your name yet, but Gao didn't even look back. Just a gentle wave of my hand. Say goodbye in a set of words. Are they a group of extremely panic and anxious in Gao Peng's heart? Are you joking? These few procrastinators don't even know how to say a word. I can't understand even if I hear it. Stay a little longer and your identity will be exposed. Moreover, there seems to be a restless force in this guy's body. I can't control it. At this moment, those walking at the end of the team still have a gloomy expression on their faces. Seems to be suppressing my body. A certain restless and restless force. At night, at a certain inn in Falling Star City, Gao Peng and his team have been staying in a room here for five days. At this point, Ching Ching and others have also fallen asleep. Only Lei Hu's sleeping state is extremely ugly, snoring on the side, drooling on one side, feeling tormented by the bright red in the neighboring room. This guy snores so loudly. This is separated by a wall. How can the people of the Mule tribe tolerate him? And in another, the bedding on the bed has already been opened. It's empty inside. At this moment, a man is wearing a black robe. Push open the door, sneaked out of the inn. Here it is, here it is. Pang Dahai finally revealed his true identity, transformed into a mythical monster that kills gods in ancient times. Just now, Zahai sneaked out of the inn in the middle of the night, intentionally visiting a sparsely populated suburb. At this moment, he suddenly stopped in his tracks. Then I turned around and glanced with my spare light. Follow me all the way. Aren't you tired, Gao Peng? At this moment, behind Zahai, that space suddenly twisted. Soon, a circular golden armored battle beast slowly emerged. Gao Peng saw the situation, and no longer hidden. Immediately unlinked, separated from the body of the versatile ant dragon. Zehai sighed. I didn't expect you to keep up. Why did they keep up? 
Isn't it good to be alive? Actually, I really appreciate you, because you are different from people like me who have adventures. You are a truce. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng also silently sighed in his heart. Is this going to be a showdown? Actually, I can't be considered a true genius either. I saw Zihai holding his hand high. The space behind begins to warp. Soon, a huge and ferocious beast suddenly appeared before my eyes, like a small hill falling heavily on the ground. Almost simultaneously, Zehai has already used the Imperial Sensor skill link. Quickly integrate with the Plague King bloodline. Then a frenzy of energy followed, overflowing from the body of the Plague King blood lizard. The scales on his body surface are also crazily tearing apart at this moment. Not long ago, his appearance has undergone a revolutionary change. Obviously, this has broken through the barrier between the Holy Pole and the Quasi-God, and the purple blood mist overflowing from around splashed onto the ground. Crazy corrosion of all the surrounding vitality. Your pre-sale just broke through the limit a month ago, just entering the quasi-divine realm. I want to kill you! It won't even hit. Seeing the other party think they already have the chance to win, Gao Peng just smiled indifferently. Quasi-god, right? The sea, while speaking, Gao Peng raised his hand and lightly tapped his finger. Soon, a fat-headed fish was sleeping soundly, summoned out, falling to the ground, just like a dead fish. At this moment, Pang Da Hai's eyes are half open and half closed. Keep looking around and looking around. What's going on? What's going on? What, this is seeing a salted fish? Fight left and right over there. Zehai immediately became angry. Opening his huge mouth and roaring loudly, Gao Peng. How dare you use such a small character to tease me? As soon as this sentence is spoken, Pang Da Hai, who was originally dizzy and swollen, suddenly woke up. What little character? You have a clear view. Just finish speaking on the corners of Pang Dahai's mouth and nostrils, simultaneously exhaling a terrifying aura. At this moment, the strong wind swept across thousands of miles. A thick layer of smoke rolled up all around. In the blink of an eye, a roaring ancient creature in the world is a divine demon beast. Appearing in front of me, its volume is even larger than several peaks combined. Every shiny and dark scale, they all have houses that big. The Plague King Blood Lizard who was just showing off his prowess suddenly insignificant like ants. Here it is, here it is. Pang Da Hai's strength has been restored to the quasi-divine realm. What kind of existence is it? Surprisingly, he used other quasi-divine jade beasts as food rations, even swallowed one in one gulp. Just now, Zhe Hai intentionally led Gao Peng to the outskirts, intending to use the quasi-divine jade beast to kill him. But I didn't expect that. The strength of Pang Da Hai summoned by Gao Peng is immeasurable evolved into a ferocious beast roaring between heaven and earth. At this moment, Zehai panicked in the Plague King's blood suction system. This cannot be the newly promoted quasi-god Gao Ping. You're hiding. haven't finished speaking yet. He was swallowed alive on the spot by the ferocious mouth of Pang Dahai. Even the ground has a large depression. Gao Peng came to the giant pit and sighed. Take a look. Why do we have to fight and kill? Isn't it good to be alive? Actually, I really appreciate you too. After all, it's rare that you, like me, are also a cheater. At this moment, Pang Da Hai connects the rocks on the ground. Also chewing together in the mouth. I only chewed a few times. Immediately spit out a piece of flesh and blood. What the hell is this? So smelly. I saw a severed finger wrapped in flesh and blood, occasionally wriggling. What is this thing? Ah, wait for Pang Da Hai to take a second look. The severed finger in contact with the air is like a shell, quickly shooting towards the distance. The high friend on the side had already anticipated. Egg Egg instructed that it can run quite well. The sea stopped him for me. Pang Hai's volume instantly shrinks. Take out the essence of the endless cycle maze from your arms. Answer, got it. Once I know, I'll show you how to use maze again. I saw that the maze had split into several fragments and then intertwined with each other, like a net thrown out. Soon, the cut paper was wrapped up. No matter how hard he struggled, he couldn't break free. Gao Peng immediately froze in place. Can't resist roast. This maze artifact can still be played like this. The cutting paper no longer struggles. But instead, he spoke up and said that mortals are gods. I can give you endless strength. I can make you the strongest imperial censor. As soon as this sentence is spoken, Pang Da Hai seems to have been angered. He picked up his body shape, directly pressed down on the severed finger. Shut up, please. Then he smiled and said to Gao Peng, It's nothing. Gao Peng, don't listen to his nonsense. But there are other thoughts in my heart. I am enough for the gods around Gao Peng. A glimmer of wisdom flashed in Gao Peng's eyes. 
This guy should have the severed finger of the plague god on his body. That's not it, is it? Upon hearing this, Pang Dahai, suddenly stunned. How do you know? Gao Peng slowly leaned over and made way. Pang Dahai is currently nervous and sweating profusely. I had no choice but to retrieve the maze artifact. Monster name God of Plague Remnants. Monster introduction contains the residual will of the God of Plague. And it also contains a small amount of divine power from the Plague God. Can deal with monsters below the divine level. Causing certain infections. That part just continued to say, I know you're still struggling. Adhere to one's true self. I can give you the power you've been dreaming of. But Gao Peng didn't play according to the routine. Turning around and waving, what are you saying? Pang Dahai, why don't you eat it? Hear the command? Pang Dahai immediately opened his mouth full of golden teeth. Scared, the broken finger begged for mercy repeatedly. Wait, I have a treasure. As long as you sign a blood contract with me, I'll tell you the location of that treasure. That was when I was once a god. The treasures that have been accumulated. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng immediately turned back and exuding a devilish smile. So let's put it in detail. He was originally a monster who had become a god through cultivation, formerly established a religion, ruled many humans, but now only a conscious severed finger remains. Just now, Pang Dahai devoured Zehai's quasi-god and imperial beast in one bite, Plague King blood aspiration, and then spat out a severed finger wrapped in flesh and blood. That severed finger even spoke up. As long as Gao Peng signs a blood gas contract with him, promised to tell him the treasures accumulated during his lifetime but it was rejected by Pang Dahai. Gao Peng, don't listen to him. This guy is the god of plague, and it's still a remnant of a deity? There is still a small amount of divine power remaining in his body. Divine power is a very disgusting and troublesome thing. If you are not careful, you will be contaminated by divine power. It'll be really troublesome then. Let me tell you, why not just kill him? To prevent future troubles, Pang Dahai bin said. He made a gesture with his fins to kill him. Gao Peng leaned in. Quiet inquiry. Is there anything you can do about it? Retrieve memories of the treasure from his mind. If you can get it, I will hand him over to you for disposal. Upon hearing this, Pang Dahai immediately tilted his mouth and smiled. Yeah, but you have to let Adai cooperate with me. In a few minutes, Pang Dahai opened his mouth full of golden teeth. He gave him a hiccup when he was full of food and drink. And then touch my round belly. Keep shouting. Oh my, one mistake made me eat too much. I need to rest. When Gao Peng needs me, shout me out again. Gao Peng gave a helpless wink. Then recall Pang Da Hai. I saw his body sway, suddenly burrowed into the void. Disappearance. At this point, a severed limb is suspended in the palm of a Dai's hand. Master, his own memory is not very complete. Many memories have been shattered. Fortunately, his memory of the treasure still exists. Perhaps the obsession to make a comeback is too strong. Gao Peng helplessly lifted it down. Not bad. Is there anything else interesting about that? Adai continued to say. This literary god is a monster at the level of a lower god. Without an imperial censor, Gao Peng was a bit surprised. How could this be? Adai explained that, yes, the god of plague is a monster cultivated into a god. But although he doesn't have an imperial censor, but there are many humans who have been unified by him. He also established a religion. That religion used to develop on a large scale, unfortunately. The divine-level imperial censor of Mingyu Kingdom and Skull Kingdom. Jointly destroy. This god of literature and art also fell at that time. At that time, they are two divine-level imperial governors of Mingyu Kingdom and Skull Kingdom. Fighting. The god of plague wants to hide aside and gather his strength. And as a result, he was killed by two divine-level imperial governors working together. Gao Peng crooked his mouth and smiled. How do I feel that those two Imperial Guards fighting are fake? It's true to want to bring him out. And then the plague foolishly fell for it. Made a confused ghost. In the middle of the night. I'm exhausted. Let's get back to business. How far is the treasure from here? Adai said calmly. The peak period of the One God. It only takes about six hours. But judging from the speed of Dragon Peak, it should take more than a week. As soon as this sentence is spoken, Gao Peng immediately dropped his chin in shock. This time is a bit awkward. Do we have to give up temporarily? This man killed his teammate in the middle of the night. But when we gather during the day, we pretend to be angry. When it still means not following the regulations, all gatherings will be treated as leaving the team without authorization. Just now, four people gathered in the yard early in the morning. Throw the tissue and say what time it is. Isn't it agreed to gather at Gao Peng's side? Zehai people, 
And Lei Hu Yan Hong is not here either. Ching Ching is a bit worried. Have they gone out to do something? What's wrong with losing Zijin? Is there anyone among us who hides their strength? Do you have your own secret mission? Ishuan sighed and sighed. It's not that I can't understand. Everyone is a key elite trained by the tribe. People with high morale. Maybe I still want to go out and explore on my own. Just as everyone was discussing, the door in front of me was slowly pushed open. Then came greetings from Gao Peng. Good morning, everyone. Why are there only four of you? What about the others? Ching Ching truthfully reports to you. The rooms of Zehai and Lehu are both empty. People don't know where they went, either. Gao Peng's voice became low and profound. Since we didn't meet at the designated time, let's count it as leaving the team without authorization. We don't need to wait anymore. We will punish severely. After speaking, he coldly turned around and left. A few people later also noticed Gao Peng's dissatisfaction. Yu Zijing murmured softly about you. Do you want to continue following Gao Peng? Bai Hai Xuan nodded, of course. Our clan leader issued a death order. Let me follow closely with Gao Peng. And we haven't learned any foreign languages yet. Not who are you with. Ching Ching also means that the spirit of youth is different. To move forward and retreat from the white dragon, Bei Huang Min said. Our ancestor Ching Yan also repeatedly instructed us. I need to listen to Gao Peng's arrangement. But where is Yan Cheng? Who knows? Bai Hai Xuan pondered for a moment. I had an impression when I looked at the map before. It seems to be a city west of Mingyu Kingdom. Yuzi Jin Yiting. Get excited immediately. Aren't we currently in the southeast of Mingyu Kingdom? Do we mean to cross the entire Mingyu Kingdom? Why? Ching Ching Lian by the ground, hurriedly hissed. Signal to calm down, Yuzijin. Knowing that someone left without permission, Gao Peng's face is no longer very attractive. It's better not to ask now. Let's talk about it when we find a chance in the future. However, the conversation between everyone had already been heard clearly by Gao Peng. Why? Of course it's because the sect founded by the god of plague in Yan Cheng. Want his treasure? We have to go near Yan Cheng now. When asked, I will definitely reply. They completely crossed a foreign kingdom. Helps us obtain more useful intelligence. The elites of this tribe are really well protected. Brains are getting cleaner and cleaner one by one. Do you think others can't hear your sweet voice? There are no contractual restrictions in our center of the earth. Even if each imperial beast gives the imperial censor very little bonus. The insensitivity after several overlays. But the tribal censor is comparable. This differentiated detail. Not a single person has realized it for so long. Sooner or later we will suffer a big loss. Oh my, it's another day worrying about the future of our allies. Soon after a week, everyone arrived within the territory of Yan Cheng. They each set up tents nearby to rest. But it's already midnight. Gao Peng suddenly opened his eyes and glanced outside. Horde tents. There hasn't been any movement over there. Obviously it's dinner time. The calming herbs I secretly released myself. Laughing and working hard these past few days. I should be able to sleep well. On his black robe and went out. I plan to secretly go there. A place where the plague god accumulates treasures. Here it is. Here it is. Adai. Finally, we need to refine and merge the toe bones of the plague god. Just now, Gao Peng took advantage of the stillness of the night. Arriving alone in a spacious area. A lawn that can be far away from rest areas. Then decisively summoned the fool out. And issued instructions. Let's refine here. Quickly, a snow-white phalanx covered all over the body. Suspended in the palm of Adai's hand. Still emitting waves of ice. Cold luster. The special characteristics of Adai's body. Allowing him to freely blend other bones. Transforming these bones into one's own bones. And thoroughly absorb the essence inside. Like integrating these external bones into one's own body. It has no impact on Adai. Of course, this is not an exception for Adai. In fact, many bone-based monsters. This method can be used to achieve rapid evolution. This also that. How important is a good corpse, really? When I was alive, I struggled with my background. Even if you die, you have to fight hard. The quality of bones. It's really too convoluted. Before long, Adai's body stiffened slightly. Barely fused the phalanx of this deity. Fortunately, the five fingers after the myth can just afford it. Gao Peng suddenly breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, I deliberately set up camp separately from others. Otherwise, the idiot will look like this. If anyone wakes up at night and is scared to death, before entering Yan Cheng, Succeeded in refining severed fingers. The time is just right. Just like this, a week passed. Everyone has finally arrived at Yan Cheng, Elder outside the city gate. Not everyone said. Many different races back then. Do we all learn the lifestyle of our tribe? 
How come the buildings are all in a mess? Biao Zijing said that compared to other races, the center of the earth is still homologous to us. Each developed for so long. No, there are also two styles. At this moment, Gao Peng interrupted all of them. Please pay more attention to the side at the city gate. At this moment, a soldier has a very hot temper. Shouted angrily at the people queuing up to enter the city. Coming over. Take off your hat. The north yellow mud behind pointed to the city gate and said, Look at that mirror. Every time someone passes by, this mirror will shine. Is that mirror also a presale? Bai Hai Xuan's face was solemn, so it's probably not wrong. This mirror should have a similar ability to verify identity. Upon hearing this, Bei Huangmi suddenly went crazy. What should we do then? Standing on, Gao Peng in front turned around to calm everyone down. Don't worry, stay calm. Let's go take a look first. And on this side at the city gate, long queues have already formed. Those soldiers are still shouting and queuing up. Everyone who enters the city today must undergo an examination. One of the foreigners wearing a black robe. I'm already sweating profusely. Seeing that it's almost time for self-examination, he quickly turned around and walked escape. But it was discovered by a soldier. Immediately point at him and shout at the person in the cloak in front of him. Don't leave and wait for inspection. Hear the soldiers shouting. That person not only didn't stop, but also, on the contrary, it also accelerated its pace. Soldiers see the situation. Summon a wolf-shaped jade beast directly. That person is very suspicious. Get him for me. It's over, it's over. This bright mirror wants to detect the breath on Gao Peng's body, but unintentionally offended him. Life inside the body is almost being swallowed by the fat sea. Just now, the soldiers guarding the city gate have discovered suspicious aliens. Immediately summon a wolf-shaped jade beast and pounce. The foreigner wearing a black robe. I haven't had a chance to resist yet. Just be subdued on the spot. The soldier guarding the city gate is wearing that mirror. The jade beast shone on him, soon above the woman's head. Wisps of green atmosphere emerged. He represents the remnants of the Duan sect. The woman with a frightened face wants plain. No, I'm not me. I'm just a jade beast with poisonous gas. I am not a member of the Duan sect. Let go of me. But the officer beside me ignored me. He also doesn't want to waste time. Is it possible for the remaining sins to be suppressed? You will know after the first trial. Take it away and then appease other frightened civilians. The remaining sins of Du Wen Zhao have been taken away. Don't panic, everyone. Everyone continues to queue up for inspection. The young people watching the play from behind were somewhat surprised. What kind of jade beast is this? It looks so impressive. Liu Zijin breathed a sigh of relief instead. It seems that we can only distinguish the category of jade beasts. Are we safe now? At this moment, Gao Peng glanced around. The attribute panel of that mirror appeared before my eyes. Mingguang Mirror, Episode 62, Yellow Episode. Pre-sale of mirrors that can distinguish breath. Still able to scout enemy tracks. Crack the illusion. Because of special abilities. Thus suffering from a large amount of... Now it has disappeared from the wild. After reading the data, Gao Peng said to the crowd, Don't worry, everyone. It should be like what Yu Zijing guessed. There won't be any problems. Subsequently, Gao Peng ranked at the forefront of the team. It wasn't long before he was checked. I saw a flicker on the surface of the bright mirror. Then the light shone on Gao Peng's body, immediately detected the hidden breath inside its body. Is it a drop of water? No problem. It's a pre-sale of the water system. But at this moment, the bright mirror detected something unusual in its own senses. I saw the drop of water inside the young man's body getting bigger and bigger. In the end, it even turned into a vast ocean. He can clearly feel it. My own world is being invaded by the ocean. The entire space suddenly turned into darkness, confinement, and fear. Suddenly in that dark, deep sea, a few huge light spots emerged. At this moment, the bright mirror shuddered. Soon, the giant creature quickly approached, and open rows of densely packed teeth. Voice emanates from the throat. Dare to spy on the gods? You have a lot of courage. Scared, the mirror immediately detached from the sensory world, like a frightened kitten. Hided behind the soldiers. That soldier doesn't mind either. I thought to myself that I must have seen some powerful beast again. This guy is too timid to go. Although afraid, but nothing happened. There shouldn't be any major issues. Looking more unfamiliar. Maybe it's another hidden big shot. Thinking of this, the soldier who has always been hot-tempered managed to squeeze out. A faint smile. Sir, please come in quickly. At this moment, Gao Peng felt proud in his heart. Great job at sea. But the chubby sea inside said, just a small character with reconnaissance skills. I've seen this kind of goods many times. Here it is, here it is. 
Gao Peng has finally arrived. The location where the plague god buried treasures. It's pitch black inside. Even the versatile ant dragon with white polar day pupils. I can't see clearly inside the cave either. Just a few hours, a bright mirror wants to detect the aura of Gao Peng's presale. But he was frightened by the quasi-god Peng Dahai inside his body on the spot. Gone. I can only hide behind the defending soldiers, shivering and trembling. The soldier who has always had a hot temper. Just barely squeezed a smile out of his face. Sir, please come in quickly. Gao Peng saw that he had good eyesight. Continue to inquire. What's wrong? Don't you need to double check? That soldier is silly and silly with a silly smile. Sir, I'm joking. Our bright mirrors dare not look directly at us. You are so strong. How did you join the Dawin sect? Gao Peng followed suit and continued to inquire. Is that so? Thank you very much for your kindness. But I still have a few friends. The soldier quickly answered the call. No avoidance, no avoidance. Since it's an adult, your friend. Then it's definitely not those people from the Fighting Plague sect. Then he smiled and handed over a token. Sir, this is my identity token. Recently, there have been frequent investigations into the remnants of the Dawin sect. A token can also save a lot of trouble. Such a convenient token. Gao Peng naturally won't miss it. Thank you very much for your kindness. That's it. Several people followed Gao Peng into the city with a bewildered expression on their faces. Ah, Bei Huang Min is even a bit unbelievable. I thought I was dreaming. And behind them, the soldier guarding the city has been watching them enter the city. Until the figure disappears before my eyes, another saint level or higher powerhouse has entered Salt City. What a tumultuous autumn. We need to report to the general as soon as possible. At night, Gao Peng and others randomly found an inn. Because there is a command in hand. I didn't encounter any trouble with the cards either. At this point, Bai Hai Xuan and Yu Zijin are playing a card game. Mine is grounded with four attributes. You lost again. According to the agreement, I sleep on the bed, you sleep on the floor. K. Yu Zijin is very dissatisfied, damn it. Why is your luck so bad today? Come again, but Bai Hai Xuan has a disdainful expression on his face. Don't come again. It's agreed to win two out of three games. You really lost six times. Take your sleeping bag. And the other room. The two girls have already gone to bed and gone to bed. Just Ching Ching couldn't sleep all along. This northern princess has never been told by anyone. Do you sleep poorly? Two hours later, after confirming that everyone was already asleep, Gao Peng quietly summoned the versatile ant dragon and activated the imperial sensor skill link. Integrate with it. After switching to stealth mode, push open the window, silently disappearing into the darkness. Soon he flew over mountains and forests one after another, finally quietly landed at the foot of a small hill outside the city. According to the memory of the plague god, the treasures he accumulated during his lifetime, it should be in the mountainous area to the east. Soon, Gao Peng saw a large number of vines hanging down ahead, blocked the entrance to the secluded cave inside. I saw the versatile ant dragon rudely descending the wall, instead the tangled vines that had been entangled for many years. Soon. A pitch-black passage appeared before my eyes. Gao Peng quickly instructed the Hundred Changes Ant Dragon. Switch to the white extreme curse light tube for two children. But I found that I couldn't even see the power of the dragon ants clearly. The situation inside the cave. I guess there have already been some decorations done inside. If a pig reaches the level of quasi-god, perhaps one of his smiles can scare you half to death. Just now, Gao Peng leads the ever-changing ant dragon arriving at the cave where the plague god buried treasures. Even with the use of Erwa's white extreme curse light tube, I can only see the interior of the cave within a field of view of nearly ten meters. Growing on the damp cave walls, full of moss, the grayish white rock walls were stained with water and turned black-brown, just like in the memory of the plague god. At this time, the mutation made roast, the posture of just activating the ability. The master can actually activate it without that gesture. But Gao Peng is also a man who sticks to anime. You don't understand. You don't understand. Handsome posture. To get back to the point, let's continue to delve deeper into it. The cave extends downwards, and this is a secret passage leading to his treasure room. Soon, the dripping sound of water came from the cave. This also indicates that they are very close to the location of Ling Tan. According to the cautious personality of the plague god, the cunning rabbit, three caves. Under the control of Gao Peng, the versatile ant cage has turned several corners. Finally arrived in front of a spirit pond. This water surface to body case. Gao Peng estimates that this is a poisonous spirit pool. In the memory of the plague god, nine heavens and ten earths. The people from different ethnic groups here are very particular. 
something called a pond, using various rare spiritual items. Absorb the essence of heaven, earth, sun, and moon. Use your own assistance to cultivate a spirit pool by guarding beasts. This Tan family, back then, was used many talented treasures to create. Now it's also abandoned. Just as Gao Peng was pondering, Tan Mian suddenly began to make a gurgling sound, continuously bubbling up. Soon, a round and rolling pig head emerged from the spiritual altar, still squinting his small eyes and staring at Gao Peng. After a long time, this cat-eared, pig-headed monster? Suddenly ask the golden-armored warcraft in front of you. Who are you? Gao Peng controls all kinds of changes with the dragon. Answer, I am a believer in the god of plague. He asked me to pick up some things. The cat-eared pighead smiled kindly and said, Turns out to be a follower of the master. What is my name then? While speaking, the harmony on the face instantly disappears, replaced by an extremely terrifying and ferocious face. However, the memory of the god of plague, a high friend, had long been anticipated. He remained expressionless. I said your nickname is Xiao Ming. That cat ear and pig head have returned to normal. Correct answer. It seems that you are indeed a follower of the master. At this moment, rows of attributes flashed through Gao Peng's eyes. His face suddenly became solemn. This round bead is level 94. Quasi-divine level, this is a type of monster with a simple personality. Lazy personality. Likes to sleep in a certain place for a long time. Because of special abilities. Often caught by gods as a gatekeeper. The round bead slowly sank into the spirit pool. The master's treasure trove is right behind. Just walk straight and you'll be there. Gao Peng quickly stepped forward and walked over. I thought it was okay. These pieces of information are still preserved in the memory of the plague god. This little pig is a bit clumsy, but it's quite considerate. I don't know how long I've been gone. He lost his sight with a flick of his white spine, cursed pupils. Finally arrived at the gate. Gao Peng quickly pulled the ring on the dilapidated gate. Soon the door was violently pushed open. Rows of jars resembling large jars. Appearing in front of me, these jars. What kind of spiritual talent is stored? Only then can Xiao Yan's energy surge after consuming it. Unable to control the spread of flames everywhere. Just now, Gao Peng controls the body of the versatile ant dragon. Found the treasure trove of the plague god. What caught the eye was a spacious room. Divine artifacts and treasures. What about Yi Zhan, who agreed to rise again? Shouldn't good things be piled up? There's no way. Gao Peng had to separate from the body of the versatile ant dragon. Memories about what is in the treasure trove. It is indeed missing. But the memory of how to find the treasure trove is so profound. There can't be nothing in here. Then he saw on the ground. Rows of ordinary clay jars are placed. I thought to myself, except for some debris. Only these things are the most suspicious. But all these clay jars are sealed with iron blocks. I've never heard of top-level treasures being stored like this before. It's better to say that, after the treasure was excavated, there are too many things to fit properly, and those that were not taken away. At this moment, the chubby sea suddenly appears in space. I smell the scent of the divine image. And then he pounced on those clay jars with all his might. Gao Peng was immediately shocked. Shentu is a new term. What is this thing? Seeing Peng Da Hai constantly rubbing his flesh against the earthen jar, Gao Peng was both speechless and puzzled. Are these ordinary clay jars? Are you really hiding treasures? Peng Da Hai is explaining now. God's image, of course, it's a good thing. It should be the plague god. Something prepared for oneself. This thing is beneficial to real gods. Do you think it's a good thing? You can summon other imperial beasts as well. This thing is a big supplement. I also dealt with a group of divine disciples back then. There isn't as much as him. Stop talking. I'll do it first as a gesture of respect. After speaking, he jumped up and down, drilled into the earthen jar. This made Gao Peng suspicious. Peng Da Hai is such a greedy guy. Surprisingly, there's still something good that I can't swallow own, just as he was pondering. The tile jar with the lid open. Surprisingly, the property panel appeared. But the description provided by the system is very vague. I don't even have a material list. It seems to have exceeded my current capacity limit. That's really a good thing, thinking of this. Gao Peng almost summoned out all the jade beasts. Xiao Huang opened this earthen jar for me. Pang Da Hai said there is something good inside that he wants to share with us. The release finger joint of little yellow pine. Interesting chubby fish doesn't even know how to grill skewers. Leave someone a shred of meat. I actually know how to share it. With Xiao Huang's violent opening, Gao Peng also quickly poked his head over. But he only saw the pitch black liquid. Like ink. There should be something inside. 
Ah Chun, give me a spoon. After receiving the spoon, Gao Peng started stirring inside. Can clearly feel the spoon touching something. Objects tremble along with the water surface. A humanoid silhouette wrapped in bandages, suddenly floating up from the tank. Immediately frightened, Gao Peng spat out a fragrant aroma in his mouth. Taking a big step back, what kind of thing? Mummy child. Pang Da Hai sneered beside him. Look at your virtue. This is made from the corpse of a monster cub. Not human. Gao Peng pinched his sweat. Scare me a little. Then you guys can eat it. At this moment, Xiao Yan takes a step forward, looking at the black liquid in the jar. I can't help but feel a little disgusted. Xiao Huang, on the other hand, provided a deadly wave of assists. If you don't like it, then don't eat it. What's the big deal? Xiao Yan glanced at him. You shut up? Then he lowered his head and swallowed a small mouthful of the rope in the tank. At first I thought the taste was good, but soon he realized something was wrong. A wave of energy is restless and restless in the body. In the end, I couldn't help but burst out flames everywhere. Burn so much that Xiao Huang curses at you like you're going crazy. Don't burn me. I'm scalded to death. This ice lion. I just licked the black liquid on my paws. I felt the ice energy in my body, slightly breaking through to a certain level. Just now, Xiao Yan swallowed a mouthful of divine soil. The temperature inside the body suddenly rises. I can't help but set fire everywhere. The little yellow on the side was deeply affected by it, continuously screaming in agony. Gao Peng immediately gave a glance to the frost technician. The lion quickly helped them both cool down. I saw a small wave of the cold frost technician's paw. A burst of cold light followed suit, instantly extinguished the raging fire inside the cave. Fall to the ground. Xiao Wang took a deep breath, finally calmed down. At this moment, Frost is very surprised to help the world. Gao Peng, this divine disciple, has a strong effect. I feel like I have control over ice properties. It has risen several levels again. There is a faint feeling of wanting to break through. Pang Da Hai beside explained. This is a jade beast that uses perfect quality or higher. Refined. It must also be infants and young children. It's extremely rare. Gao Peng seems lost in thought. Every epic quality and the jade beast above it. They are different from perfect quality jade beasts. They have a more special power. Epic quality beasts are not uncommon to me, but that doesn't mean it's not rare. In fact, on the tribe side, only high level and a few elite individuals are likely to have one. Emperor Star is even rarer. I can't even afford to give it up in time. How could it be possible? Using epic quality offspring to refine medicine, those elders may be going crazy, if that's the case. So the reason why a god brings about the calamity of murder, it's very subtle. Pang Da Hai continues to explain, not just cubs, every other year. We need to add a large number of spiritual items to each divine image. Here are 81 divine images. I doubt the origin of this plague god. Basically, they all hit the gods and disciples. It was a moment of ecstasy for the gods and disciples. A hundred years of poverty in the cold window, ding dang. Stop talking, stop talking. Some Piao Huang first. How many more do you eat? Maybe it can grow some hair. Xiao Huang was very surprised. Oh, the sea, you're too righteous this time. Next time I send skewers to your daughter, I'll definitely tell you something good. Actually, Pang Da Hai has other thoughts in his heart. These bumpkins don't know the value of the apostles. I can also quietly swallow it alone. It's just that everyone is under Gao Peng's control. Confused to looking up but not seeing, looking down to see, eating too unattractive can lead to isolation. Although Gao Peng is a bit stingy, but without him, I probably would still be hiding in the sea. To restore the divine rank, one must hold it for at least a thousand years. And his jade beasts are of high quality. As long as it doesn't die prematurely, in the future, it will surely become a great achievement. That skeleton is mostly foolish, needless to say. The eldest son also has secrets on him. I was beaten up because there were too few artifacts back then. Without a helper, we must change the child's voice this time. Counterattack the king. Thinking of this, Pang Da Hai's saliva couldn't help flowing out. The way jade beasts digest divine images varies. Adai stands there. Transform these liquids into gases in place. Inhale into the center of the eyebrows. Not long ago, there were a total of 81 divine images. I was completely eaten by these foodies. Each jade beast's belly looks like a balloon. Just the poor little yellow on the side. Continuously scrutinizing in the mirror. Crying and complaining about not being able to grow hair to avoid later discovery that this place has been cleaned up. Gao Peng asked Achun to put all the jars into space. Listen to Peng Da Hai. These jars are also valuable. Because ordinary jars cannot be used as divine kitchen containers. 
Then he snapped his fingers and recalled all the pre-sales. But I always feel like something's not right. After thinking about it, he summoned Ah Chun out again. Ah Chun, give me a box of DJ Gold boxes. The latecomers worked tirelessly to find this place. But there was nothing. Those who are prone to high blood pressure under great joy and great sorrow. Having this DJ Gold box can also be considered a consolation prize. Hey, I'm just too easy to think for others. Finally, Gao Peng shrouded all the changes in order to envelop him. Close the door carefully. Then he followed the way back to the poison spirit pool, just as I was about to leave. But the sound of water came from the surface of the pond. That quasi-divine level round bead? Unexpectedly, he once again explored the spirit pool. Ask Gao Peng, are you leaving now? Gao Peng manipulated the ever-changing dragon and replied, Yes. I have to go now. I need to go back and report to the adults. Just finish speaking. Ben Yuanju's face suddenly darkened. I already knew that the adult had fallen. This is an upper body pig head, a quasi-god level monster with a lower body python. He has an unknown hobby. Just pinch his furry cat ears. The whole body will wriggle wildly there. Just now, Gao Peng finished searching for the treasure and was about to leave, but was stopped by the original pig in the Ling Tan. Turns out he already knew that the god of plague had fallen. At the beginning, Gao Peng, still a bit nervous, because in this sealed environment, dealing with this quasi-god level gas monster, it's not a wise move. But Ben Yuan Ju saw that he had not moved for a long time. Speaking again, cut. If I want to eat you, I just ate it. The person who is talking to me now, actually it's the Imperial Censor who is in harmony with you. I also know these things. Since you know my name, I think we have a strong relationship with adults. If it's an enemy or enemy, I definitely won't know my name. Faced with this clever quasi-god monster, Gao Peng naturally wouldn't die, quickly nodding to default. That's right, that's right. You can see it all out now. Just finished speaking. This round ball suddenly jumped up from the surface of the pond. The figure lost its trace in an instant. In the blink of an eye, he appeared on the ground. Originally, it was under the cat's ear and pig's head. It has a slippery python body. Ben said, can you come out? Gao Peng is naturally unwilling. Hastily unlink in front of a quasi-god monster. It's a very dangerous thing. The original work continues to talk about the past. When adults are alone with me. Like to transform into a circle and pinch my ears. Can you help pinch my ear? Upon hearing this, a hint of pity flashed in Gao Peng's eyes. He began to think quickly. Look at his clever appearance. There shouldn't be any fraud, right? So Gao Peng decisively unlinked the link. Separated from the body of the versatile ant dragon. Then carefully use your thumb and index finger. Ching Ching pinched the pig's head and cat's ear. However, this ball seemed to have reached a certain climax. A flushed face and constantly making cheerful moans and cheers. Then he crazily wriggled his body next to Gao Peng. But Gao Peng is a bit addicted. Don't say this feels really good. After a lot of fun, Gao Peng no longer stays. He said to Ben Yuanju, let's go now. Unexpectedly turned around a second ago. Next second, the primordial pearl disappeared in place with a swoosh. Directly wrapped his body around Gao Peng's arm. Scared, he screamed and screamed in shock. What am I going to do with my hands? Hurry up and leave. His words have just finished. Ben Yuanju took the initiative to jump back a distance. Is Gao Peng extremely surprised in his heart to be so well behaved? Seeing him so well behaved. So Gao Peng tried again. Give instructions to this quasi god monster. Turning around, I saw no hesitation from the original Pearl. Immediately in front of Gao Peng, he told him to start spinning. Later, Gao Peng asked him to lie down again. Unexpectedly, Ju, who was spinning, immediately lay down on the ground. No matter what instructions Gao Peng gives next, he has completed everything one by one. Seems to want to work hard to please Gao Peng. Here it is, here it is. Gao Peng has finally welcomed his second quasi-god pre-sale. Just now, this round bead is trying to please Gao Peng. Seemingly, it's both spinning and lying down, performing with great effort. But Gao Peng had a lot of fun playing, continuously adding difficulty to this ball. Rotate it two more times and take a look. This round bead suddenly feels a bit tired. Turn around immediately. After all, some people are real dogs. Then he shouted, Can you help me pinch my ears again? Gao Peng is somewhat speechless. Okay, okay. This time he boldly put his entire hand up. This ball said, I still remember. What my master taught me to say? He told me not to trust others casually. There are too many bad people in this world. You helped me pinch my ears. You must be a good person. As he spoke, he leaned towards Gao Peng's body. Gao Peng wants to kidnap him. Since I am a good person, do you want to come with me? 
Anyway, your master is not here either. But that seemingly innocent round bead. But suddenly turned around and refused me not to. The master said, It's too dangerous outside. Man eating monster eating monster. If I don't stay here properly, I might get eaten as soon as I go. Upon hearing this, Gao Gao Peng is even more speechless. This is the most insecure quasi-god he has ever seen. That round bead smiled at you for being so weak. Why don't you stay with me too? I'm safe here. The cave is very large. You can build a pond next to it. We live together. Gao Peng roasts that you are generous, then continue to say, rest assured. I will protect you. Follow me, but Gao Peng hasn't finished speaking yet. The versatile ant dragon behind suddenly shows unusual movements. The power of blood and elements in the body began to stir and become restless. At this moment, Pang Dahai reminds me that Ant Dragon is about to break through holy level. This is what the Divine Disciple ate just now. Gao Peng was somewhat surprised. Is it so fast? But if we break through the holy level here, the advanced movements are likely to expose the formation. So he asked the versatile Ant Dragon. I hope he can hold on for a while. Hold on for a moment, advanced. But this kind of irritable energy is difficult to control. The ever-changing dragon represent can't last long either. Gao Peng cursed inwardly that he had gone to hell. Just now, I was secretly raiding the home of the plague god in Shuang. Come here in the blink of an eye. The fall of this plague god. Honorary countries also have a share. If their senior management knows. I am not clear with his remaining party. A few lives are not enough for me to die. There is indeed no benefit in picking it up in vain. Quickly. Gao Peng and Bai Bian transformed into a stream of light through the transformation of dragons. Fly towards the exit. This ball doesn't even have time to say hello. I had to walk alone towards Lington. Forget it. I don't know when someone will come next time. I'm the only one staying here. It's a bit boring indeed. But his words seemed to be heard by Gao Peng, unexpectedly turned back halfway. Reached out and grabbed the python body of Ben Yuanju. Come here, you haven't finished what you just said yet. Do you want to go out with me and see the outside world? This time, Ben Yuanju will no longer refuse. Nodding repeatedly is good, Master Queen. You don't have to worry about me being eaten anymore. Here it is, here it is. The identity of Bishop Du Wenzhou has finally been discovered. The army stationed outside Yancheng immediately launched an arrest operation. The Battle of Quasi-Gods is also about to begin. Just now, in the military camp outside Yancheng City, Several soldiers with a speed of 100000 rushed towards the general's tent. Report to general. The remaining sins of those Dawin cults have finally come to an end. They revealed the identity of the bishop of Dawin Church. The general turned around and glanced over. So who is the bishop of Dawin Church? The soldier hesitated for a moment. The helpless answer is yes. Punish the city lord Yin Xiang Chi severely. Upon hearing this, the general was furious. He punched the table hard with his hand. Surprisingly, it was him. Damn it. This guy who eats inside out. I treat him well in the morning, but still secretly colluding with evil gods. Immediately sealed off by the army. Gang. Today we will take down this sinner with the general's command. The large army stationed not far from Yan Chung advances and retreats in an orderly manner. Waves of smoke and dust churn endlessly. At this point, a purple lightning demon voice also sets off with the army. Take the lead in flying towards Yan Chung. I saw him perched above Salt City. Then a large amount of electrical energy is emitted from the body, transform into a thunder web, instantly sealed off the entire Salt City. At this point, a low-level clumsy bird flies from somewhere unknown, accidentally collided with the thunder net, instantly electrocuted. And then it fell directly onto an open space in Yancheng. However, the owner of a restaurant in the city happened to see this scene. Lu Yu sighed. It's been really rough lately. At this point, as prefecture-level imperial censors, Bai Haishuan and Yuzi Jing. I'm also at a loss what to do. The timid Bei Huangli almost cried out. Why isn't Gao Peng here at this time? Ching Ching tried to calm down and calm down. However, at this moment, Gao Peng, who had just woken up, also happened to appear. Good afternoon, everyone. Did someone just call me? As soon as this sentence is spoken, everyone twisted their facial features together at the same time. I don't know what to say either. Gao Peng's heart is speechless. Why do they all have this expression? Successfully promoted with a dragon. I finally managed to catch up on my sleep. Why do you suddenly feel like you've missed a lot of things? Don't wait for Gao Peng to think more. Suddenly, the roar of the soldiers came from outside the door. General has orders. Blockade and severe punishment. Advanced shelter. Do not walk around freely. This immediately made the people in the restaurant chaotic. Military lockdown. What situation? 
Why did it suddenly start fighting? The boss quickly comforted all the distinguished guests. Please be calm and don't be impatient. This is General's pursuit of Dao Zhao's life. Noble guests are all serious people. It has nothing to do with us. It's okay. But when immortals, they won't worry about the common people. Ladies and gentlemen, please try to stay in your room as much as possible to avoid being affected. White Hike Xuan beside the ground whispered to Gao Peng what to do. Gao Peng waved his hand. Don't be nervous. It has nothing to do with us. Don't let others see the problem. The boss has already said so. Nothing to do with us. Let's continue eating. Not many voices of condemnation are coming from outside again. Drunk women colluding with evil gods in chess. To prevent secretly. Bean Plague is called a pig, as the sound fell. A crimson stream of light. Quickly attack the upper part of the Lord's mansion. Here it is, here it is. A quasi-divine battle in Ming Yu's country has finally begun. Just now, the general has uncovered the remnants of Dao Wenjiao lurking in Yan Cheng, and a large number of troops and beasts were dispatched, blocked off Yan Cheng. At this point, a crimson stream of light flashed over Yan Cheng, then the majestic energy descended from the sky. Accurate sp located above the Lord's mansion in the center of Yan Cheng. The power is immense, even the restaurant where Gao Peng is located. You can also feel intense vibrations. He still drank the soup calmly. What makes him helpless is the ones that were shaken off the ceiling. The fragments just landed on his bowl of soup, but it left him speechless. Oh, how can I eat this? And behind him, but it's another sight. Everyone is scattered and running away. The explosion was coming from the side of the Lord's mansion. Run away now. Sitting opposite him, Bai Hai Xuan pondered in his heart. According to Gingen, Gao Peng never fights unprepared battles. Now he is so calm and composed. There shouldn't be any major issues. But at this moment, Gao Peng is in a panic, continuously calling for the fat sea. Fat and chubby. Can you quickly feel if you can pass the battle? Pang De Hai's face was speechless. Look at your ignorant appearance. What are you panicking about? I am at least a quasi-god holding the three divine tools in my hand. Even stacking others. Upon hearing this, Gao Peng finally let go of his worries now. Hi. So it's like this. Tell me earlier and then he'll face a few people. My waist is getting even straighter. I want to see the elites of these tribes. Still not doing enough oxygen and kung fu at home. At this point on this side of the battlefield, as the thick smoke around slowly dissipates, the floating finger in the air noticed something unusual. The poisonous mist in the sky turned into a protective cover, protecting the Lord's mansion. Then one slender body. A jade beast resembling a praying mantis suddenly appears. They are all quasi-gods. A finger? What are you pretending to be? Who do you look down on? That red finger was obviously a bit surprised. Is it a poison killer star beast? But it's just that the words have just finished. Waves of dim light suddenly burst out of the sky. Instantly cut off the red fingers perched in the air. Then the broken finger fell from the air. Smashed on the edge of the Lord's mansion. The crimson blood quickly penetrated the protective cover. Crawls of houses one after another, transformed into a large amount of blood and poured into the Lord's mansion. Those servants and beasts were instantly submerged. Blood seeps into their bodies. It's hard to tell for a moment that it's one's own blood, still formed by the melting of severed fingers. At this moment, the blood stains of the sensor inside the poison Kui killing star beast curses secretly. Damn it. Blood actually seeped into the shield. Then he transformed into a phantom and soared into the sky. Dark green knife arc, teared apart the thunder net wrapped outside. At this point, the sound of the red severed finger transferred to the faucet. How do you want to escape? The power unleashed by two quasi-gods in the next moment. Collision above clouds. For a moment, the wind and clouds changed. The sound of explosions echoed throughout the entire world. Both sides just can't take advantage of it temporarily. The poison Kui killing star beast had to return to the ground again. At this moment, the blood sea Yinglong also revealed its true form. The general inside his body suddenly shouted loudly at Yin Xiangqi. If other people are bishops of Daowen Church, I can understand everything. But why did it happen to be you? The court treats you well. Why did you do that thing of betraying the court? The poison Kui killing star beast said calmly. What's your concern? Be your general well not good. I insist on coming to seek death. Today next year will be your anniversary. As soon as this sentence is spoken, Zi Haying suddenly lifted his dragon hand. A large amount of red light burst out from the eyes. Stubborn and inflexible. Take it to death, it's over. That's it. This quasi-divine level blood sea Yinglong is finished. Unexpectedly beheaded in public. The other party even wants to chop his head into pieces. Just now, 
The bloody sea dragon swings its towering tail and smashes it forward. But the heart beast was killed by the poison kui and successfully avoided by a tiny margin. The eyes of the poison kui killing heart beast flashed with a hint of disdain, intentionally provoking blood yinglong. Is that all you can do? Upon hearing this, blood sea yinglong instantly blows out. In my eyes, there is a bright red light shining brightly. I'm really looking for death. Soon, two red pillars of light were enough to destroy the hills. Burst out? The speed of the poison-killing star beast is incredibly fast. Pulling out a long afterimage, it charged straight towards the sea of blood, Yinglong. Taking advantage of his lack of time to react, quickly use a sharp claw blade. Scratch the wings of the blood sea Yinglong. At this moment... Blood Sea Yinglong screamed in pain. I want to drive away the blazing flames from the spout. Poisonous Viper kills Heartbeat Beast with faster attack. Immediately face the sea of blood in response to the dragon's face. Spit out a cloud of poisonous gas, temporarily causing him to lose sight. I can only shake my head and brain constantly in the air for a while. I didn't expect the other party to be so cunning. How could the poison Kui killing Star Beast such a good opportunity? He was about to raise his knife arm high. Killed the Blood Sea Yinglong. Due to the promotion of the Poison Killer Star Beast to the quasi god level, choosing the mythological part is the arms. Therefore, his sharpness is also inevitable. Quickly, a lingering shadow flashed by. Blood Sea Yinglong Nai's long neck stem was instantly cut off, surrounded by circles of blood spraying out. The Northern Emperor, who was watching the battle, was very surprised. I thought the strength of the two was evenly matched. We'll fight for a long time. Who knew the winner would be determined so quickly? What's going on here? At least he's also a dragon, isn't he? Yuzi Jing on the side also sighed helplessly. Yeah, just looking at the appearance. How do you think it looks like this blood dragon is even bigger? For now, let's not talk about a close match. Unexpectedly, not many people were beheaded in person. Before he finishes speaking, Gao Peng interrupted him. Don't worry, keep looking. That blood dragon hasn't died yet. Yuzi Jing was taken aback for... What flashed through the attribute interface in Gao Peng's eyes, although Blood Sea Yinglong's head was severed, but the condition is only a serious injury. There should still be some aftertaste left. At this moment, the poison Kui killing heart beast is stepping on the long dragon head. Say stop pretending. Old dragon, you are famous for your vitality in various countries. Even if I cut off my head, I won't kill you. But I do have an idea. If you chop your head into pieces, do you think you can continue to live? As soon as this sentence is spoken, Yuzi Jin and others who were watching the battle were stunned and stunned. Bei Huang Mi even called out directly. At this moment, suddenly a wild and unrestrained voice came from the sky. Not a single ultimate light has fallen from the sky. All things in the world that are illuminated seems to be in a moment of stillness, although unable to take action. But the consciousness of the poisonous Kui Shark Star Beast is still present. He began to panic in his heart. Is it difficult to say that it was later on? A platinum appeared above the sky. The radiance emitted. It's so piercing that it's hard to open your eyes. Even the skin is burning and painful. Here it is, here it is. The honorary heavenly beast with the golden rule has finally appeared. Just a facade. Just flash kill it directly. A poisonous killing star beast with a rank as high as a quasi-god. Just now, the poison kui killing star beast severed the head of the blood sea ying dragon. I also plan to chop his head and erase it but was suddenly illuminated by a light from the sky. Freeze the body. Then a platinum star quickly approached. At this moment, a sound suddenly came from above Yan Cheng. The timing of time is sparse. A very sharp aura quickly fell down, directly smashed towards the location of the poison killer star beast. The surrounding terrain was instantly destroyed. Make a big hole by forcefully smashing it. That manic energy is like a sharp spear, directly penetrating the body of the poison killer star beast nailed it firmly to the ground. At the moment, a thick and thick wing was born. A burly, platinum giant beast appeared before my eyes. Its body is as indestructible as granite. The honorary heavenly beast only feels very surprised at this moment. Although the poison Kui killing star beast is powerful, but it also did not reach to the point where one spends a lot of time and effort on oneself. But at this moment, he sensed there are other terrifying smells hidden in this area. So he began to be vigilant sweeping the four directions, attempting to locate the specific location of that aura by Hai Xuan and Yu Zijin, who are currently observing the battle, staring blankly. Killed the divine concubine with just one move. What a terrifying jade beast. 
but Pang Da Hai suddenly felt in his heart. Speaking of Gao Peng, this is a time-based jade beast, and the weapon in this guy's hand is also a divine artifact. Gao Peng responded that I know. It's really a bit troublesome. This is a delicate artifact. Having 6.7% exquisite rules, Pang Da to say, there's even more trouble. Do you know what it is? No, Gao Peng quickly asked after him. You speak quickly. Pang Da Hai squinted his eyes. He should have already sensed our existence. He should have just used his time skills to control that insect-type beast. More than 90% of time capability will be influenced by the surrounding environment. But I have three artifacts on me, and I am also a quasi-god, so he might be feeling chest tightness right now. Gao Peng seems lost in thought. That is to say, practical ability will be influenced by the powerful presence around them. They are like some powerful magnetic fields. Ah, Fatsy, I haven't heard of this word before. What is it? But it should be similar to what you described. Gao Peng suddenly realized. In that case, isn't the fine jade beast in this world just bullying the soft and fearing the hard? Faced with someone weaker than him, he is the father. But when faced with someone stronger than him, he just wilted. But in ages, we need to be stronger than him first. Soon. In Gao Peng's eyes, rows of attribute, reputation, and divine beasts flash through his eyes. 97 level quasi divine level, a special type of stone, irradiated by the sun and moon essence. And for a long time, the marks left on them. They also have the power to borrow time. After reading the property panel, Gao Peng's heart trembled. High level and strong ability. And there are also artifacts. If it were me alone, it would be fine. But there are still a few oil bottles here. Never stand out. The sea, can you restrain your breath? Make it impossible for him to discover. You are in a class. It's better for us to avoid causing trouble, Pang Da Hai said. If I don't have two hands on small matters and stick to the means, 800 premature deaths. Keep an eye on his words. The body suddenly stiffened and imitated. Buddha, a dead salted fish. At this time, it is above Yan Cheng, the Mingyu heavenly sovereign beast looking left and right. Suddenly, I felt the obstructive aura disappear, although I can't be sure if that guy left. Or should we put away the jade beast? But at least it doesn't seem malicious, right? Not long ago, the severed head of the Blood Sea Yinglong flew over, and he also fused his head back together. Thank you very much for your help. The honored heavenly beast turned around and left directly, serving the country. We should have been watching and helping each other. Can you continue to eliminate the remnants of the party? At this moment, Bai Haishuan said incredulously, This dragon hasn't really died yet. Fate is tough enough, but Gao Peng's focus is quite peculiar. Flying so high, I'm not afraid of freezing my butt and cutting it. 